I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. I know a lot of you guys are frustrated with Adam because of his his appearance of the lack of well because of the lack of control a couple of nights ago when your boy was on and guess what you have every right to be you have every right to be upset i can also admit that i am frustrated too i can also i can i i, I can admit that i found the entire conversation absolutely pointless based on the fact that Adam Sosnick. Ooh, wait a minute. Based on the fact, my bad, that Adam Sosnick could not <clears throat> or would not corral the women after they started attacking me. You better freaking believe I was frustrated. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't still a little bit heated. Not at the girls. Right? Not at the girls because, you know, I mean... This is what we expect. This is what we expect from them, right? We expect women to get out of pocket when they hear shit that they don't, they don't generally want to hear. We get that. We've been in the space long enough. We 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 understand all that. We understand all that completely. So we know what to expect from women. We know what to expect from women. At least most of us, at least most of us do. Right? But yeah, I'm frustrated with Adam because of the way things went. All of that said. Gentlemen, as a man, I have the ability to compartmentalize my emotions and separate them from my logical decisions. Okay, let's, let, 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 let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Adam's a very good friend of mine. He's a good dude, guys, despite what you guys might think of him. He's given me the kinds of tips on wealth management that are still paying dividends to this day. He suggested that I hire a certain kind of firm to manage my money. He gave me insight on what to look for, what not to look for, red flags, things to watch out for, and so on and so forth. Well, one such conversation happened after my last appearance on Saucecast with MLD. I took him aside after the pod, and I peppered him with questions, him and the other guy, questions about money and finance, and he stood there. He stood there for 45 minutes minutes and answered every single one of my questions. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. Okay. He could have been in the cigar lounge with PBD and a couple of other important looking people who were in there. But the fact that he took time to talk to me and gave me great advice, that speaks to the kind of person he is as far as I'm concerned. On the other hand, I understand why people are roasting him in the comment section of the video. I understand, but we have to understand or acknowledge a couple of things before we fly off the handle here and start throwing around accusations and making assumptions. Number one, and this is the most important thing we have to understand here. Adam Sosnick, he ain't built like us man. He's just not. He's not built like us in the RP space. But guess what, guys? Most men aren't. Gentlemen, most men aren't. Dude, 95 to 99.9% .9 of men are incapable of giving women raw and honest accounts of what is really going, going on in the world without pulling punches or without sugarcoating it or without making a light of it for some sort of comedic effect. To be able to do this, it takes a hell of a lot of time, it takes a lot of experience, and even more patience. You guys also have to remember, Adam's new to this space. He doesn't have the same breadth of experience with women like we do. And that's not a bad thing at all. But let's call a spade a spade. Sosnick ain't built like we are, and it's not even really his fault. Because something else we all have to remember is that Adam is tall, good-looking, and rich. And tall, good-looking, rich guys have a much different experience with women than guys like myself, Fresh Print CEO, MLD, and all the rest of those guys before we became successful. None of us, none of us are as objectively attractive as Sosnick. None of us have had money and clout for as long as he has. So expecting someone of 
Adams, let's call it an archetype, to have the to have the same kind of backbone of a Myron Gaines, that's unrealistic. Okay? I'll give an example. My friend Josh, I've talked about him before. Tall, good looking blonde guy. Basically, he's basically Thor. He's six four, he's got steely blue eyes, who's very, very good looking. I didn't realize just how attractive he was until my sister said something about it. My sister is not into white dudes. But it was the first time I'd ever heard her call a man hot. Now, I've known Josh a while. He's always had success with women, quite simply because he's had a lot more opportunities with them. And it started at an early age, guys. We met each other when I was 19, when he was 19 and I was 20. And he was pulling chicks left and right. But they didn't make him work for it at all. Tall, good-looking dude. Blue eyes, blonde hair, etc., etc. Girls didn't make him work nearly as hard as they made me work. It is what it is. That's just part of the game. I'm 6'2". I'm in, I'm in decent shape now, and I'll be in much better shape in a few short months. But I'm average to below average looking from the neck up, right? I'm not, I'm not ugly, but I'm not attractive either. I'm just kind of a, you know, you know, a pick a light skinned black dude with a beard, right? I have a high pitched nasally voice, and if I'm being honest, I am unlikable to most people who meet me for the first time. That, and I am an impatient hothead. These all created major challenges for me on the dating market, but I overcame them because I worked at it. I practiced, I drilled, and I rehearsed. I did this, I rehearsed every morning before I hit the street. I practiced, drilled, and rehearsed every afternoon during my coffee or lunch break. Dude, I'd be in the Starbucks bathroom. Hi, I'm Donovan. He's not invited, etc., etc. I used to practice, drill, and rehearse at the mirror every night before I went to bed, and sometimes, sometimes, even when I had a girl over, I took nothing for granted. All things being equal, my game level is much higher than Josh's has ever been, because it has to be in order for me to get good results. We can draw the same comparison between Adam and, say, Myron. Okay, Myron's 6'4". And he formerly worked for Homeland Security, which is pretty fucking badass. But Myron used to be a nerd. He used to play video games. Right? He was terrible with women. As really most of us were. Yeah, he's tall, but sometimes, you know, he looks a little bit lanky. He doesn't have the best posture at times. He kind of cranes over, I guess, maybe because he's so tall. Right? He's got a big, funny-looking nose, and he's never seen wearing anything but, I don't know, fresh and fit gear, uh, blue jeans, and those... And those goddamn chucka boots. <laughs> and I laugh because I know that if Myron's watching this, he'd be laughing too because it's true. So in order for Myron to get good with girls, he had to learn game too. And the only way to learn game, the only way to really learn it, is through blunt force trauma. Getting rejected over and over and over and over again. Learning from your mistakes, adjusting, then going out and, and getting rejected some more. Guys, this ain't easy. Learning game is flat out hard. And guys, this is back in the early to mid 2010s when dating apps were still largely underground for the most part. I can imagine, I can even imagine what it's like approaching girls now. The point is, is that learning game, which again, for those of you new, is shorthand for learning how to handle modern women, isn't something most men are willing to learn. At least not these days anyway. It takes an exorbitant amount of time, energy, preparation, and money to really master the game. Now, you can shorten your learning curve by purchasing my 25-hour game course, How to Master the Game, on tsracademy.com. But it's still going to take work. You're still going to fail. You are still going to have to go through the fire. And when you do it, if you come out the other side, it steals your nerves to the point to where you are not afraid of women on any level. You don't fear them at all. And when that fear is completely gone, one of the many things that almost magically comes is that you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth without any fear 
or retaliation from women. And that is what separates us from everyone else. Yeah, I'm sure Adam's had plenty of experience with women. But I can all but guarantee you that his experience was very different from Myron's coming up. Adam is good looking. That's an advantage. Adam's tall. That's also an advantage. Adam's also rich, which is another advantage, but he worked for that advantage. He wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But to say that he isn't aided somehow by his looks and his height is disingenuous. This doesn't mean Adam doesn't know how to handle certain kinds of women because he clearly does. But an obvious deficiency of his is being able to handle women when they get out of pocket. You see, gentlemen, guys like Adam very rarely see the very worst in women. Again, tall, good looking, rich, etc. He's not used to getting the kind of pushback and disrespect that guys like myself, Fresh Prince CEO, MLD, guys like those have had to go, uh, had to go through. No, this is not Adam's fault. And it doesn't mean that he's any better or worse than us. But my friend Josh was always treated well by women. And because of this, it took him until he was well into his 40s to realize just who and what they were. Josh wasn't tested by women like I was. He wasn't rejected by them at the rate I was. This forced me to adapt or get left behind. Well, one of the many unique skill sets that arises from cold approach is the ability to be honest and forthright, forthright with women regardless of how it comes out. Adam clearly lacks the experience in handling unruly women. We can see that in just about every podcast. Again, this doesn't make him a bad guy or a bad host. But when you're in this space and you bring on women to discuss these topics, developing this skill is essential. Because if he continues to allow his female guests to get and stay out of pocket and flat out dis and just be flat out disrespectful to him, to, to him and his guests, his guest lists are going to shrink. MLD's already washed his hands of them, and I don't blame him. I still love them both, but I don't blame MLD. What happened to John was clearly orchestrated by Natalia and the plus size Angela, whatever her face, whatever the face, whatever her name is. But the problem was that Adam didn't step in and regulate the conversation. He allowed all of those women to sit there and berate John without him, without allowing him to get a word in edgewise. Then when MLD left because he had a hard out at six to go meet Brandon Carter, something he said at the beginning of the podcast, Adam didn't tell the ladies, well, he, he did say he had a hard out at six at the beginning of the show. In fact, he even let Melina say that MLD ran away like a little bitch on the Fresh and Fit live event. He could have ended her right then and there. He could have just been like, uh, uh, Melina, you're wrong. Here's what happened. But he let it go. He let it go. So yeah, if I'm MLD, I'm not doing business with Adam Sosnick anymore either. But here's the thing. I know Adam didn't mean any harm to MLD. He told me he was unaware of this setup, and I believe him. He has no reason. He's got no reason to lie to me. But to then not explain to Melina that MLD had a hard out at six when she made that comment on the Fresh and Fit live event and to allow and to allow Natalia and other panelists to just attack him, that to me speaks directly to his lack of experience checking women who are out of pocket. And you'll see more of it in this reaction as well. So the bottom line on this particular point is that Adam Sosnick ain't built like we are here in the sphere. He could certainly learn how to handle women like we do, but in his mind, he probably thinks, rightfully, well, I'm tall, I'm good looking, I'm rich, I own a bar, I live in Miami, and girls throw the cheeks at me all the time anyway. Why do I need to learn to fish? Why do I need to learn the fish when they're just jumping into my boat? Which makes sense for him. But that has created an obvious hole and a weakness in his hosting abilities. The second thing we need to understand is that this is a hobby for Sosnick. Okay, this isn't to say that he doesn't take this seriously. Because, you know, look, I mean, his production clearly says otherwise. Shout out to MLD in the house says, LOL, that's all I gotta say. 
Appreciate you, MLD. Oh, I'm sorry. L dash O dash L. All caps. So MLD is serious. <laughs> but again, this isn't to say that he doesn't take this seriously because his production clearly says otherwise. But we have to really, really listen. We have to really listen to what Adam says at the beginning of every podcast. What is their purpose? Helping people get laid, get paid, and do it their way. Okay. Well, guess what, guys? At no time does he ever purport to want to help men get better with women. Maybe he has said it in podcast I'm not aware of. I haven't seen or heard it yet. Maybe I'm wrong. At no time does he claim to be a dating coach or some kind of relationship expert. And he very, very rarely talks about the importance of a man improving himself in every way he possibly can, unless, of course, another panelist or guest brings it up first. Okay? Guys, that's what we do. That's not what Sosnick does. Now, this isn't to suggest that there aren't some elements of his show that don't help men. Not the least of which is putting a magnifying glass on women who claim to be boss babes and seeing that they're really little more than basic bitches like most other women. But we need to understand that the name of his company is Valuetainment Money. That is value, entertainment, and money. That doesn't mention male self-improvement at all. It just doesn't. Adam is not passionate about male self-improvement. He's just not. At least he hasn't given us any reason to believe that he is. And if he, and look, that's not a sin. That's not a crime. You're not going to be passionate about something that you don't want to be passionate about. But guys, that's why he essentially treats this like a hobby. It's because this is kind of something he's trying out. Now, he also has not claimed to be about men's self-improvement. So, like I said before, why are we expecting him to be as passionate and as driven as we are? He's almost, I don't, I don't know, he's almost in the same category as maybe Pearl, all right? Pearl has never claimed to be anything other than what she is, a woman who likes to talk about things that interest her and entertain people. Well, women interest everybody, and the way to grow any channel is to have women on, and Adam has clearly figured that out. Here's another thing. Adam flirts with his panelists on the regular. Not something I would do. Not something I would do. He's perfectly well within his rights to do what he wants to do. He's a grown man. He's going to do whatever he wants to do. But if you're playfully flirting with these women during the show, you're going to have a very hard time as a host corralling them when they go feral when they inevitably hear something that that upsets them. And girls, these girls know this, gentlemen. These girls know this. They know Adam would smash if given if given half the chance. He basically throws a sausage at him. You know, and a lot of it is tongue in cheek, but girls don't take it that way. That's why they feel so entitled to say and do the things they say and do on his platform no less. Myron lets these girls know up front. I ain't trying to smash. I don't care what y'all think. Guys tell you shit because they want to smash. Not me. I'm going to give it to you straight. Gentlemen, if you haven't heard anything I have said to this point, you need to listen good. Turn up the volume. Turn up your earbuds, your, AirPo your AirPods, pads, hearing aids, whatever. Because this will explain why Sosnick's female guests act the way they do. If a woman knows you don't want to smash or that you won't smash if they threw you the cheeks, it takes away their power. Let me repeat that. If a woman knows you don't want to smash or that you wouldn't smash if they threw you the cheeks, it takes away their power. That's why the girls dis this is why the girls respect Myron on his platform and why they disrespect Adam on his. Again, I'm not saying this to persecute or to criticize or judge Adam. Listen, plenty of girls use their platforms to source girls from time to time, including Myron and Fresh. Right? The whole Anna Quinn situation is like, hey, look, I was trying to shoot my shot. I was trying to shoot my shot. It is what it is. Look, man, if Adam sees a girl he likes, he's got a right to shoot his shot and use all the resources available to him. I'm not mad at that. But one of the main reasons Adam's female guests don't listen to him is because they think he wants to smash. And the reason they think this is because of the flirting and the hyperbolic things he says about the girls. He calls Natalia the Jamaican baddie with the patties or something. I have no idea what that even means. 
He's always gassing up the girls, talking about, okay, girl, X, you're beautiful, you're successful, you're a boss, babe, any guy would be lucky to have you. He does this with all of his female guests, including, as it happens, Melina, of all people. When a multi-millionaire tells you that you're a high-value woman directly or indirectly, and that you're a catch, and this and that, they assume you have respect for them, no matter, no matter, I'm sorry, they assume you have, you have respect for them, no matter how disrespectful they are to do, are to you. And this is exactly what is on display night after night after night. I remember speculating on the air that Adam and Natalia had something going on. Okay? I remember speculating. Adam called me right after the podcast and says, Hey man, just want to clear the air. Nothing going on between me and Natalia. That's all he had to say. Okay, hey, all right, I believe you. He told me they didn't, and I believe him. I get it. If he says he's not smashing, he's not smashing. I have no reason not to believe him. But he needs to understand that calling Natalia the Jamaican baddie with the fatty crabby patties or whatever is the reason she's not improving at her job. Yeah, she might read a little better. But we can all see that the reason she has her job is because she's attractive. And that's okay. But you give an attractive woman any measure of authority in your space... And she will assume that she has some of that authority. Don't believe me? Why the hell else do you think that she could cook up some ambush against MLD and keep it from Adam on his show? How else did she think that she could do that and not get fired for it, even when the truth came out about it the very next day? This kind of behavior is indicative of someone who rarely sees the negative consequences of her actions. So guys, just understand that number one, Adam's not built like we are. Number two, this isn't his main source of income. And number three, he flirts with his female guests on the regular. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with anything or that I condone or don't condone it. But this is his platform, guys. And we can all sit here and talk shit. But dude's about to cross 200K. I've been stuck at 172K for something like six months. He's got to be doing something, right? And keep in mind that just because this isn't his main source of income doesn't mean he doesn't take it seriously. Because again... It's clear that he does. Unfortunately, however, when you're in this space, you have to have the ability to shoot straight with women. And when you are seen allowing women to walk all over your guests, your assistant and producer launching ambush attacks on the air without your knowledge, it won't be long before guys start tuning out. And here's another thing. Yes, he takes this seriously, but it appears he takes it, he treats this like a hobby. I'm not saying he does, but that's what it looks like. And the reason I'm saying this, the reason I think this, the reason it appears this way, is because despite all of the obvious signs that his audience does not like the way he allows female guests to talk to male guests, nothing's changed. He still allows women to cut us off. He allows them to berate and insult us with impunity. He still doesn't have mods in the chat. And it appears he's not really too concerned about it. Now get this. That's not even necessarily a bad thing. He doesn't have to give a shit about any of this stuff. Again, he's, a, he's about to crack 200k. So who the hell am I to talk about what he should or shouldn't be doing? Right? He blew past me months ago. Hey, I tip my cap to the guy. But as much as I like and respect Adam, me personally, I am not going to subject myself to that level of disrespect again. I don't tolerate disrespect in my personal life. I don't tolerate it in my public life. And I'm damn sure not gonna I'm damn sure not gonna start now. I would love to be on Saucecast every week if I could. It's a fun show to do, but not like that. And given the appearance of a lack of concern for these issues, that's not something I can commit to. At least not long term. So we'll see. We'll see. Adam doesn't have to change anything for me. He can run his show the way he wants to. It's working so far. And as they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But I think it's fair to say that any content creator who is respected in this space would be hard pressed to appear on a podcast where women are routinely allowed to run roughshod over male guests without so much as a warning for them to knock it off. And that is the memo.
Oh, wait a minute. There we go. The third annual Conference of Masculine Excellence has just been confirmed. And for the second consecutive year, it will be held at a world-class venue in beautiful Miami, Florida. The posh surroundings and all of the amenities you can imagine will make this event an experience of a lifetime. The CME is focused on helping men to become the best version of themselves, improve in all areas of life, as well as maintaining solid, healthy relationships with their wives and girlfriends. Anything and everything that pertains to dominating life as a man here in the 21st century will be discussed extensively. As usual, your instructors will be an all-star cast of presenters. They will cover topics like financial literacy, health and fitness, mental strength, and much, much more. Included in your ticket is live access to all speeches and presentations, a seat at the live filming of The Six, and the opportunity to converse with the speakers themselves. How awesome would it be to shake hands with some of the most influential men in this community? Breakfast on both mornings is also included, as well as a five-course meal at the Feast of Champions. As always, the feast will be held on Saturday night and will feature some of the best cuisine in the 305. VIP tickets are also available. Those tickets include priority front row seating for all presentations, entrance to the Cigar Bar VIP meet and greet, which includes an open bar, an exclusive VIP bag, and so much more. VIP tickets are limited, so get yours before they're sold out like they have been the last two conferences. Got a friend who wants to come with you? Got a girlfriend or wife who wants to attend? Are you a father who wants to bring your son? Are you a son who wants to bring your father? Take advantage of the plus one discount that gives you a whopping 55% off for your plus one. Not applicable for VIP tickets and your plus one must be 21 or older. Plus, as an added bonus, attendees who purchase their tickets before March 21st will get Donovan's revolutionary signature course, Woman Ease. That's right guys, every attendee who purchases their ticket within the next two weeks gets all five complete volumes of Woman Ease absolutely free. This course contains over 600 female translations. In addition to all of those translations, Woman Ease contains countless hours of instruction and explanation to make sure this invaluable knowledge will stick. This treasure trove of information and wisdom is a $700 value, but you will get it absolutely free if you purchase your ticket before March 21st. The third annual Conference of Masculine Excellence is now the undisputed official live event of the Manosphere. As always, the CME will be free of the backstabbing, infighting, and toxic leadership that has plagued other events. Donovan takes this event and the safety of his instructors and attendees very seriously. He simply will not embarrass himself or his community by engaging in the kind of behaviors that have made that other convention all but irrelevant. So if you've ever been on the fence about attending a men's conference, now is the time. If you allow yourself to be in the presence of true greatness and masculinity, you will come out the other side a better man with knowledge you will carry with you for the rest of your life. You owe it to yourself to take advantage of this incredible opportunity to increase your value and change your life forever. So join us in Miami, Florida to join a tight-knit community of like-minded men who are focused on self-improvement and having great relationships with their women. Space is limited, so go to MasculineExcellence.com to get your tickets now. A woman never belongs to you. It's just your turn. You lost your edge, she lost the traction for you. That's how it works. What'd you think she was going to do? Tell you she cheated? Men cannot afford to get complacent in relationships. Get your fat ass off the couch, start lifting weights and learn game. You're welcome. And now your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up? Oh, wait a minute. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 997th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of toxic masculinity, misogyny, and small dick energy. It is Thursday, July the 27th of 2023. Almost had to think about that. Almost had to think about that. <laughs> As always, we are multi-streaming live to YouTube uh, and uh, Sharpstream. Um, and by the way, guys, by the way, by the way, be sure, be sure to stay tuned right after the live stream. I will be continuing my Temptation Island breakdown. A new episode dropped 
yesterday, and so I am going to react to it today. Um, it is a highly, highly educational and entertaining show. Uh, you know, look, the guys and I, we have a very, very, we have a very, very good, uh, we have a very, very good time uh, doing what we do. It's a lot of fun. So uh, you can join us on SharpStream or Rumble. Rumble.com slash Donovan Sharp. And towards towards the end of the live stream, um, I'll pin the uh, I'll pin the Rumble link uh, in the uh, in the chat. Pin the Rumble link in the chat. Okay, let's read some of these. Uh, let's read some of these super chats here. You guys can tell I am very unprepared for this because I couldn't even set up the camera angles. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I had a lot to do today. I had a lot to do today. Uh, let me read the super chats first. Uh, Ken Rose with the five dollar super chat. Appreciate that very much. Uh, the Troopa says, I don't know if you were near Cherry Hill. I'm around the area. Uh, it would be an honor to hang out with you over some cigars. If you're cool with that, cigars on me. Yeah, I actually live in Cherry Hill. Uh, I live in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And uh, yeah, uh, shoot me an email, uh, tsr.donovansharp.com, and uh, maybe we'll meet up. We'll see. Um, Red Pill, oh, I'm sorry, Roadblock85 with the $20 super chat. Uh, says, Donovan, being the good friend he is to all of his bros, respect fam, one way or another, Sauce will have to learn to vet his female guests more thoroughly, Hose will damage his platform, and not lose a wink of sleep over it. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you, like, I mean, I've done, I've done these things, I mean, I've, I've, I've done these before, but holy moly moly, holy, holy schmoly. Uh, the Level Up Man says, I am pumped for the TI breakdown. The countdown to Hall clapping Mica Michaela's cheeks is on. That's right, man. You better believe it. Yeah, Hall is going to clap them. Dude, Hall is trying to put a baby in Michaela. That's what he's trying to do. He says, you want kids? She said, yep. He's like, all right, let's do it. Let's get this party started. My dumbass always. Computer, turn on the overhead light. Computer, turn on the overhead light. There we are. My dumbass always forgets which way is the right, which way is the left. Computer, turn off the overhead light. All right. Um, Emmett Trill is in the house. Good to see you guys in here. Um, let's see. Let me read some of these others uh, before uh, before we move to the to the main breakdown here. Why does why does the this is weird that this keeps changing? Oh, I know why. I know why it's because of the uh, it's because of the Zoom call. Uh, whenever you whenever you have OBS open along with Zoom, it does something weird with OBS. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, let's see. I'll read I'll read a few of these because I know you guys you know listen you guys are my guys and you're entitled to your opinions so. Um, Emmett Trill says they did worse than you. They said they did they did you worse than MLD fam. Yeah, they did. Like, dude, they came like they came out guns blazing. They came out guns a blazing. Uh, Emmett Trill says Adam, seen them girls disrespectful tones and not once said anything to check them. I agree. I agree. Arturo says Nat demonstrated a complete lack of professionalism. Yeah, what else is new? Dre Raven says, uh, Sauce needs to learn to control these conversations. Each one of these geese were talking over each other even before Donovan came on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Level Up Man says, not only were these pelicans out of pocket, but there was a hot mic on the entire time Don was on there. I don't have a problem with Adam, but dang, man, this was a Mickey Mouse operation. Yeah, I, I kept hearing... I kept hearing what I thought was uh, a voice in my head, like like an EPB. Like I don't know if you guys have any broadcast experience, but like if like when you watch uh, Sports Center or NFL Live, you can see they have an earpiece. Well, that that's the earpiece where the producer feeds, they feed um, uh, they feed uh, uh, information and content into their ear, much the way Ethan, uh, what's his name, Ethan, much the way Ethan Klein has with his debates. He's got the computer in front of him, and uh, and all of his friends help him. Um, but. Um, yeah, uh, when you have to, but when you have to, when when you get the, um, uh, when you have the EPB in your ear, that's when you hear the voice. And I was like, well, I know I'm not on Sports Center, so what are I? I don't know. I just thought it was interference. I didn't know that it was other. I didn't know that it was them, sort of undermining me by you know speaking uh, speaking in the mic, which doesn't surprise me at all. King Life, 
uh, says, this was not a good look. This is not a good look by Valuetainment. PBD is going to have to talk about this to Adam because this happened twice. Not only this, but Adam also exposed Andrew Tate having children. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't a good look, man. That was not. Yeah, that 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 wasn't a good look, man. That wasn't a good look. I, I don't know, man. Like I, a lot of you guys say that Adam is just a rich guy who now like he's tall, he's good looking, he's rich. And I guess now he wants the internet clout. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think Adam. I think Adam's just looking to in uh, enjoy his life, and uh, you know have some fun along the way. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. But yeah, I would definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would not have done the Andrew Tate thing at all, at all. Um, Dre Raven says, moral of the story, don't bang your 24-year-old, 20-whatever-year-old producer. Rimshot. Yeah, Adam's not banging Natalia. Um, and the reason I know this is because this is what he told me. So, and listen, he's a friend of mine. If he tells me he's not, he's not banging her, then I believe him. He's my friend. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt until, I don't know, in, until I see cock and coochie. <laughs> the Level Up Man says it was a rather interesting podcast. It was rather interesting that the podcast ended as soon as Don left. I didn't know that. Oh, I thought they, shit, I thought they kept going. I thought they were going for another 20, 30 minutes. Emmett Trill, man. Emmett and, uh, Emmett and King Life. You guys, you guys are not Sosnick fans. So it had nothing to do with ignorance. It was just bad TV. He's ruining his reputation. Might be right. He also says he let it go because it makes for more salacious TV. Yeah. Yep. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Emmett Trill says, or his lack of defending his bros over hoes. Yeah, that's something else that... Uh, that's a bad look, man. Like, that's a bad... Eesh. That's a bad look, dude. Like, and I... Dude, I tell you guys this all the time. I don't know how I know this to be true. But it always... It, it's, it's something that bears out every time. If you are friends with someone who is not good with women, they can't be trusted, man. They will sell you up the river. They will lie about you. They'll lie on you. Shout out to MLD, who is in the house. I don't know if he's in the house anymore, but he is now. Good to see you in here. Uh, Emmett Trill says, uh, MLD, appreciating the passport, bro, vlogs. Looks like you're living, looks like you're living life eating those last minute omelets. Yeah, right? Okay, very good. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Um, oh, MLD says, Donna got your back for life, fuck everyone. Real shit. Real shit, man. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what, man. I'm gonna tell you what. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys this right now. I have a lot of friends in this space. And I've seen all of them. I've met all of them in person. I've broken bread with them, blah, 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 blah. But the two individuals, the two individuals that I know that I know for 223% will always have my back and I'll always have theirs is Myron and MLD. Those are my guys. Those are my guys. Those are guys I talk to. Those are guys I cry to. Those are guys I laugh with. Those are the guys I ride for. I ride for these guys. We were all, dude, we all started out broke in this space and we've all sort of risen through the ranks. We are, we're certainly not without our share of controversy. Now, this doesn't to say that I'm never not going to be cool with Jap or, or EO. But my ride or die boys for life are MLD and Myron, without question. They have never lied to me. They've never been dishonest with me. They've never used me. That's just all there is to it. That's all there is to it. So, all right, let, uh, let us start with the breakdown. Let's do it. I can't say. No, not at all. Don't say. Don't ever, don't ever do that again. I'm sorry. Just do your toes. Do your little. Uh, okay. do your yeah, and guys, when I come on, when I come on, I'll slow it down. Thing, read yes. the comments. Um, so on the show today, we're going to be talking how much money a guy should spend on a first date. How much is too much? We'll talk a little bit about money like that. We all know that he should spend. Take you to the nicest restaurant. No questions asked, right? Definitely no, no cheapskates, right? Nah. No. No Applebee's. No. We'll see about that. We'll talk about the downside to dating a cool. 
Now, see, that was that was tongue in cheek by Adam. I'm good with that. Girl, let's hear a cougar sound. That. Yeah. That's not a cougar <laughs> sound. <laughs> All right, there it was. Lift the thing up a little bit. Oh, oh, there it was. There you go. Um, have you heard about who Michael Jordan's son is dating? Marcus Jordan. Oh, yeah. He's yes. dating his former teammate Scottie Pippen's cougar. ex-wife, yeah. whose son not also plays in the NBA. Scottie Pippen Jr. Uh, she's currently dating Marcus Jordan, the son of Michael Jordan. Anybody heard of Michael hey. Jordan? He's kind of like a little basketball player. He's a made a name for himself. Not sure if you heard about him. Um, MJ is what they call him. Uh, anyone know Judge Lynn Taylor? Anyone? Yes. She's a famous TV judge. Yes. She gives some kudos to her stoic husband. We'll talk about that a little bit today. I have no idea stoicism. who that is. I love stoicism. Yes. Whether good things happen to you in life or the bad things happen to you in life, straight face, right mm -hmm. to the camera. <laughs> Boom. Stoic. Um, we'll talk about a little controversial. <laughs> Say what you want about Adam. He is, I don't know, I like his I like his dry sense of humor. I don't know. Right now, anyone like fans of Amber Rose here? Amber Rose. Oh, no, no fans no, of Amber no, Rose? No, we'll no, talk no. about what defines a slut. She had an interesting conversation oh, with Jesse Lee Peterson. Any Jesse Lee Peterson fans here? Yeah. Linda probably. Yeah. Anything? Wait a minute. Amber Rose had a conversation with Jesse Lee Peterson? Uh-oh, somebody get me that link. Stat. Oh, I got, dude, I got to see that. God damn. Like Conservative, <laughs> she's all about that life. Like that. Um, anyone uh, familiar with the legendary... <laughs> Great OG Godfather Kevin Samuels. Anyone? I yes. heard. No, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. What's going on over here? He's an interesting. He's an interest yes. Okay, do you know Kevin Samuels though? Yeah. Oh my, you're gonna recognize him. I guarantee you that. Yeah, uh, and we'll talk features. about a man traveling the world. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. Did this black woman really say she doesn't know who he is? He's an interest. Yes. Okay, do you know Kevin Samuels though? Oh my, you're gonna recognize him. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, the black woman's like, yeah, he's interesting. So you already knew what, I guarantee what that. was up with her. Uh, and we'll talk features. about a man traveling the world. Uh, many men traveling the world uh, called Passport oh, Bros. Oh. Passport Bros. Who do not want to deal with you American chick. Oh, mm. They're sick of you. Oh. I love you. I love you Americans. Love you love. I also love the Colombians. Yeah, I also love the Puerto Ricans. I also love the Haitians. I also love the Jamaicans. I also love the Norwegians. I also love the Australians. I love them all. Black, yellow, red, Puerto Rican, and Haitian. They call me fuck. Sounds dark in the Zulu Nation. No tribe called Quest. It's a little before your time now. And then we're gonna bring in. This bitch, this nigga said a tribe called Quest. Donovan, if you guys haven't been riled up enough by that point or have any strong opinions at that point, I think Donovan's gonna do his part to get you guys. What's that? No, no. Donovan, I think, lives in Jersey, but I'll let him explain himself. The only reason I know he lives in Jersey because he missed his goddamn flight, Donovan. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I'm not heated whatsoever. With that being said, you know the list of the uh, topics on the panel today? Anyone ready to walk off right now because I just offended you? Good, we got some strong women, you know? Behind every strong man, behind every successful man is a strong woman. Oh, we all know that. That's right. See, see that right there? Behind every strong man is, is a strong woman. I don't know that Adam believes that. I think, and, and I, I, I understand why he does and says what he does and says. He, he wants to, it, how, how, let me put it this way. He wants to keep, he wants to keep the, he wants to keep appearances good for the female guests, which is perfectly fine, right? Because if you have a reputation for being rude to your female guests, then they would simply stop showing up. Or do they? You see, fresh and fit, they kick bitches off as a matter of habit, but they keep showing up. And again, this takes experience and know-how. Adam hasn't experienced failure in terms of recruiting women, right? We'll see. Right now, so let's meet our lovely panel today. To my left, um, She's known as the baddie with the Jamaican patty with a fatty. I added that one. I know you did. I added that one. Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. Now you want to do a quick throw? No, that's fine. Nat's here. She's going to be reading the super chats. Yes. You know her. You love her. You put L's in the comments. Maybe she caught an L or maybe she's falling in love out there. So Nat, before we meet the rest of our panel, anything that... Okay, that's actually pretty funny. They're leaning into her... Okay, that's fine. Leading into the trolling. I'm good with that. You would like to say, you got to do something different with your hair today. Oh, I've just got some layers. Got some volume. Got a lot of spice, you know? I have to keep up with you, you know? Yeah, you better keep up. This toupee might come off at any point. Anytime, you got the best hair here, no doubt. That shit's gonna whip somebody at some point. Ready? Okay. So now, before we meet the panel, anything that you would like to say, we introduce our lovely guest. Yeah, well, first, we got Donovan actually in the chat already. He said, Donovan's already there. He said, I didn't miss the flight. We caught it, but it was delayed twice and then canceled. So that's the disclosure. Listen, Donovan, you're lucky I like you because we're bringing you via Zoom. Nobody comes in via Zoom, very rarely. But he was on the flight. Yeah, except for uh, Molina. He was updating me, he was updating or, me. Or not Molina, Marnie Kenry. He sent me pictures with the pretzels, with the snacks. He was on the flight, yeah. but unfortunately he missed it. He would have been great right here in the middle of the panel, mm -hmm. but we'll be bringing him in about an hour. Yeah. So all of the Donovan Sharp fans out there in the audience, stay tuned, because you know Donovan's gonna bring it. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, now's your turn to talk. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Well, welcome everybody. Happy Saucecast Day. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, we appreciate all of you and we appreciate our panel today. Um, I'll be reading all the super chats, so give us some good super chats, uh, even the ones for Donovan later on, so, you know, for our ladies and even for Sauce. Um, so I'll be reading that. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm super excited. She said, I'll be reading all super chats, even the ones for Donovan. <laughs> Appreciate that, Nat. <laughs> topics are really spicy today. We've got some sound effects on board. We even have a little bit of a live audience. So yeah, I'm really bit. ready to get started. And my bathwater is still not on sale, and neither are my feet pictures. Thank oh, you very much. Oh, we're going to do a Halloween special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, relax. Oh. Later on. Okay. All right. You're going to be man in the chat. Yes. Nat, we'll be reading the super chat. Nope. Nat, you know the hook on phonics work for her. And I forgot. If you're not, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, share, share with your cousins, your brothers, your bros, your side girls, your girls, all hey, of everybody. Hey, the side girl? Because it's information that they need yes, to know. Yeah, all the side girls. You're welcome. Subscribe. Make sure. Okay. All right.
Okay, so Natalia is a little better at her job. I'll give her that. All girls. And boys. Tall girls, all girls. I'm calling all girls. I get it. Linda Catalina's in the house. Hi. She's back. It's I'm been back. many months since yes, you've been here. Last time you were in here, you wore a red dress. Because mm -hmm. you're a huge Joe Biden fan. We Absolutely. All know I love so Joe Biden. Too. She wore a red dress. She wore a red dress because, um, because she was thinner. But now you guys, now you guys see that, and let's just take a look at her Instagram here. Oh yeah, we're going to look at some Instagrams. We're going to look at some Instagrams. You notice... You notice lately, you notice lately how she is wearing black. She is clearly gaining weight. That's why most of her headshots are headshots. This right here is clearly, clearly, clearly photoshopped. She does not look like that in the midsection. There's that red dress standing next to Sauscast. Yeah, the, the, so, so apparently, apparently this... This Linda chick is a Latina conservative, right? <clears throat> and lately, lately we have been we have been inundated, we have been inundated by these uh, by these trad con hoes, these red pill or straight or conservative groupies. These conservative groupies are always at conferences and make America great again and guns, God and rock and roll, anti Marxist social club, but. If she were so conservative and so right wing, then why did she have such an adverse effect? Why did she have such an adverse reaction to my videos? Well, the reason why, gentlemen, is because girls aren't really conservatives. Girls are just clout chasers. Girls like Linda, whatever the hell her name is. She knows that every bitch out there is a feminist or a liberal or blah, 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 blah. So what girls have started to do is, okay, let's go to, let's go against the grain. Let's get some clout, right? And then here she is with, here she is with Donald Trump. So she thinks because she's met Donald Trump that she's somebody. But again, all you have to do is, oh, you know, here she is with Donald Trump again. Yes, she is a conservative like Tommy Lauren. Exactly. Exactly. She's a conservative until it's not convenient to be conservative anymore. That's really what it comes down to. So yeah, she is a she's one of these uh she's another conservative groupie. Yep, yeah, there it is. Half of her pictures are her with her tits out. All right, I got my tits out. I guess I'm conservative. Let's make a make America great again. Let's make you know, let's go Brandon blah 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 blah. Yeah, Black Lemur uh 2009 says hashtag #tradcon hose. Exactly. Exactly. If she were so conser if she were as conservative as she said she was, she would not have had such an adverse reaction to my videos. Let's continue. I would literally walk through a uh, fire just to vote for uh, the Mitchell Beachin. That's <laughs> Linda, that's why she got canceled. I don't know. Uh, I think anybody should get canceled. We're, we're brothers and sisters in arms. We've both been canceled. I got my Instagram yep. back. After Stop. the Tate interview, it was controversial, but we back. Great interview, by the way. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. We appreciate you. Of course she was. Um, but we're here on YouTube. We're live on YouTube. Thank you, for guys, for being here on YouTube. Live audience, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Linda, Hi. tell us what you do for work and your relationship status. So I am a social media influencer and e-commerce entrepreneur. I have a store. Social media influencer. Call scene jewelry, which I'm wearing now. Um, and I am single until I'm married. So. Single until you're married. Yes. Single, you single period. Holding out. Yeah. Until you're married. Yeah. So no sex, no marriage. Um, <laughs> pause right there. For now. For today. Today. Yeah. Okay, so no <laughs> sex here. <laughs> <laughs> I can change my mind tomorrow. No sex in the room. Guys, I say this all the time, dude. Regardless of relationship status, women are never not fucking. Come on. Well, there's, yeah, a, there's a girl on the panel the other day that was a born again virgin. Oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah, those yeah, exist. I don't know how that works. <laughs> born again, were you on that panel with a born again virgin? No. no. I was like, yeah. What does that mean? Is it like a whole thing? She's just saying, I'm just a virgin now. Oh, okay. Delusional. I don't think it, <laughs> don't think nice. it works that way. Yeah, I'm like, I was like, you sound delusional. She goes, yeah, I am. You know about that? Okay, so we understand who Linda is. She's going to be bringing it today. Uh, Jane. Hi. Jane Marie is in the house. Yeah. Jane Marie, what? Just Jane Marie. Just Jane Marie? Yeah. Respect. Yeah. Okay, it's like Lisa Marie. Exactly like Lisa Marie Presley. These All these bitches have that Miami accent. Exactly. So let's check out uh, Jane Marie. What do you do for work and uh, what's your relationship? So I'm a fitness coach. Um, I work a lot on Instagram. I get clients through Instagram. Um, but I work with women on how to like kind of just you know get your power back pretty much and how to just be better and grow. So that's what I do. And right now I'm single by choice. <laughs> so what does that mean exactly? Single choice means just like you know you just focus on you you know and until you feel like you know this is supposed to be the person then you know mm -hmm. you can change that. But yeah, it's all the girl. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> a, a, a woman calling herself and I think I saw this yesterday in one of the comments. Actually, I don't know if I heard, I don't know if I saw it in the comments or what, but guys, women aren't single by choice, man. Every woman wants to be in a relationship. A woman saying that she's single by choice is like a dude saying, I'm a high value man. 
No, you don't get to decide what your value is, partner. The market does. This woman, Jane Marie, single by choice, and oh, by the way, another good-looking woman who is a trainer, who is clearly, she says she gets clients through Instagram. I wonder what kind of clients. Again, dude, she's just, dude, she's just like every other Instagram thought, y'all. This is the new, guys, this is the new justifiable Instagram thoughtery. This is the new Instagram thoughtery. Is they call themselves a fitness, a fitness coach or a, a, a quote unquote fitness trainer to give themselves permission to post, oh, oh, oh boy, oh, oh boy, I did not, oh, oh goodness. Oh my goodness, I did not, oh, well, how about this? How about that? She's a fitness trainer, huh? You pay for that boat? No. What's that mean, Devin? She belongs to the streets. What's that mean, future? She belongs to the streets. All together now. She belongs, she belongs to, to the streets. streets. <laughs> I swear to God, all these women are the same, dude. I don't know why women don't understand that posting boat pictures disqualifies you for anything other than a one night stand. Like any man worth his salt knows that as soon as he sees one boat picture up there, he knows that you have been what? On that boat. Come on, man. We're not stupid. That's not a flex. That's a hoe flex. Then of course, all of her pictures of her of her of her ass and this and that. And yeah, yeah, the new thoughtery, the new thoughtery on Instagram is being a personal trainer. Uh being a personal oh, there's her on another boat. There's her in another boat. Single by choice, huh? Okay. Uh, Roadblock 85 with the $5 super chat says she's not a personal trainer, more like a personal train wreck. Yes. Girls I'm talking to these days, yeah. I'm single by choice, okay? <laughs> I'm not ready to commit. I'm just single by choice. I'm focused. I'm focused We're on doing focused. the show. What's that? We're focused. What's wrong I'm with that? Single by choice. Yeah. Single by choice means there's a lot of guys sliding the DM. There's a lot of guys hitting on you, but hey, I don't got time for all that. Is that what that means? Yeah. Hi. You up for interpretation. Now, what are the chances, <laughs> what are the chances you're not saying that you're dating because you're a uh, cool, attractive, good-looking brother standing over there and he's like, oh, I don't know. No, he knows everything. I tell him everything. Everything? Yeah, yeah, you everything. tell your brother yeah, everything? That's, that's, my, that's my bestie. But everything? Yeah, he you knows. You don't tell your brother everything. Well, not, I mean, not yeah, exactly. There's some things that you shouldn't be telling your yeah, brother. Yeah, that'd be awkward. You know? Yeah, but he's so like... So Isaac, like, I was at this dude's house last night, and he pulled out this little... Oh, no, I don't... You don't want to hear all that, right? Okay, gotcha. There's, by the way, there's Isaac over there. Stop lying, stop lying. I don't no, have a brother no. like that. There's limits. To, like, talk like there's that. limits. There's limits to this. Right. Surface level, second level, whatever the third level, dirty, dark secrets in the, in the closet. Yeah, don't yeah. tell your brother. No, we don't, no. We, don't, we don't do third level. No, no, no. no. It's awkward. You don't, don't want to go there. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for being on the show. Claudine's also on the show. Claudine Hibbert. Any relation to Roy Hibbert? No, not that I know of. Do you know who that is? I do. Seven foot center, Indiana Pacers? Yes. Okay. How tall are you? Five, six. Okay. She doesn't know who the hell that is. Roy Hibbert, come on. Yeah, no, you're not related. <laughs> Seven foot. My brother's actually 6'8". Six, six, six. Your brother's 6'8"? Oh, oh, yeah. Where's he playing ball? No, he doesn't. He doesn't play ball? <laughs> no, he doesn't. What is he doing? Don't tell me he's a fucking CPA, 6'8". <laughs> he's, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing, yeah. so he's single by choice. Yeah, there you go. What does his thing mean? He does his thing. He works with the Miami Heat. He does his thing. Oh, so he's in the basketball world. Yeah. yeah. You see, see I pulled that information out of there? He's doing his thing. What does that actually mean? It's a center for the Miami Heat. He's the one that <laughs> see, see, this is Adam thinking he is improving as a host. Ah, he called her out on something nebulous. Listen, I'll give him credit for that, but that's remedial. Like, we should all, like, if you're in this space, if you're interviewing women, if you're interviewing women, yeah, you have to have that ability. But, hey, at least he's working on it. Uh, Dr. B84 with the $5 super chat says, single by choice equals I'm over 30 and past the wall. Younger girls never say this. No, they don't. <laughs> Claudine, what do you do for work? I want to say it's real estate. Yeah, I'm a real estate professional the last 22 years. Oh, nice. Uh, growing a huge, gigantic team, partnered with Elena Cardone. And so, Elena I'm Cardone. excited. Of course, we know Elena. We know Grant. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So, you work directly with Elena. She's Absolutely. on your team. You're on her team. You got a teammates. We're a partnership. We have a partnership. Um, and we've grown our organization to over 700, and I've contributed a quarter of those agents to her organization. Congratulations. Yeah. Is that a pyramid scheme? She says she's a real estate professional. What exactly, you know what he should have done? He, he should have asked her, what exactly do you do? Like, what do you do to make money? Well, if you're looking for real estate in South Florida, you're, you're here in South Florida, yeah? Yeah. Claudine's your gal. Grant you go. Cardone. Go Lena Cardone. Uh, and what's your relationship status? I'm married. Married? I'm not single yeah. looking. Okay, you're not looking. You're not I'm single looking. by choice. You're not no, I'm, married. I'm married. I have a 29 year old son and one and a two year old. Oh. And he's one of them is here. Yeah. One and a two year old. Okay, um, so let's look at Claudette's. Let's look at her. Uh, let's look at her Instagram. 223,000 followers, I guess, is impressive. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is insanity. 
This is insane. This is insane. Okay, oh, you know what? Let's just... Oh, look at that. Look at this. She's rubbing elbows with Trina. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is... This is... Look, 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 look. She's a real estate professional, but... I don't know what... She just... She looks like she's just good at networking. To be honest with you. And if you're good at networking, great. Oh, yeah. There's her at a private jet. Now, clearly, she's a real estate professional. I'm, I have reason to believe that she didn't sleep with anybody to get on that jet. Don't know anyone who anyone who would, but um, yeah. She says she's a real estate professional. I don't know. Maybe she helps network with people in the real estate business. Okay, it is what it is. Oh yeah. Um. 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 Yeah. Filter. You, these filters are uh, way out of control. Like that is not what she looks like. Absolutely. Here's another. Look. Here's another one. Dude, this is photoshopped to the max. This is photoshopped to the max. Women, do you want to know why I can tell this is photoshopped? Because women who have women who have this section flabby right here don't have a tight-toned stomach. It don't work that way. Man, you ain't got that hourglass figure. Come on now, girl. This is also photoshopped to the max all she does that's a real estate agent I don't know. hey if it ain't broke don't fix it if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'll listen I'll I'll, I'll give her credit I'll, I'll give her credit for that but I'd like to know how she became a millionaire did she become a millionaire before or after she got married that's what I'd like that's actually what I'd like to know let's continue yeah, an audience. Oh. Okay, I might defend you right now, but I'm gonna go on the record and say black don't crack. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 And a one year old? I agree. You say a one year old? Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow. So 29. Hello. One and two? One and two. Phenomenon. How long have you been married with a one and two year old? 15 years. Okay, so the 29 year old didn't come from that guy. No. All right, we're not gonna delve too in. I can do some basic math right here, but there's there's some situations going on there. Well, one and two year old, congratulations. Thank you. Nice. I can say prayers, I can take some prayers. Do you what's that? Some prayers. Some prayers, my thoughts, my prayers are with you. Okay, well, thank you for being here. Lita. Lita. Like lit and Pocahontas. Like lit and Pokemon. Oh Hunters. my okay. god. <laughs> Lita Hontis. Nice. Where do you live? I live here, actually. Yeah, yeah I've lived on the beach my whole no. life. No. moved up to Broward. So. Miami Beach? Yeah. In South Beach? You're no, no, North Beach. North Beach. 15 minutes away from South Beach. Yeah, I know it. So you're on like uh, 70 71st. I know your address, yeah. girl. I'm up in your windows. You know the vibes. <laughs> what? Abort, abort. Abort? Okay, all right. I don't want to film anybody. Did you go to Beach High? Uh, I did. Nice. Mm -hmm. Beach High. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. I know Beach High very well. Yep. Yeah, be careful out there. No, I was. <laughs> I went bye-bye after what a while. What was that? It wasn't the vibe. What, Beach High wasn't the vibe? No. Okay, did it you drop out of high school? I did. Okay, how'd I know? How did you know? I don't know. How did I just, Maybe I got that intuition. Maybe off of And did you get your GED? Did you get your OPC? I'm working on it now. Now? Yeah. How old are you now? 21. Okay. What? There's still time. Oh, okay. And why are you getting your GED? Uh, I just had my second son recently. Um, oh my God. I want to do things. I want to be able to expand. This bitch has two kids. This bitch has more kids than diplomas. <laughs> When you have more kids than diplomas, man, your life is already over. Like, for real? Like, you got two kids, a diploma, you got visible tattoos. Let's take a look at the Instagram. Take a look at the IG. Okay. All right. So, oh, okay. All right. Oh, boy. He is, okay, that is, that's a cute kid. <laughs> that is a cute fucking kid. Oh, he is adorable. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, yes. Oh, he's grumpy, but he's still cute. Oh, my God, he is a happy baby. Look at this kid. Wow. Wow. Okay, so she's got a cute... Oh, look at this. Oh, there he is in the water. Oh, my God, look at his fat little legs. <laughs> oh, he's such a cute kid. Oh, my God. Do y'all see, do y'all see what's on that goddamn screen? Do you see what's on the screen? There's no peace like knowing your family is happy. Oh, how cute. How inspirational. This bitch has got her tits out over her son I don't know what this is that a gif is that 
Is that the baby daddy? Oh my god. That is the baby daddy. Look, dude, it looks like the kid. Honestly, it looks like the kid that we saw in the uh, in the airport. This bitch has a child. Just had a child and she's still posting thirst trap pictures. He is a cute fucking kid. He really is. The bitch has more tattoos than J.R. Smith. Holy moly moly. Oh my god. This this baby is freaking adorable. Okay. All right. Either way. Either way. I don't understand. What are we doing? Like, who thinks this is... Anyway. Fan my horizons. If I have an opportunity where I need to go to school, I want to be able to pick up and go. Nice. I don't have to wait anymore. And making the decision of leaving high school was a good decision at the time as far as my emotional health. But oh, my. Of course I uh, uh, making this... Is it. <laughs> Making the decision to drop out of high school was good for my emotional health. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up, man. This bitch just said dropping out of high... Why don't women just ever admit? Look, I fucked up. I dropped out of high school. It was a stupid move and that's why I'm trying... No. They always, they always have to justify what was good for my emotional... I wanted to finish. Nice. I wanted to make my mom proud. It was and how old your kids? My first son unfortunately passed four oh, days after he was born, I'm so sorry. Uh, two years ago, oh. and I just. Oh man! All right. Well. Damn, that sucks. Had my rainbow baby about six that. months ago. Well, you. congratulations! Nice. Looks Thank like you've lost all the baby weight. Yeah. Well, I'm cool with it on me. I feel like they're battle scars, you know? Yeah. So if I lose it, I lose it. If I have it, I just wear it. Well, thank you for sharing your story. You. Uh, we're with you. You look lovely. Thank you. And you grew up in Miami Beach, so, I, you know, respect. That's my hood. Thank you. Um, the lovely, the talented, the very talkative, the definitely not shy, the woman who shares her opinions all the time. <laughs> Naomi Hernandez is here. I think it's your third time on the show. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> Super, talkative. Super talkative. Naomi, what's new with you? Nothing really. You know. I told you guys, she's killing it, dude. That's not true. I've seen you do you know, like um, I just did Swim Week. That was Swim Week. It was good. For those of you out there in internet land on, on Valuetainment watching right now, Miami Swim Week happens every year in June or July. Yeah, I think it's they have all, two uh, this year. It's all amazing, beautiful, gorgeous models. Here uh, we go. Suits. Nothing that I would ever want to be associated and attend. Yeah. Uh, I was unfortunately in Aspen that week, but I went last year. Uh, how'd you do? Did you walk in any shows? What were you doing? Yeah, so I walked in Black Tape. For the black, black oh, the Black Tape project. Oh, so, the black tape project. so that's why you're naked and they just put tape all around you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, how'd Basically. that go? Um, it was good. It was my first show. How'd it go? It how'd you feel about it? Um, It was a little bit intense. And at first, we had to get there. We were there for like 12 hours. Wow. So we were there for the whole day. It was a whole process. Whoa. But, you know, it was a good experience for sure. Nice. Life is an experience. Where'd you walk at the SLS? Um, it was at Fountain Blue. The Fountain Blue? A little hotel. Nobody, nobody knows about it. All right. So here is what she's talking about. I'm not going to blow it up too much because it's basically, you know. But you guys can tell this chick is hot and dumb. Like this girl has the personality of a two by four. Like, holy smokes. Like, she is... <laughs> like, holy God. Yeah, I know her voice is a little deep, but she can't help that. It is what it is, right? Look, if, I mean, guys, we'll, we'll, we'll... Dude, we'll smash a girl whether or not she has a, a, a low voice. We don't care. If she looks good, we're, we're, we want to smash. But, dude, she is bo-ring. She has no personality. None. Naomi Hernandez is the avatar for the young and attractive woman in America. The more attractive you are, the more dumb you are. This girl is literally just tits, a vagina, and maybe a half a brain. And that's it. Like, she is... <laughs> ay yeah, yeah. Down here. I do have a question because the tape hurt and I took it off, right? Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like, like, like it really, kind of like tin lines that yeah. were left on you. Oh, oh, right. like, oh, oh, no, but did it hurt? Yeah, oh, a little bit. I bet. See, that's how we got out of the show. I wouldn't have <laughs> even thought about that. <laughs> 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 I was like, I need to ask her after the show. Like, what happened? No, you asked her on the show. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I also watched for Nike Swim and Triple X. Nice. 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 This is just how it is in America. But girls like that, like she has zero qualifications to get on this podcast. None. She has no skills except for the fact that she looks good. She could be on a yacht tomorrow if she wanted to be. She'd be on a yacht tomorrow. She's doing Nike swim and, and tape and all that good stuff. And by the way, I'm going to learn how to do that because I'm going to do that with Devin. 
Because I think she would be, I think that would be very cool, actually. Pardon me. <clears throat> and is that a single by choice? I mean, I hope it's my choice. <laughs> you what? I hope it's my choice. <laughs> it is, it's your choice. You're yeah. your choice. Yeah. Big advocate of that. Okay, well, thank you for being back here. And last but not least, Ooh. Intem is here. Intem the singer. Hey, she has you? a beautiful voice, but she's an even more beautiful person. Oh, my you look God. Very, uh, floral. Look, man. One of the most annoying thing, one of the many annoying things about black women is black women who can sing, who can genuinely sing, but they always want to, they always want to sing for everybody. They want to sing everywhere. Oh my God. And don't get me wrong. When black women can sing, they can sing, but they all sound, well, the same. Oh my God! I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida. <laughs> Why not? I know she's a fucking rapper. Oh, I'm Florida. Hello. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> nice. So you sing for a living? Yes. And you're, nanny. You're also an au pair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doc, uh, uh, Doctor B84 says, yeah. Like I've always said, hot girls are useless because they've never had to be useful. That was, shit, man. That was way back in what episode seven, something like that. <laughs> Even Zuer member for 29 months. This is great to be a part of the TSR family. Shout out to all. Appreciate that. The fit comedian with the $10 super chat says the only ones upset were over 30 and belonged to the pavement. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, Roadblock85 says that girl disappeared when Donovan jumped on. I think she was already out. I think she was already gone. That's okay. It. If I'm a little kid out there and Intem shows up to be my nanny, I'm like, yo, what's up? How you doing? Thanks, mom. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for being here. Nice. And what's your relationship status? I'm happily single. All right, guys. The single by choice thing. She belongs to the streets. Come on now. It's happily single thing. It's you guys thing. are all gonna have boyfriends by the end of the show. It's a thing. Well, I'm married. I know. I know. They're all gonna have boyfriends. <laughs> like my so, what's your advice to these ladies? Since oh, you're married, listen, they have to do them when they're ready. When, when the time is right, yes, girl. Mm. When your heart meets that other heart, and yes. you just yes, oh girl. my god, you, stuff Preach. Mm. you stay on the phone for three hours. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's him. Yep. Where are you at? Where are you kidding me with this? Did this bitch really just give us the kind of device that our mothers and fathers gave us? See, this is what's dangerous. This woman is clearly in a successful relationship. She's married, she's got two kids. She's married, she's got three kids. She got lucky, to be honest with you. She's got three kids, but now she's sitting here telling these young girls, yeah, just wait for the sparkles, wait for the tingles. Wait for the tingles, just wait for if you can sp spend three hours on the phone and blah, blah, blah. Bitch, ain't nobody talking on the phone for three hours anymore, sweetie. This ain't 1986. Uh, Roger Thomas, member for nine months, says there are going to be so many train wrecks today. I, I agree with that. Uh, King Life with uh, King Life member for 36 months, three years. Says happily single means she's the problem. That's exactly right. Okay. Yeah. You know what the guys are thinking? Sim. That's a sim. Yeah. Am I right? Why are they saying sim? Because if you're staying on the phone for three hours, spending time with your girl. What? That's the best. That's a yeah. yeah. Well, you'll be surprised. I'm at the point in my life where I'm like, I got too many dude friends. I don't want to talk to my guys anymore. I want to talk to a hot chick on the phone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, listen to this. Oh, see this again. See Adam again. And listen, this is this is his style, but that's not true. Adam would rather, dude, Adam would rather spend time with his boys than his girls. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he clearly, I mean, I would, I would imagine, right? A man of his status doesn't want to fucking spend time with chicks all the goddamn time. But these girls are like, oh, this guy's on our side. This is why they get out of pocket. Because they think he's on their side. Huh? Could you, can you bring that mic closer to you? Claudia, yeah. Angel, we gotta teach you how to fucking do these mic things over here. Thank you, brother. Uh, anyway, we'll figure that out. We, got, we want that closer to your face because we wanna hear what you have to say since you're the only married woman on the panel. Are you married? I'm with my child's father. Oh, you, you got what is known as a baby daddy. No, no, he's not my baby daddy. That's my best friend. I've known him since I was a child. Oh. Like, we got together later on in life. So we're, we're going strong. That's right. Oh, that's what I love Congratulations. <laughs> That's a baby daddy, sweet jigs. Stations on having a baby daddy that's a best friend. Happy well, we're, we're moving up in the world. Nice. Not everything comes at the time you Just like the Jeffersons, you and George Jefferson. Moving, moving on, on up. Oh, sing a little moving on up. Yeah. Oh, so here we fucking go. Here we go. I don't know the fucking words you in <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Ah. Oh, there she is. Someone come around and fix Claudine's uh, mic, please. Don't, don't be shy. Angel, help her out. Or someone help her out, because I would love to hear what she has to say. Um, before we get to our topics, let me give a quick shout out to our sponsor. Listen, this is a financial show. It's also a dating show. Finance meets romance. Okay, so. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, you're looking after whatever the waitress is gonna tell you where you sit and you like it, or you tell them where we want to sit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your model, yeah. I get it. There's no need to get <laughs> black tape project. No, but it's just like, I don't know. That's just like 
for a first date, I want to have to go like have fun. I just like that's okay. What would, you, what would your ideal first date be? Like I go and have dinner with my mom, and my sister. No, 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 we're not taking your mom and your sister on the first date. Now we're gonna graduate. You're out of high school anymore. <laughs> it's just you want to do. It. I dropped out of high school. You don't need a no, shot. Right, so we got the GED section. Look at that. See, she dropped out of high school. But guess what? That's never gonna be a problem for her. Look at her. Not here. No worries. <laughs> when you go on a date, this is. See, this is the kind of girl. See, this is the kind of girl that needs to get married young. She needs to get married young. She has the sexual market value to lock down a millionaire. But what is she doing? She's partying Miami, doing black tape project shows for all the world to see. Like kid where, where he takes his mom on his first date. Just gonna be you and a guy. Yeah, I'd rather have something more intimate. Like? So you at home? Yeah, Ooh, like that. okay. That's nice. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. If you're gonna cook, you better know how to cook. But what happens if he lives with his parents? I got like dinner in the kitchen with the they parents. They could do the dishes. Well, she won't have to. Like the parents are lit though. Like little honey. These are my roommates, uh, Phil and uh, Sheila out here. They're like, those are your parents, homie. All right. I know that vibe. Yikes. I get it. You got some grown-ups too. I would not want to sit at the bar though. I would rather sit like at a table. Yeah. Well, the guy's paying. You have no say. No, I have a say. No, of course. I have a say. No. Usually they ask, do you want to sit at the bar? You think I have a say? No, the guy's not gonna sit here. Unless they want to get with attitude from the women, it's what the women says, especially on the first date. Yeah. So who do you think you are? A very rich billionaire gave me one one piece of advice. Yeah. And the piece of advice was this. He who pays stays. So if I'm yep. taking you out, if I have to go do my makeup, do my hair, get all right, oh, that's what the girl has to do. Uh, <laughs> if I have to go plan everything out, make the reservations, book everything, pick you up, do all that, pay for the dinner, treat you right, make sure you get home safe, and we go to Joe Stone Crab, all right, wherever restaurant, we're gonna sit where I wanna sit. Yeah, you guys course. look pretty, show up, I get that. I'll take it from there. Yeah? yeah? yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Show you, just now, this is the difference. Now, this is the difference. This is the difference between Adam and I, and this is Advantage Adam. Do you see the way Adam just did that? Do you see the way he just did that? The girls were like, well, if I if if I can pay and blah 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 blah. Okay, all right. Like I get it. I understand. But Adam reframed it and and it, this is something he's able to do that I'm not. He is able to he is able to to voice this point in such a way that doesn't really ruffle any feathers. And in the end the girls are like, Yeah, okay. I wish I had this skill, but I don't. Defeat these women's arguments. No, there it is. It, I just feel like no, when you get to a date, yeah. I mean, I yeah. come ready to a date. Once I meet the person, it's like I expect to be like, all right, you're looking after whatever the waitress is going to tell you where you sit and you like it, or you tell them where we want to sit. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'll let you know, inside or outside. Great, I if I'm wrong. I meet so many women. <laughs> I'll let you know, inside or outside. No, I'll let you know, inside or outside. I see it on their dating profiles, and the, the number one thing is like, just tell me what time you're picking me up. Tell me what time to be ready. That's it. That's yeah. all I need. The guy takes it from there. Yes. Just yes? yeah. okay. okay. tell me when, have a plan. where, and we're good. Hey, I'm picking you up at eight. Be ready. Look beautiful. I'll take it from there. Yes? Yes. Perfect. All right, gentlemen, you get some game right there. Hey, we're sitting at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I think the table's more intimate. Days. I feel like a bar, like you can either go to the bar and you can have dinner, and then next to you, you can have like frat boys downing shots. Like I feel no, like that will also affect later. your. No, pick a, you pick a part of the bar. Listen, I'm not going to. Nat, stop talking. Give me a break. Cruise and, and like taking my girl to like frat boy century. Take her to a nice place. Yeah, but I feel like the table's more intimate. That's just me. All right, we well, good luck with all that. Okay. okay. I... Yeah, you get intimacy when you earn intimacy, right? Look, the first date is the getting. The first date is the getting to know you stage. And for a lot of guys, what you have to understand. <laughs> Is most girls you take out assume you want to fuck them. Anyway, let's play this video. This is anyone familiar, familiar with Chad Ocho Cinco? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. NFL player, notoriously oh, frugal with his money. Notoriously okay. frugal. Okay. So here's a video of where an interviewer asked him, "How much money should you spend on a date?" Roll the clip. The sound is at the bottom or the top. Uh huh. What? Dollars. American dollars. Dollars. Right, pause it. Pause it. Joey, take okay. a deep breath. Act like you've done this before. You got this. Hit the sound and play the video. That a boy. We do it live. Let's try this one more time. Joey, start it over. American dollars? Dollars. He got this. Okay, you got this, Joe. Hit that volume, Joey, baby. Joey. If you reload it, pause it. A lot of girls feel like I spent a minimum $300 to do it. I'm like, you know what? American dollars? Dollars. Please. On who? On the first date? For what? You're considered a high value man. So, ladies, this is value. You got money? I think high value is based on stream of income, revenue, but I am extremely cheap and financially conscious, so I don't consider myself a high value man. And you have a lot of money. Yes. Yes, and I'm gonna save it, which is why a three hundred dollar date ain't never happening. Because what am I paying for actually? If I'm at Wits End and I need help and I'm with you and you need a three hundred dollar date, can she save me? Can she help me? Is she nope. considered she a liability? Because anybody need a three hundred dollar date off rip is nothing but a liability. I mean, it is. Sir. I'm with you. Yeah. The women that want three hundred dollar dates, there are men out there that are going to continue to take them up. That's why the women can always say, I'm not doing nothing but three hundred dollar date because there are men that will spend three hundred dollars to reach their end goal. We know the end goal is. What? Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, Linda, the reason I'm coming to you first is because ironically you said three hundred dollars right? on the first date. And I just, like, you nailed it. Out there. You nailed it. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're a Latina. You live in Miami. <laughs> you ball out of See, there it oh, is. You See, know, a high value man that played in the NFL <laughs> worth <laughs> millions and millions of dollars. Say, hell no, Linda, I ain't spending three hundred dollars on you. I would spend a million dollars on you, no Thank doubt. You. But what's going on with Chad Ocho Cinco? Why is he saying that a man should not spend that kind of money, uh, and you are basically saying a man should? Well. With Chad, I mean, he said it. He's like, I'm frugal, I'm cheap. That's just how I am. So if that's how he is, and he finds a girl that doesn't care, she can go to Starbucks, she can spend $10 into coffees. And I mean, look, I have friends who are married and very happy, whose first date was literally rollerblading, and they spend very little money. I'm not opposed to that. Mm. Um, but I have, uh, I mean, I, I've gone on dates that have cost a lot of money, and it's not necessarily because I requested it. I'm not like, you guys spend a bottle, you guys spend this, but like, the man wanted to do that. And who am I to deny a man from buying me a
and this is something I called her out on uh, a little bit later. Ladies, it is not a flex when you say, I've had five men propose to me. Men spend hundreds of dollars for me at Salt Bay or what's another uh, Prime 112. I've had multiple, multiple proposals and blah, 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 blah. But you're still single. It is not a flex to talk about the number of men who spent money on you or proposed to you. Because where are those men now? First date. <laughs> and does that... Talking, you know what, it's funny. When a woman says, yeah, I've had guys spend this much money and I've had the, I've had this many uh, uh, proposals. That's like a dude saying to a woman, yo, I got like 250,000 numbers today from, from girls. That's not impressive. Where are they? Did you smash? Did you close? Fuck out of here. Actually do something for you? Do you feel like ingratiated to him? Do you feel like you owe him something? No. Nope. Because if a guy's dropping 15 hundo on a tequila bottle, he's expecting even, I've something. Even I've had even more expensive first dates than that, that the man wanted to do it. So I, there's what happened with those dates? You see, what's happening, and I'm, hopefully you guys can still hear me, because I need to go refill my water. What is happening is this woman thinks that she thinks that if we think that men spend a lot of money on her, that must mean that she is a high value woman, right? I'm a high value woman, I'm a catch. That's why men have no problem spending three and four figures on me. She wants us, she wants us, she wants us to believe that. That's the reason why she's doing it. That's the reason why she says it. Um, like why didn't you end up working out with that guy? Well, because it's not just well, look at her. It's about money, mm. right? It's about mm. compatibility. It's about, it's about um, the vibe. Some may say. Yeah. 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 But if Jesus I am, Christ if somebody wants vibe. to take me out on a date, and I mean, I, I, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what they're gonna do, but they want to show off. Like, who am I to say like, don't spend your money? Yeah, let them do whatever they want, right? Yeah. So, like, what you, you want to do is what you want. Show do. your true colors. And, and, and what really I've noticed want. because I know like the whole reptile manosphere is that uh, there's like this weird like belief from men that like if if a man spends money on you, then you must sleep with them, or you're like laughing. Who the hell said that? Who the hell said that? I don't know, yo. So this bitch really is gonna sit here and fix her mouth to say, "Well, the manosphere, the red pill manosphere, believes that if you pay for dinner, she owes you the cheeks." Nope, that's not what we say. That is not what we say at all, gentlemen. You are not entitled to a woman's innards if you pay for dinner. You're just not. No, no, no woman, no man is ever entitled to a woman's innards. By the same token, no woman is ever entitled to a man's resources. Hey, here's how this works. Girls never have a problem when a guy takes him out on expensive dates. Then when the guy says, I took you out on three $300 dates. She took you, I took you on three $300 dates and I haven't gotten laid yet. You know what she's going to say? You didn't have to. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But then they'll turn around and be in a situationship with someone and be like, Fred, like we've been fucking for three months, but we literally just fuck. Like you come, I have to come to your place. We've never been to mine. We never go out. You come, I come to your place. We fuck and then you kick me out. Does she feel that she is owed commitment at this point? A lot of girls say, yeah. Why? Well, because... I'm giving him my body. Oh, well, so I guess a man is entitled to sex because he takes you to dinner. Well, no, that's not the case. Okay. Then if you can acknowledge that a man rightfully is not entitled to your body because he took you to dinner or bought you a gift, then you in turn must respect the fact that you are not entitled to a man's security protection and resources just because you let him smash. Your vagina comes easy, sweetie. Your vagina is not worth anything. You've given it to dozens of men. I'm not about to give you commitment for giving me what you've given to dozens of men. Sorry. Cheeks and it's just like that's not true. Clapping cheeks. No, they're clapping cheeks. Beating cheeks in the audience. Right? Cheeks. What is clapping and, cheeks? Well, the men like you basically sleep with them because they exactly. spend a lot of money on you, and that's just not. The, I mean, that's just not the reality. There's men that have so much money that it doesn't hurt them at all. Listen, it's like there could be a guy that gives you. Nothing. Right. But he sees you in a situation and he just sweeps you off your feet just by words. Right. And you can have a oh. in your body. Yeah, yeah. He's like, holy shit. Yeah. It doesn't matter the money. It really doesn't. Because you can spend. Yeah, it does. <laughs> these girls, these are so funny. It's so cute. Now, she talks like this because she's 21. Right? She still believes in, oh, a man's going to come along and sweep me off my feet and blah, 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 blah. She's still young and naive. 
spending twelve thousand yeah. dollars on a date right now and you could be a fucking asshole. Right. Yeah. You need to be so rude. So and I wouldn't even want to be around you. Sounds like you've dealt with that before. Yeah, I have. Okay. You rude. You rude. This bitch. Twelve thousand dollars. Oh, come on, man. You're saying that um. The guy spent 1500 bucks on a tequila, but he actually had a better day doing rollerblading on a, on a, uh, on a date. By the yeah. way, fun fact. Yeah. Do you know for a guy the hardest part of rollerblading? What is it? Putting this in? Telling your parents you're gay. Oof. It's tough. It's I'm tough. Gay. It's fun. The rollerblading stuff. Okay, that was not funny. <laughs> I, I rollerbladed all through college. Um, no, that was a joke, guys. It was okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was very bad. No, you guys don't rollerblade. I just think I can't participate. No. Okay. No? I think that's rollerblading for guys rollerblading. No, a long time yeah. ago, they used to, but not No, not, not cool anymore. Okay. I wish. I it. It'd gotcha. be fine. Yeah, she's right. A long time ago. Like, dude, yeah, when I was eight, dude, when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, dude, I was a, I was an ace, man. I actually went out. I don't know. A lot of you guys don't even remember this, but there used to be this sport called roller derby back in the 70s and 80s. And I remember the only two, and this is actually when I lived in New Jersey the first time, I remember every Saturday we'd watch the T-Birds versus the Outlaws. There didn't seem to be any other teams other than the T-Birds, who were the good guys, and the Outlaws, who were the bad guys. Well, years later, I want to say back in 98, like back in 1998, they held tryouts for a new show called Roller Jam, which was an updated, modernized version of Roller, of roller Derby, right? This and and roller jam. There were positions. There were almost like Quidditch. There were chasers. There were defenders. There were enforcers. I was a I was a speed guy. I was long. I was lanky. I was lightning quick. I was the fat dude. I was the fastest skater I I had ever known of. No one skated as well or as fast as I did. So I went out for the tryout and I didn't see anybody else going for the scoring position that did any better than me. But I didn't get the call back. So but. That's uh, that. That's my little claim to fame. The Florida Sun Dogs. The Florida Sun Dogs. You can look it up. That's who I went out for. Didn't make the team, but I gave it a try. All right. And I don't even have a You hear her saying that a guy spends fifteen hundred dollars on a first date. Doesn't even get any. What you call it? Clapping cheeks. Clapping cheeks. <laughs> Try to be cheeks in the audience. <laughs> why do you think that a man would spend that kind of money? And from your lady's perspective, a guy spends that kind of money. What do you think he's expecting from that first date? I don't know that I care what he's expecting. Right. That's his expectation. Literally. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. I think everything is relevant. You know, somebody spending fifteen hundred dollars because they. <laughs> uh oh, oh boy, have we got some sea thrim? Kind of money, and from your lady's perspective, a guy spends that kind of money. What do you think he's expecting from that first date? I don't know that I care what he's expecting. Of course you don't. You're a black woman. Right, that's his expectation, literally. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. I think everything is relevant. You know, mm -hmm. it's Did this bitch really just say everything is relevant? Did she mean to say relative? Yeah, you beat me to it there, Kyle 2020. Hey, yeah, this bitch, look, this chick's a hood rat. She's a hood rat. She is. She is. She does not have a strong command of the English language. At least she doesn't have a hair hat on. I will give her that. But she's the type of bitch who uses big words to try to make herself look and sound more intelligent than she... than she really is. I spend fifteen hundred dollars because they make fifteen million, and fifteen hundred is very little for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, is somebody trying to impress you so they're spending mm -hmm. their last? That's their business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know this thing. Like, maybe I don't know. I'm out of the. The no. market, but I don't think I am. But I don't know that there are women that literally say, "If you don't spend three hundred dollars on my date, That's then wild. I'm not going out with you." No, I, uh, there. there are. Are. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't attract those type of women. So yeah, I don't no. know. Yeah, you don't even those. Oh, of here we are. I'm a good person because I don't attract those kinds of. Oh, people. I agree with that. Yeah. Even at my I age, mean. I have a lot of women in my generation. He just sat on there and just said that. Yeah. Who's that? Oh, Chosinko. Why not? It's irrelevant. Like it's irrelevant. Has he spent that type of money? Absolutely. Sure, sure. Should he be spending money on other things that he should be spending three hundred dollars on? He shouldn't. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. So now, like, why is that? Why is that the, the, the date thing a big issue? Yeah. I think ultimately it's a big issue because it, it's not a big issue. He doesn't have to spend his money on whatever the fuck he don't want to spend his money on. Women only have a problem with men spending money when we make it clear we're not going to spend it on them, right? Well, if he wants to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a date, that's his business. But why is it such a big deal? What are we speaking out of both sides of our mouths now? If if us, if us, we said we're not going to spend $300 on a date, it's because we don't want to spend $300 on a goddamn date. 
But then the girl wants to say, well, he wants to spend $300, and that's his problem. But then we say, well, I'm not spending Well, why not? Uh, Harry West with the 5 uh, NZ uh, super chat. I appreciate that. Says, you dumped over all you dumped over all these girls, Don. Look like MJ in the late 80s. <laughs> I appreciate it. What it comes down to with the following. Whether it's $300 or $500 or $1,500 or even $100 or whatever, ultimately, as we discussed, the man is paying for the first date, right? And ultimately, a man, you know, newsflash, he's taking you on a date not only just to get to know you, but to, as you called it, clapping cheeks, clapping cheeks out there. So he would like to get something, a return on his investment, is what it's called. But I think we all know His return could be a phone call the next day. No, oh my God. Phone. His return could be a phone call the next day. Yeah, because... Do you hear the disingenuousness of her voice? His return could be a phone call. No, bitch. No. We don't ask girls out and take them on dates and then get a phone call the next day, then call our bros and be like, bro, she called me success. Nope. Sorry. Fine. Maybe okay. a second date. But I think yeah. a guy um, would want to spend his money on something that he's, what he called, an asset, not a liability. It's just a free meal for the girl. We've heard many stories of girls who literally just go on dates for free meals, Absolutely. and that, that's it. They bounce. So a guy has to do a stronger vetting process than women do. There All you right, go. I'm paying on the date. Let's say I'm going on a date a week or a date a month, and I'm spending 300 bucks, 500 bucks. I have to do my oh. due diligence to make sure that I'm... That's a problem. That's a problem, Adam. A man should not be spending that kind of money on dates. Actually, I don't care how I don't care how much money he has. Not wasting money on what would be a liability. In Miami, there's girls that are just out there for Prime 112, Joe Stone Crabs, you know, Swan, all the nicest stuff. They're just going out for the nicest meals, nicest restaurants, and it's on a guy to decipher: is this thing worth my investment or not? Yeah, but I think it's also the guy's responsibility to know the type of girl yeah. they're going on a date with. Yeah. You can ah, here we go. Here we go. Right. This makes sense, and Natalia is also making sense. Okay, but here's the rub. Here's the rub. When guys like me teach my guys how to recognize the girls you should not take out for $300 dinner dates, we get the response like like I got on the podcast. I talk about vetting, responsibility, paying attention, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This helps this that right there helps keep guys from getting finessed. You have to dis and this is why Guys, it should never, like every single first date, it should be a no restaurant policy. It should be a low investment first date every time. Every time. Take her to the coffee shop. Feed the ducks like Steve the Dean Williams used to say. Or take her rollerblading. That's a good one. Take her to the go-kart track. Oh, that is a really good one. Take her bowling. Action activities. Something that, something that, something that shows that she's not just a, a, a foodie call whore. Basically, you look at a girl and be like, okay, I'm, she's expecting me to spend X amount of money on a date. I think you can definitely define some of the girl that you pick to go on a date with. Based think, on their yeah. profile, based on their associations, based on what they look, based on the things that they value, based yeah. on the conversation that you had. You, you should be able to prep like, what type of girl you're about to go on a date with. And if you pick a girl that is an expensive date, you know, that's kind of your, that's your problem. You, right? I definitely yeah. recommend like, all these specific yeah. questions. Yeah. Like, you know she's expensive, yeah. then, and that's a problem, then why are you even approaching But her? the guys like her. What is the ideal like number? Did you hear that? You gotta pay for that? Did you hear that, guys? Did you hear that? Listen to this. That's kind of your choice. Oh, your right? Listen to this. Like, like, all these specific yeah, questions. Yeah, like, you know she's expensive, then, and that's a problem. Then why are you even approaching But her? the guys like her. Right? Yeah, well, that's that's right. Right. So you gotta pay for that. You gotta pay for that. So what is the see, you gotta pay for that then. You gotta pay for that. Do you see, guys? Do you see, gentlemen? Women believe that this is not a value for value exchange. They believe that their very presence is worth a $300 dinner date. You're expecting sex from me? Nigga, you are indebted to me. I allowed I allowed you, I allowed you to take me on a three hundred dollar dinner date, but nope. Girls think that because they have a vagina that we must automatically pay to even talk to them. That's crazy. It's crazy talk. Do you like number? I mean, if they want a hippie, go to the farmers market, right? What's that? If they want a hippie, they should go to the farmers market. That's true. Well, hippies don't. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cute. But hippies don't hang out at farmers markets anymore, sweetheart. I don't think. I, here's what I'd recommend. Let's say there's an expensive restaurant. Let's say there's just a good restaurant. There's just like a cheap restaurant. I would go the middle ground. I would do like the three bears analogy. Not too hot, not too soft. Yeah. I wouldn't take her to Prime 112. I wouldn't take her to the fanciest restaurant. But I also wouldn't take her to Applebee's. I wouldn't take her to Chili's. Find a nice, cool restaurant, NBC. preferably with a bar. Yes. Pull up, hang <laughs> out, bar. have a good time, and catch that vibe. Yeah. Yes? He got the answer half right. The only reason you should take a woman to a restaurant on the first date is to take her to the bar. That is the only time, the only time that a man should ever take a woman to the bar is on the first date. It's low investment. You'll spend $20 on drinks at the very most. Maybe $30, $40 if you guys catch a vibe. Right? Isn't that funny? 
Isn't that funny? And then, of course, Adam catching on with the whole catching a vibe. Adam knows that this is nebulous. It's a nebulous word that women like to use to define their brains. They can't define what they're looking for. They just cannot verbalize it. So they all use the word vibe because that's the only word that can come to their minds. And that's not an indictment on the female gender, but this is how scatterbrained they are about matters of the heart. They don't know what the hell they want. They have no idea what they want. They can feel it. They can feel what they want, but they have no idea what the hell they want, or they have no idea what the hell they need. They know what they want. They know what they want. Uncle Luke, 1980s, member for eight months, says, I'm hoping you would get the Latina whale for Kevin Samuels. Dude, that was the first thing on my list. That was the first thing on my list, but, dude, I was completely, I was ambushed. I couldn't even get to any of the points I wanted to talk about. So, Cigar Man 85 with the $20 Super Jet says, funny how the black woman has her shoe up, showing her red bottoms next to her bag. Is she doing this on purpose? Yep. Because she is around beautiful younger women, so exposing she has money is her way to show dominance in the room. Yeah, you're, you're, you're probably right, but guess what? She doesn't have dominance in the room. She's the oldest person in the room. The highest value female in the room is in the middle of your screen, gentlemen. The 20-year-old, the 19 to 20-year-old dumb high school dropout. That's it. She's the highest value woman in the room. The woman on the right, she's a black woman from Miami. Hard pass. Uh, Pocahontas, a.k.a. I think what uh, I think what King Life called her. I think he called her uh, 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 the Walmart need of the pineapple. Hard pass. Obviously the black woman. Hard pass. L the Latina whale. Hard pass. The personal trainer is really only good for this, which means she belongs to the streets. Natalia, hard pass. The highest value woman in the room. Her Instagram looks like this. Guys, this is, this is the state of American dating. This is the state of American dating. A 19-year-old... 20 year old high school dropout who has the personality of a fucking tire iron who's about as smart as a baseball bat is the highest value woman in the room unbelievable so it depending is. on your social economic status because let's say in the event that a guy has a lot of money mm -hmm. and he literally tells you like meet me at prime 12 or 7 p.m yeah he's taking, like you know what i mean so you're gonna say yes right of course so it's circumstantial. No, I think you should know? take me to Applebee's instead. Right. I want Applebee's McDonald's. not ideal first date. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I think it's better. Coffee. It's just you want to go somewhere where you get. Hell nah. If a bitch told me she was taking me to Prime 112, I'd be like, yo, sign me up. Sign me up. Hey, look, man, if a woman wants to take you out, let her. Devin told me, hey, I'm going to Hawaii. You want to go? I was joking. I said, well, if you're paying, I'm playing. <laughs> a couple hours later, she had our plane, she had our tickets, room number, all that. Let them pay, y'all. Women work now. I mean, I don't know. You want to go somewhere where you could talk to the person. Because I'm not coming on a date just to look at you and not be able to hear you and have everybody screaming in my yes, ear. Like, so no I want to go somewhere. It uh, depends, because I talk in the movies. Yeah, it depends on what the movie is. Oh, you talk in the movies? It depends on what the movie is. If it's not me, you're going to be talking about it. Shut your mouth, girl. I hear you. Okay. Well, what I'll say is this. Last piece of advice for the gentleman out there. Wherever you go, whether it's Applebee's, whether it's a nice restaurant, whether it's a high-end restaurant, don't talk about yourself. Ask the woman questions, get to know her, ask questions, talk about big concepts, let them do the talking. A lot of guys fall into the trap of, I'm super successful, this is what I do for work, I'm an attorney, this is what I've done. I generally don't think women care about that. I think women generally want to talk about themselves. I talk about this with my good friend Michael Sartain. Women want to talk about themselves. Isn't that right, Intem? Yeah, it's to a degree, but we're interested in how you reciprocate it, you know, and like how what we share with you, how you bounce it off. Are you She's right. She's right. It or do you turn it into a conversation about you yeah. or delving yes. deeper into who we are, why we Actually, you know what? The chick on the left is actually she's quite attractive. She's quite attractive. I'm not a big fan of women who sing, but let's check out her Instagram because I think she's a little more attractive than I had originally thought. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Mmm. can't really get a handle yeah you know she's kind of an eccentric personality there's her on a camel 
Yeah, I, you know, she's kind of an eccentric personality, you know? I don't know, I can't, I, I don't know, I can't really give her a rating. Uncle Luke 1980s with the $2 super chat says, You and CGA stay having me roll and love these streams. Yo, when I lift weights, I cannot watch Coach Greg Adams. I can't do it. I cannot do it. Coach Greg Adams, yo, I remember one time almost, I, 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 I damn near killed myself. Dude, I was squatting something like 275, 300, right? Yeah, she has beautiful legs, very nice legs. I think that, I think that's what might, I think that's what might be throwing me off. Because I'm definitely a leg man for sure. But I remember this one time he was talking about, <laughs> he was talking about gorditas. Uh, big Mexican girls and what it's like to date gorditas. Yo, this nigga had me almost cut my fucking head off behind that, behind some bullshit. Oh my God. Yo, I had to call CG. I was like, bruh, you almost, you almost killed me talking about that gorditas. He must have laughed for about 10 minutes. Anyway, let's continue. Feel the way that we do or why it is that we believe that we do. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Right. Speaking of bouncing it off, what was the thing that you said that happens on first dates? Clapping cheeks. Clapping cheeks. Then shout out to clapping cheeks. Sorry to go the dirty route here. Naomi, do you want to add to this? I, I can tell you one thing. I, I work at one. There's yes. definitely a certain a certain crowd. There we go. For women. So yeah. she works at just yeah. for those of you who don't know, one of the high end restaurants by Groot Hospitality, the yes. Fountain Blue, Live, Story, there Everything Grubman. At Swan, what is the type of crowd, the type of woman that you see there? Um, Thoughts. There's a lot of influencers, a lot of like high status people. Just like you can tell, these women they come in, they have expectations, which isn't about. Sweetie, they're th they're clout chasers. Like every woman says she's an influencer, dude. If you, honestly, man, if you have less, if you have less than 50,000 followers collective between three, between all the platforms, you're not an influencer, man. You're not an influencer. Dude, I got 172,000, uh, 172,000 on this channel. I got another eight and another 10. So I got 200,000 YouTube subscribers. I've got what? 1500 rumble i had 18,000 on instagram before that got taken down you can't call yourself an influencer if if you've got less than 50,000 followers across all platforms you're not an influencer you're not an influencer at that point you're an aspiring influencer just because you have an instagram profile does not does not mean you are an influencer bad thing but if you're going to a restaurant like swan you you immediately expect something, you know, like. What do you mean by expect something? Expect like from the guy and the girl. Just like. Why is she so nervous? Like, not like it's not really high end, but like he's not taking you to like a crappy place. No. Yeah, and it's, it's more of like a. Yeah. It's the scene. Yeah, it's definitely a scene yeah. for sure. Yeah. He's not gonna pay for the bill. Bye. Yeah. Bye. She can order as many drinks or shots as she likes. Yeah. Last question. Bill comes. Oh, oh hell says, no. Let's go Dutch. Fifty fifty. How do you respond? Oh, oh, right. 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 Immediately no. Jane, no. Alligator no. arms. Really? Yeah, I'm a power move right now. If I'm there and you don't even got the money, I better have the money because I shouldn't be there if I don't. Exactly. Because you always have the possibility of a man pulling some funny shit. What yeah. kind of funny shit? This bitch has been with some niggas. So this, so so let me get this straight. See, this is why you know girls lie. So on one hand, she says, "Yeah, I've been with, I've been with guys spending hundreds of dollars on a date." But then she's talking about a dude. She's talking about a nigga that shows up to the date without any money. What? Listen, so they want to take you out, and then they don't even like your company. And by the end of the day, they're like, "Let me go to the bathroom." Okay. When the check comes, and then what happens? Then you need. Oh 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 oh! Wait a minute. Oh wait a minute! Did you guys miss what she just said? She says he doesn't like your company. Hold up. Hold up. Better have the money because I shouldn't be there if I don't. Exactly. Because you always have the possibility of a man pulling some funny shit. What yeah. kind of funny shit? Listen, so sometimes they want to take you out and then they don't even like your company. And by the end of the day, they're like, let me go to the bathroom. When the check they don't like your company. See, you forgot that part. You see, if a dude is going to take you to a really nice restaurant, here's a tip. How about not being a bitch? Right? Comes. And then what happens? Then you need to have your own money and be ready to pay that check. No, just wait for the guy to come back. You even go on a date. Uh, wait, has that happened to you? No, it hasn't oh, happened to me. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, if somebody put me in that predicament, I would really hope That's that I have enough money. I'm going on this date. I would hope that I have enough money to pay for it because if he decides that he wants to be like, boom, pull the rug from under me, mm -hmm. and then I'm here with what twelve dollars, we're both getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the number twelve, guys. She said twelve thousand uh, on that hypothetical situation and now she just said twelve dollars so just keep that in mind her favorite number is twelve <laughs> all right guys before we get arrested let's move on to our next topic right now uh, how many guys have kids we got two um baby mamas out there mommies, baby mamas with your best friend dre raven says she knows pookie ray ray and della jamarcus <laughs> this nigga called him della jamarcus <laughs> oh my god this nigga called him della jamarcus <laughs> You niggas are killing me. Oh, my God. This nigga really just said De La DeMarcus. 
<laughs> De La Jamarcus. Oh my god. Okay, let me continue. <laughs> so here's actually a funny little video right here. Uh, the downside to dating a cougar. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Matt. Okay. <laughs> so um, there's a famous saying, the riper the bush, the juicier the berry. What? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Jaden wrote that. that. But after hearing this, watching this video, is that still the case? Let's play this video, Joe. You know the music. Ooh, at the top corner. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing over there, buddy. Hey, that's <laughs> right. I just, it's just funny. <laughs> you have a one year old, you have a two year old. Yeah. So you have a nice wide And you have a 29 year old there in the audience. So have they ever make, interrupted? Let's make, let's make this real <laughs> awkward right now. Let's define what a cougar is. You tell me, what do you think a cougar is? Here he is. Here we go. Always, well, let's define blah, 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 blah. And I, I actually acknowledge this a little later. Woman mm -hmm. dating a significantly younger, younger man. man. Okay. okay. That is not my situation. Okay. Well, What's the age difference between you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's the age difference between you and your We're man? five years apart. Okay. He's older? He's older. Okay. Gotcha. Anyone here want to date a younger guy? Absolutely not. Please. Absolutely not? <laughs> Linda? No. Younger guy? No. No? no. Jane? Uh, no. Definitely not? No. Okay, Pocahontas? No, thank you. No, thank I you. Naomi? Yeah, yeah, you can't go to Naomi, go to jail. Go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm open. Open. My boyfriend is 16, he's a sophomore. <laughs> I'm a cougar. I'm super open to whatever the good Lord wants to bless me with. I do not care oh. my age, color, race, religion. I'm wide and open. Wow. But, here's, but here's the thing. Wide like, and open. You have to take They say it's like a, like the five to seven years, like what you should have like, Yeah, that's deal reasonable. Let's be reasonable. Right, exactly. Well, wait a minute. Look at Tina Turner. Tina Turner. Here we go. Yes, she married a man that was significantly younger than her. Gave her life. He was the Uber driver, like the taxi driver, and gave her life. Six, dude, exception to the rule. Exception to the rule. That the Tina Turner situation is rare. I mean, gave her life. He literally took an organ and gave it to her. Oh and gave okay. her life. Well, that's and just some real shit. Listen, let's not reference multimillionaire pop that's stars. That's just some real shit. Thank you. Like, no, it's some real shit, but that real shit doesn't happen every day. Come on now. Well, let's talk about something. Anton, would you date a guy younger? Of course. You would? Yeah. How much younger? Well, I, my limit is so long as they're legal, but so long as they're legal. <laughs> 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 that is hopefully fucking everybody. Is that what we have seen? <laughs> Okay. Hey, man. Honestly, as long as they're decent human beings that are focused and driven and motivated and have morals and ethics, like, that's really at the end of the day. Spoken like a woman, spoken like a woman who is, how can I put this, who's either at or past the wall. The less sexual market value a woman has, the more she's willing to compromise. Because I can guarantee you, listen, the girl in the middle, well, I can't date anyone younger than me. Right? I can't date, I can't. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh boy, oh, that's not good at all, oh boy, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, that was a cat, ooh, that's a calf injury, and, oh, he had to be helped onto the cart, so Joe Burrow, looks like he's got a calf injury, I don't think that's going to be a big deal, because the football season's still a ways away, but keep an eye on that, but the girl in the middle, the girl in the middle, yeah, she can be picky because she's young and hot. Why do you all say you want to date an older guy, maybe more experienced? Yeah, go ahead, get a little tequila in your life. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. Is what is it? Yeah. What is it to you, Linda? I have you dated like... younger. I have, I have before. Okay. It's just, it just, like, depends on the age difference. Do you hear this? I have dated younger guys as if younger guys find her attractive. This, dude, this woman is so fucking tryhard, man. She really is. And I think like a five to seven year age range could work, especially if you're both like in the younger years and you can have children. You gotta think of children. Because yeah, I've known couples where the man is obsessed with her and she's older. Actually, happened to oh a family of mine. God. I don't know Here we go. Oh, I know a man who is obsessed with an older woman. Here we go. Here we go again with women trying to convince themselves, trying to, trying to convince men that older women are more valuable than younger women. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I know my critics and detractors will say, well, Donovan, you're married to a grandma. She's almost 47 years old. Yes, she is. That is the woman that I chose. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, all right, I'll, I'll work on this, guy. Sorry about that. Uh, I was, uh, 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 listen, she is the woman that I chose for the point that I was in, uh, for the point that I was in my life right now. Is that the Okay, never mind. I'm I'm still working on it, guys. But bear with me here. I'll I'll get back on the screen here. But yes, Devin's the woman. Devin is the woman I chose. Now, if I wanted children, I would not have gotten with her. I probably would have smashed her and passed her, and that would have been that. But I've never wanted children. If I did want children, I would not be with Devin at all, because Devin is incapable of having children. When I met her, she was thirty. She was thirty-nine years old. She was 39 years old when I met her. Could she have had children then? Yeah, but at this point, now we're at geriatric pregnancy at this point. 
So no, kids were never at the front of my mind. That's just all there is to it. That, that is the only reason why. If I wanted kids, I would not be with Devin. I would be with a much younger woman, to be sure. But when men, pardon me, but men are not always thinking about children when we talk about younger, younger women. Guys, younger women are just more attractive. They're tighter. They're more supple. They're not as damaged. They don't have as many bodies. We want, we want, we want, a, we want cars with less mileage on them. This is all there is to it. Every once in a while, you can go and purchase a Shelby Cobra that's kind of a fixer-upper. You spend the money, and you make her, you know, you make her, you know, at least somewhat resemble her glory days. I consider Devin to be my Shelby Cobra. She was, she was a fucking hot tamale back in the day. Fortunately, she was married at the time she was the hottest, right? Then she got divorced and started doing ho shit. Six months later, she meets your boy, and all that changed, right? All of that, all of that changed. I put money and resources into her only after she paid her dues, and now, wait a minute, and now, nope, that's not it. Well, you guys have seen the picture. It's all over my, it's all over my uh, social media. Now Devin is literally in the best shape of her life. She has the best body of her life. Her body, listen, her body is not as tight and as supple as she was when she was 26. But I'm going to tell you what, it's a lot curvier. Yes, the hell it is. She's got bigger tits. She's got a better ass, more muscular legs. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's continue. She was an older, beautiful woman. Yeah. Significantly younger boyfriend. And she was like, you know, I don't want to have kids anymore, right? Like, I'm done. I don't want to have kids. I already had my kids. Done, okay. No, but she already had her kids, gotcha. right? Yeah. She still could, but she didn't want to because she already procreated plenty of time. Said she was an older woman. Here we go. Even though she's an older woman. Well, she still could have had kids. Yeah. Kids with fucking three arms. Um, and he said, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But then you run into a problem five years down the road when he's like, I actually do want to have kids. You know, mm -hmm. and she's like, well, you already knew that I had, like, yeah. you know, these uh, three children. So I think that it really depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, I have dated younger guys, and they're very fun and very nice. Um, and they do give you life. Who said that? Somebody said yes. that? Yes. Um, they're not giving you an organ, though. They're not going to give you an organ. But <laughs> well, um, an orgasm, it's, it's, it's very rare that they will give you, you know, an organ. There's something that happens when you hit 30 that the men from 20 to 20 to 30 year olds are like obsessed with you like really? they, yeah like they will like i i don't want to get too much into it but, oh this bitch but, oh, stop um, it yeah ain't nobody obsessed with you girl to be real, every, every woman's looking for a man that can lead her. You know yes. what I'm saying? Everyone, every woman wants a man that she can like come home, like let her guard down, and like wow, like you know, like my husband or my person's gonna like lead me, and like, I can like you know uh, depend on him because everyone wants a man tomorrow. that we can depend on. So someone who's younger who hasn't really experienced much, it's like how can you lead me and my future family to the good decisions when I'm not around? You best believe you better be making the right decisions for us. That's you know? true. So She's right. Someone like that, someone who's mostly intelligent, someone who can make those decisions. I don't know if it could be like a younger person who hasn't really like you know been through anything. You know, you just said She's right. Yeah, Desmond Montgomery says she, she, she's almost at menopause soon. No, no. Listen, Des, I, I, Des Devin is she's got to be pre -menop uh, pre menopause at this point. She's got to be, and that's not that's not disrespect. That's just the truth. It is what it is. Depends on like you know the, the life experience. The life experience. Yeah. Exactly. But you said yeah. you said the following. You said every woman is looking for a man to lead her. Yeah, we want to admire the man. Like, Shouldn't the woman yeah. lead the relationship? A lot of people think the woman should lead but, the relationship. I mean, Are you fucking kidding me, Adam? They all, Adam just sat, sat here and said, all of you guys said that you want a man to lead the relationship, but shouldn't the man lead the, or shouldn't the woman lead the relationship? I don't know why Adam would ask this if he, if he truly believed that. Adam doesn't believe that a woman should run the relationship. He doesn't believe that she should lead the relationship. There's no way. He's a, dude, I don't care who you are. No man thinks that. I, mean, a woman, I, I feel like a woman is there to um, facilitate and support, to support you. You know, okay, we, uh, here we are. Yeah, here's the picture that I'm talking about here. Yep, that's the one right now. This picture was taken maybe a week ago. Maybe a week ago. Devin's 123 pounds in this picture. As you guys can see, perfect hourglass figure. Uh, yeah, she's got a set of fake tits that stick right out. Will poke your eye out. You better believe it. Nice shapely legs. Nice, tight, shapely ass. Got a little bit of volume on it, as you guys can see from the side view. And she is in phenomenal shape. She's in phenomenal shape. Guys, there's no Photoshop in this. <laughs> Matter of fact, you can tell it's not Photoshop because our room's a wreck. Right? 
But if Devin didn't look like this, y'all, I would not be with her. I just wouldn't. She's got to be fuckable. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we have we have. So it the man us, is the leader, uh, the woman is the support staff. Well, you just said that you pay for you. you yeah, tell the woman what she does. The man, the man is the man is 100 percent the household. Does anybody here think that the woman is the head of the household, or is the, the, they object to that? Well, I, I feel like in a way it depends on the situation. Like we were talking about circumstances, for example, yeah. like if you have someone that you know. Has oh, so this is the chick. Okay, so, so this chick, and I can't stand girls like this. I can't stand girls like this. And even though she kind of defended me uh, a little later on. Uh, by, the, by the way, shout out to Phil Foster uh, in the gym. Um, yeah, Joel, uh, uh Joel, uh, Ice Dragon Kid says the gym is the ultimate Photoshop. You better believe it. You better fucking believe it. Uh, anyway, this is the type of woman who doesn't have a belief one way or the other. Every answer to her question is, it depends on X, Y, Z. Everybody has their own personal preference. Blah, 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 blah. You never get a straight answer out of most women, and she is another avatar for this. Has not been through certain experiences, and you know that you have, and you know that you can guide the situation in a more fruitful direction, then of course you take the lead, especially if he lets you. Because there's a lot of men that will sit there and just let you tell them, hey, you do this, you do that. Yeah, those are this called betas. Yes, oh, thank you. Uh oh, wow. Oh, shit. Okay, Adam. All right. Okay. So you see, guys, Adam's not an idiot. Adam is clearly competent. He's not sleepwalking through these. You guys can tell. You guys can tell that he consumes our content and consumes his own. Because the last 10 minutes or so, he's made some pretty valid points. Well, well, like, a real guy is going to probably step up and want to lead exactly. the household. Lead the I mean, I would hope that you do. I would really hope that you do. Like, I want to wake up on Monday, yeah. Sunday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. and you're telling me, hey, like, okay, this is what we're doing for the family. This is what I'm doing on my own. You can do whatever you want with this time. When I'm on my own, you do what you need to do. Like, there has to okay. be. Okay, all right. Do you want the man being the guy leading? You follow his lead. He's yes. got this. You follow yeah. his yes. stuff. Yeah. Or do you want him to be more submissive? Mm -hmm. He's going to follow your lead. You, what you say goes, he follows your lead. I mean, it's what you're leading with. But if you're leading where I'm not, I'm going to fall. Just say yes, sweetie. Just say yes. I'm into a hole and I'm not going gotcha. nowhere. Then I'm not going to let you lead. But that doesn't mean that one day you cannot be a leader. Mm -hmm. It's just. Yes, but you're not going to wait around to make sure that he can. You're not getting any younger. You got, dude, you ain't got that kind of time. You need to learn what are your strengths. I need gotcha. to be able to be with you and like, you know, I need to be able to propel your strengths. Like we both, we both work on each other. I could have strengths that you would never even imagine that you never come across mm -hmm. and I could teach you things. But then there's other things that maybe I never experienced mm -hmm. and you could teach me things. It's all about what the. There's nothing a woman can teach me. Sorry. Sorry. There's nothing a woman can teach me about life other than, of course, how not to handle women. What would be course. some things that you would teach him? Uh, like what, what well, one, I mean, I personally don't want. Ooh, was that Natalia asking that question? The person who teaches you how to wipe your ass or cook or well, any yeah, of the basic things. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sweetheart, if you have to, if you have to teach your man how to wipe his ass, there might be some, <clears throat> let's be nice about this, there might be some mental issues. Might be some mental issues going on upstairs. But hope I mean, you're not teaching a grown man that. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying, like, well, what, if you were, what if you were raised in a household where your mother was a single mother and she tried her best to raise you? What if, what if, what if? And you know how to take care of yourself, but maybe you don't know how to lead a household completely. Stuff. You know, like, maybe you don't know how to be the stern person in a household. I shouldn't take away but from you. why would a woman that. want to be with a man like that? It's not about wanting to be. Sometimes people end up in situations. Sometimes you're raised in a situation that is not what you well, want. Well, how about this? Do any, any ladies she, want to be with a man like that? She is not, she's not, she has she just keeps, She's not even answering the question. She's just talking to talk now. That, that, that you have to take care of? No. Or would you rather be with a man who takes care I of mean, No. You commit to marriage, it's in sickness and health. Yeah, I mean, it's important. Well, well, it's it's it depends taking care of what? Because, I mean, oh, this is cute. Oh, sickness and health till death do us part. Yeah, they say that now on the sauce cast, but as soon as troubled waters come, they're out. I mean, you, that's your role. You have to take care exactly. of your man. Like, that's your role. Exactly. You get up. Like, like, you know, that's your role. You have to, but there's roles in a relationship. You know, it's, it's about how much you can take as a person. Keep in mind. Gentlemen, keep in mind that these women all said they wanted a man who would lead, a man who was sure of himself, blah, 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 blah. Just keep that in mind. And a younger guy, the biggest difference. Hmm. Um, an older guy is going to be more set on his kids, his financials, like, you know, more stable. Like, they're not thinking about what a younger person would be thinking about or focus on. You know, depends on how young they are. They may just be getting started in college in their career. Like, I still don't know what okay. I would do. Like, that's, that's fair. why a lot of older women would just, or not necessarily older, um, age difference they'll say i'm just having fun right yeah. some people fall into that trap some people don't i think with older guys they know where they're going they're leading they're like the type of guy that's like okay i'm picking you up at eight you don't have to worry about anything just make sure that you wear this or that you know because it's a nicer place or somewhere casual t law says is this what y'all call word salad no the 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 you know the black beluga she's actually she's actually telling 
some truth here. See, guys, what you have to understand is I'm, I'm, I try to be as objective as possible, right? There's no way I'm going to be completely objective because I am clearly biased, right? But at times, I try to be as genuine as possible. Like, for example, when we watched the Destiny video where he says, when my kid eats the toppings off of this pizza, I just beat the shit out of my kid. And everybody laughed. I thought it was funny, too, because it was a joke. There is absolutely no way, there is absolutely no way Destiny beats the shit out of his kid because he eats the toppings off of his pizza first. He might make fun of him or admonish him, but he doesn't really beat the shit out of his kids. So I was not going to come out here and be like, oh, Destiny beats his kids. No, that was clearly a joke. So just because someone on the screen I don't like is dropping truth doesn't mean I'm not going to acknowledge, okay, that was true. That's just, I mean, I, 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 now I'm not always like that, but at least I strive to be. Um, I think that's would you, would you rather the guy tell you, hey, be ready at eight, I got you, let's go, we're going to... Kyle 2020 says she doesn't know what she's talking about. She knows nothing about guys with money. Now that I agree with. She under, I think she understands the mindset of a young person, but she doesn't know what... She assumes that all older guys have kids. Like, dude, she's... Eight, or you pick up the guy for the date and you tell him, hey, I'll pick you up at eight, see you no, soon, look no. up for me, buddy. Okay, okay so we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Final point. I just want to say that I know a lot of very young millennials specifically between the ages of 22 and 30 that are very successful, yeah. that lead very good, successful businesses, mm -hmm. that could lead some of these older women in the right direction. Yeah. A lot of you know a lot of 22 to 30-year-old men? Women don't have it together either. Mm -hmm. so what oh, uh, you, yeah, no shit. No shit. So, hold, 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 let, me, let, me, let me just rewind this. This is, this is some nonsense. A lot of very young millennials, specifically between the ages of 22 and 30 that mm -hmm. are very successful, mm -hmm. that lead very good, successful businesses, mm -hmm. that could lead some of these older women in the right direction, because a lot of women don't have it together either. Mm -hmm. So what happened with those older women where they need a young, successful 25-year-old to whip them into shape? What do you mean? What, what do you what mean? What happened with them? Like, why are they, how, how old are you talking about for the women? 35? Let's just say. So why would a 20? I don't think it's an age thing. I, no, I it's definitely an age thing. Not. It's definitely an age thing. See, do you see, as soon as Adam cornered her, now she said it's not an age thing. But you just brought up the age thing. I mean, of course it's an age thing. I had my son at 14, and so I had to grow up very quickly. Oh, wow. Well, that's an anomaly. Okay, so th see, there we go. I had my son at 14, so I had to grow up very quickly. Guys, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? He was Adam was talking about the fact that younger men don't want to commit to older women. Then, you know, the black beluga whale, well, I know younger men who are obsessed with older women, blah, 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 blah. So then she jumps in and says, well, I happen to know a bunch of millennial, young millennials, 22 to 30, who run successful businesses. Guys, the young millennials she knows are the ones in her pyramid Ponzi real estate scheme. Those are the 22 to 30 year olds that she knows. Those are the only people she surrounds herself with. So this is her data set. Just because these people are telling you they're successful, I've already forgotten her name already, doesn't mean they are. Do you see their W, do you see their W4s at the end of the year? Do you see their taxes at the end of the year? Do you see what their tax bill is? So once again, she's just lying to make a point. What 22 to 30 year old, you know, millionaire business owner is gonna is gonna wanna is gonna wanna wife up a 35 to 39 year old? No, he wants kids. He's not, dude. He's not trying to date some woman who's a couple of years from menopause. What are we doing? Give me a break. Uh, Cigarman85 said she looks like the perfect Squidward. What does that mean, guys? I've heard that. What did I hear that on? I heard that on a movie Devin and I were watching. Squidward. Squidward. Oh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, um, Tyrone has been cloned. It was Tyrone has been cloned. And John Boyega's character, I guess is, I don't know what his name is. He was Tyrone. He's driving along and he's got his son or his nephew and is like, oh, man, don't be like a Squidward. And he says, man, I don't watch that SpongeBob, blah, 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 blah. And then he drives for He's like, but I'm not a Squidward. And so the little boy looks at him and says, ah, so you do watch. Right. So you do watch. So I don't know what I have no idea what the perfect Squidward. I don't know what it means, guys. Then, then I chose to hang around and be around five good people that knew about finances. So I was able to buy my first property at 21 and continue from there. So I was able to buy my first property at 20. I surrounded myself with five good people. Five good people, huh? So with a seven-year-old, you managed to buy your first property as a single black mother. Okay. Let me look up handsome Squidward. 
<laughs> oh my god, she Oh, that is not Oh my god, that is not funny. She really does look like him. God damn. I suppose I don't know, man. I suppose it could be I suppose it would be funny if it were not <laughs> as accurate. But I don't think that's funny at all because she does look like fucking squid uh, handsome squidward. Oh my god. All right. I don't, at 21, I was really functioning as a 30 year old, as, as you guys are saying. Mm -hmm. But there's so many 30 year olds and women that don't have it together. Functioning at yeah, no and shit. So many younger guys because of technology, entrepreneurship. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, let me uh, hang on. Let me put the two faces together here. <laughs> I've never known what the hell this handsome Squidward thing is, but yeah, you guys are. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, here comes the here comes the side by side. She does look like motherfucking handsome Squidward. Oh my god. There it is. Like I've not seen as much entrepreneurship in my my Oh my god. 43 years of living in 44 in August that I've seen in the last year or two. Yeah. So the, the world is changing. Technology is changing. Bitcoin is here. Gold is here. Crypto mm -hmm. is here. We didn't have that stuff back then. Yeah. And so people are able to accelerate their careers and call it what you want. Most people identify success with money. If you don't have money to pay your lights and water and it gets cut off, you're screwed. You do need money to live. Yeah. And most people identify success first with money. Right. Mm -hmm. then okay, so we went from so we went from men dating older women to the definition of success. Guys, this is how random women's brains work. And this, again, is why when women start to verbalize the word salad... Right, the bitch babble, you can always see Myron write something down. And I think what he likes to write down is to stay on topic. So he'll let the girls go round and round and round. Maybe there's a viral moment. Then he says, okay, but getting back to the topic. And it's the spiritual, and then it's the right. business, mm -hmm. that and that. And so I think you have to take every person and just, if Dissect. they're 21, evaluate that person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm 30, I have, they have to evaluate the 30 year old. It mm -hmm. does not mean that one thing applies to all. Yes. Right. Well, the one thing I'll get, by the way, great answer. Here she goes. Thank is, you. You, the money no, that was not a great answer. Adam, all she did was talk. That's it. It matters predominantly for the man. Okay. Absolutely. The man is the person who needs to make the money. So let's use Naomi as an example. I'm just gonna use you an example. Okay. Let's say I or a buddy of mine was interested in Naomi. I don't give a shit how much money she makes. She's hot. She's young. She's cool. Get on my page. Let's go. You're on my team. A lot of women are not just gonna deal with some broke hot dude for longer they than uh, for longer than a good time. They They're not gonna wife or marry that guy. They're just not gonna do it. It's based on the laws of my you know how many women have been married 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 Here we go. And here they all go. Well, I know this woman who married a bum and all that. Aye, that aye, rich aye, hot aye. guy. Say it again. I'm saying, you know how many women have had to escape marriages where they decided to marry that rich hot guy? Like it's still happening today. We didn't say rich hot. Oh, here we go. Escape rich. This bitch watches too much fucking lifetime. You're watching too much Hallmark TV, sweet cheeks. Escape a marriage with a rich hot guy? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is this is the type of bitch who just watches too much goddamn TV. That's not happening. It happens, I said, yeah. uh, bro guy. Oh. Women aren't going to deal with that. I think if you have a very yeah. successful woman that needs some level of balance in their head, mm -hmm. they're willing yeah. to work with someone that doesn't meet where they are because mm -hmm. that person might 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 offer emotional stability. Mm -hmm. They might need This is absolutely false. Guys, do not listen to these women. These women are trying to convince you. These women are trying these women are trying to convince you that you do not need money to be attractive long term to women. Women are not going to they are not going to take you seriously if you do not make decent money. They're just not. They're just not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. A good meal at home while she's out working and doing what you know, so women, you'll, you'll be surprised how many women yeah. are willing to be providers because they've oh already made it to a level of success mm -hmm. that they don't care. Don't and they just or maybe they're willing to be providers because they're unable to attract one. Women do what they have to, gentlemen. They do what they have to, right? When it comes down to it, they do what they have to. When they're in their 20s, they do what they want. When they're in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, they do what they have to do. So many women that are willing to be providers. Yeah. Like some, I mean, I Maybe short term, if a guy's like young providers. and hard to do it short term, I don't see that many women just taking care of their man. But I think no, women are not built for that. But it comes to a breaking point, because most of the time, I agree with you. But the thing is, you're saying is that in general, 
men are supposed to leave. And yes, the women's going to want to be taken care of. You're also talking about Miami, right? Which is a very... Oh, here like, we go. Like, here we go. to meet a man and take care of him. No, it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't happen that way. It doesn't happen that way. It's not that she's with a mentality that's like, oh, I can't wait to take care of this guy financially. It's that perhaps she meets a guy that she vibes with potential. And she's like, you know what? I don't care because I make $5 million a month or $10 million a year. See, $5 million. Do you see? This woman acts like she knows money. This woman acts like she knows money because she just throws around these numbers just so arbitrarily. Yep, five million a month, 10 million a year. She has no idea, y'all. Unless she's doing OnlyFans, like these are very you know. few. These are well, these are exceptions to the rule. Most women right, are making normal money, a normal job, so looking to get taken care of. Like, yeah, it also, care it also of it, 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 I mean, it depends on the, the mentality of the man that she's dealing with. If he's broke, you know. Depends. Um, Here we go. If he has a mentality like, look, this is what I want to do, and this is not, and blah blah, then like, you know, a woman would stay around to see if this person can reach their potential or not. But at a certain point, if yeah, it's already you know six months and you're still not trying to be better, you're still not trying to grow, you're still not trying to evolve, then at that point, I don't think the woman's gonna deal with that anymore. Okay, well there you go. Now that was truth. That was the truth. A woman will deal with a guy who's not making money if. If she sees that he has potential. Okay? Brittany Mahomes, for example. The wife of Patrick Mahomes. Met him in middle school. Met his ass in motherfucking middle school, y'all. And now she's flexing on all of those hoes. Trying to get at Patrick Mahomes. She invested early. She invested early. She recognized. She said, okay. This kid's a seventh grader, but this kid's gonna be a fucking superstar. And now look at her. Well, let me give the guys a, a final piece of advice. Gentlemen, you may agree with some of the ladies here. You may disagree with some of the ladies here. Uh, listen to me. Make your motherfucking money. Do not Damn right. Any woman to no. take care Damn of right. Of it's not going to happen. Okay? No. You need to be the person making the money, yep. paying the bills, leading, and then find a woman who can get on the same page with you, whether she makes a ton of money or whether she doesn't. Because even if a woman is into you short term, she ain't going to put up with nope. your broke ass long term. Yeah. Make mm -hmm. your nope. money and then save, save that money. money. Yeah. There you go. Um, speaking of young uh, men, dating older women have you heard what's going on with michael jordan's son uh dating scotty pippen's ex ah uh, yes uh, very weird situation so is mj's it? is it she's a hottie mm -hmm. oh my god are these bitches really saying that larsa pippen is a hottie are you kidding me larsa pippen is a fucking dumpster fire holy god Larsa Pippen's a hottie. Roadblock85 with the $5 super chat says, Excellent show already, and we still aren't at Donovan's part. Oh, it's a coming. Did this bitch really just say that Larsa Pippen was like a Kim Car fucking Dashian? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me let me. Larsa Pippen Instagram. Because we know that her Instagram is curated. So let's check it out. So this is Larsa Pippen. This is Larsa Pippen, who's damn near 50 years old, out here acting like she is in her 20s. Larsa Pippen looks good for her age, but hot, she is not. Like, all I'm looking at here are Instagram filters. There is not one picture here that is not absolutely laden with filters. Oh, ain't this funny. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Let's read some body language here, shall we? All right. She, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Cock the coochie. She looks like she's into him there, so I'll give her... I'll give her a passing. I'll give her a passing grade on that. But what is this about? What's this about? Uh, well, it looks like he's trying to lean in, and she's doing this. She's doing that to make her ass look good. That's the only reason why. But if you really want to kiss your man, just you got to roll up on him. You got to be up on him. There is no cock to coochie there. No, Larsa Pippen is not a hottie. She's a post-wall woman trying to live like she's in her 20s, and it's a bad look. Ugh. 
30 years younger than him. We don't know. He was. I think it's more of the time, connection. That's why he married her. It's more of the connection. That's so, why he's married her. Ex-wife. Let's see how hot she is. So just real quick, let me see this. Uh, Marcus Jordan, uh, who I believe is 32, is dating Larsa Pippen. She's 49, turning 50. She is the ex-wife of Scottie Pippen. Mark Marcus Jordan is the son of Michael Jordan. It doesn't take uh, an avid sports fan to know that Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen were freaking teammates. Yeah. And Larsa Pippen has known Marcus Jordan since he was a, a little, uh, little she's shorty. She's also a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably had a crush on her forever. And now she's circling the block. By the way, she's been with multiple young Don't NBA hate the players. Player. Hate the game. Oh, okay. so, so show a picture of them, uh, just so Claudine gets a bit. Larsa oh. Pippen, Michael Jordan, so Michael Jordan relationship timeline. Um, so you might say, yeah, you, know, you might say, all right, that maybe. works. Okay, cool. But you know who does not approve of this relationship? Is that, is that well, right? maybe a, a, a guy called Michael. T. Law says, think Scotty will win in the end? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Men always win in the end, guys. Always. Even if for years and years it appears that the woman is dunking on him, men always win in the end, guys. Look, the tables are already starting to turn with Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen. Giselle Bunchen got all those W's fucking a Brazilian jiu-jitsu instructor and this and that. But now Tom Brady is out here dating fucking IG models, supermodels and shit. Roger Thomas says, why is her last name still Pippin? Because she still wants the clout. Well, because no one would know who she is if she changed her name back to Larson, whatever. Larson, well, whatever. Hey, Mr. Jordan, what do you think about Marcus and Larson Pippin together? You approve of it? No. You don't approve? Do you think he's going to ask her to marry him? So, if you missed that, the, the guy from TMZ basically asked MJ, walk into a car, do you approve? He said one word. No. no. Okay? So, here's a 32 year old guy. By the way, she has four kids. The oldest is Scotty Pippin Jr., who plays in the NBA. Uh, ladies. How would you feel? You're probably 29. You're probably 27. You kind of revealed your age, but we also know that black don't crack. You said 44. You said you're 21, 19. You're probably 28. Gotcha. How would you feel if your man, your man, dude you're dating, guy your age, Nat, we all know that you're 21 for the last five years. Um, if your man left you for a 49-year-old cougar with four kids, how would you feel? Many, Good luck. Many such cases. Good luck. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? God, I'm, I'm here telling we you that go. there's like this thing that they, they, you know, men, especially on these podcasts, the broadcast, it's like, when are you guys gonna talk about how these younger men obsess over older women? And I'm this is so funny. This bitch actually, she. This is so funny. Younger men don't obsess over older women. They do on pornography. Like, what is she? Oh, that's right. She's making her necessity a virtue. She has to tell herself this to cope with the fact that she is no longer attractive to the men she's attracted to. What none of these women on the panel seem to realize is that most women over the age of 35 are too old to date men their own age. She knows this. Guys who are 35 and 40 years old, they are not paying attention to you no mo. The guys who used to the guys who used to clap the cheeks backdoor style, they're not talking to you anymore. So you have to now make up this narrative. Well, Younger guys are totally obsessed with older women. Yes, yeah, says who? Says who? Nobody's obsessed with older women for anything but a one-night stand. Man, 22-year-old 22, 22 millionaire males aren't looking to wife up 37-year-old women with three kids, boo. That's not how it works, and she knows it. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I'm not saying it's that it's going to be forever. Been watching for 10 years. Right. I'm not saying it's going to be forever or like, oh, they just want to smash. Okay, cool. But like, they do, sweetie. They do. He's still with her. He could be, he's rich. He's famous. His dad is literally Michael Jordan. He could be banging a 21 year old or a 22 year old, but he chooses not to for a reason. Probably the game. She probably has good games. Yep. She's probably good in bed. She probably mm -hmm. makes him feel really good. Yep. And he doesn't care because he feels good with her. Would I approve as a mom? I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those yeah. things the more you tell your child like not to do something, especially he's of age, the they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, if my. If you're Michael Jordan's son, you listen to Michael Jordan. <laughs> well, well, he's, he's not, not, he's not, right? he's not yeah. listening to him. And it's for a reason. He probably feels good. Maybe like the younger girls. Look, man. Look, look. Marcus Jordan. <clears throat> Marcus Jordan can do whatever he wants, but there's a reason Larsa Pippen, there's a reason why these Instagram thoughts go for the NBA young boys. You ever notice that it's always the young guys who are getting caught up? Zion Williamson, Tyler Hero, LaMelo Ball. It's always the young bucks <clears throat> who get caught up in this stuff. And the reason for this <clears throat> is because women know that the old heads in the NBA, they seem coming a mile away. <clears throat> the old heads of the NBA, they know, dude, they know the difference between, uh, you know, they, they know why those women really are, are there. The young NBA guys, the new millionaires who don't know the game, <laughs> she likes me because of, no, Marcus, she doesn't like you because your name is Marcus. She likes you because your last name is Jordan. And in Lars's mind, she thinks she has upgraded from Scottie Pippen to the son of Michael Jordan. No, Larsa, no, baby, that's not a flex. To go from Scottie Pippen 
to Marcus Jordan, that is not a step up, sweet cheeks. That is a step way down. This also shows us that Marcus Jordan has zero game. Because just like old girl said, Marcus Jordan could be fucking some 19, 20 year old hottie. But instead, he's fucking a 50 year old with four kids by Scotty fucking Pippen. No, that this has nothing to do with her game. Marcus Jordan is a mark. <laughs> that's why Lars or that's why Larsa's with him. Marcus Jordan has no common sense. That's why Larsa was able to. To finesse him. Uh, Dr. B84 with the $5 super chat says men see themselves in younger men and women see themselves as younger women. This is why women think their sexual market value never decreases. Wow. Mic drop there for Dr. B84. Let's continue. So he's probably thinking, you're not perfect as hell. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta know what you saw. You gotta know what you saw when he was growing up with a famous father that was probably cheating on his mom all the time. So let's be honest. And I don't don't remember the the cheese, the cheese, the cheese, the gossip. Do you think there's a deeper motivation in this relationship? Anyone here? It's like, what's really going on? Is there a revenge going on? No. Is there something? Oh, listen to all of them saying no. This is the sisterhood. 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 They know what it is. They know that if his last name wasn't Jordan, Larsa Pippen would not be with this nigga. She wouldn't. They all know it. But of course, they're all going to defend her. It could be like people do stunts all the time, especially celebrities for money, for clout. Who's doing it for money? When you're in Hollywood, it could be it could be her. Maybe she's you know looking for some more income by dating somebody younger. Well, oh no. Well, there we go, Natalia, finally revealing a little bit of the truth. Or it could be him. You know, sometimes when you're the son or daughter of somebody famous, you also don't get the same amount of income as like your parent. So maybe this is way. No, Marcus. Marcus Jordan is good. Marcus Jordan will never have to work a day in his life. Let's not let 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 let's 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 not sit here and act like Marcus Jordan is hard up. No, Marcus Jordan's eye. Pay for you to get eyes, for you to get money, for you to get marketing. Like you really don't know like how long they're motive behind it. He's hungry for the clout. It's been six months. I'll tell you what. Oh, we know. He's hungry for the clout. Oh my God, this fucking bitch. You talk about projection, guys. That was projection one o one. That is projection 101. He's doing it for the clout. Yes, well, the last guy that she was dating was a guy called Malik Beasley, who's a 26 year old guy, also plays in the end. Also a young buck. NBA, okay, uh, that played for the Minnesota Timberwolves and then he was on the Lakers. Here's my philosophy, hear me out. Uh, I think she's just is trying to fucking dig into Scottie Pippen. This I think many years? She doesn't give a shit. I think she's trying to bang NBA no. players. I think she's trying to just get back Adam's at him. right. I think she's got a vendetta. Nine. I feel like what she... Did he do why are some women are freaking ruthless? You're wrong, bro. She just wants to... Do you hear how they just talk over him and he's not doing anything about it? She just wants the hottest cookie in the oven. She wants the what? The hottest cookie in the oven. What does that mean? Like, where's the hot tamale? He's like, I'm saying, like, you think... He just wants college and I'm just going to go ahead and say... Scottie Pippen? Who wants Scottie Pippen? What do you mean? That was her man. Nah, bro. That's like 20 years ago. 20 years ago? For you, that's hot. But for her? Ask you no, a question. How yes. long has her? Oh my God, this is ridiculous. And Scotty Pippen, Pippen been divorced. Yeah. Years, years, years. How long have you been playing her? But, but but not that long. I don't know. I mean, Joe could probably pull it up when they get divorced. Yeah, can you? But there's a reason. She has a track record. She's only going after NBA players, and she's it's obviously. Money. But what did you think? Why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't you? If you're in that circle, so like, oh, you can play Applebee's. How about this? How about this? Hello. How about this? Hello. You're a mom. You have a 29 year old son. Okay. Tell me if this is not weird or not. Larsa Pippen's son, Scotty Pippen Jr., is 22 years old. He plays in the NBA. Meanwhile. She is banging his teammates and the people he's playing against. Do you know how weird that is? Or one or two people. Multiple players. In see, the here we go. You see, you see, you see that? You see how she questions everything? There are no absolutes. There are never absolutes. It's all well. Let's define and let's let's no. Yeah, but even even one isn't that weird? Yeah, just check herself. Is it even one isn't that freaking weird? Those dudes could be assholes, and she made a mistake. I don't know. I think it's just like the game, honestly. Like lust is, I think, is a big part of it. It's just people end up in certain situations. Like it's spiritual. I think I don't know. I think. Spiritual. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's mostly lust. For her, it could just be a game. Thank you. Like, for her, it's lust too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, anyway. it's not. Oh boy. Okay. All right. It's time to move to the part where I showed up because this is now we're getting to the point of diminishing returns. Or not really. Lena's already shaking her head. She hasn't even seen a video of him yet. Um, <laughs> Hang on, guys. Oh, I hate this part. 
Ah, damn it. Come on now. Time to get to the bar. Hang on, guys. There we go. It's all about the red pill relationships and dating. He's unapologetically masculine, uh, and he runs a conference called the Conference for Masculine Excellence. Ooh. Claudine has already shaken. Did you hear that? Somebody said, ooh. In her head. She hasn't even seen a video of him yet. <laughs> uh, so Claudine has already shaken her head, and she ain't seen a video of me yet. She already knows. She already knows I'm black. She already knows I'm black. And again, guys, this is just. <laughs> guys, why do you think, why do you think, what do you think we're walking away from the community, man? Like, 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 come on now. Why do you think we're walking away from the community? Because black women don't respect black men. And I don't give a shit. I don't need respect from black women. And when black men rid themselves of the need for respect from black women, there is no freer feeling in the world. No freer feeling in the world, y'all. Um, but again, he was supposed to be here today. He couldn't make it, so he's joining us via Zoom. We're going to watch a, a couple quick clips so you get a, a feel for what he is, and then we'll have a brief conversation with Donovan, and we can have this conversation together. So here's a, question, here's a clip. Uh, of Donovan and his wife, or soon to be wife, Devin. You got this? There's three of them. Well, if I want to go have a beer with my friends, yeah. I'll ask him, can we go? So we can go and, together. And would you ever say, hey, sure, it's fine, honey, or no, that is the, that is line in the sand. I'm not her father. Mm -hmm. I can't tell her what she can or can't do. I can control what I do. If she wants to go to the bar with her friend, that's perfectly fine. But at that point, she becomes a woman that I do not commit to. Well, if I want to go okay, have so a Okay, so to be clear, oh. the, she cannot go to the bar by herself. See, and this is where Adam is, and I think he's purposely mischaracterizing this, I guess, to get the girls riled up. I just said in that clip, I guys, I say this all the time. You cannot control women, nor should you seek to. Women are autonomous, sentient beings. They're not robots. You cannot control what they do or don't do. You can influence her behavior, but you cannot control her behavior. She would only have to go with him or she um, oh. potentially cannot even go to the bar. Let's play the second clip. Oh, this one's funny. Skip sucks tonight. I think I'm getting a headache. <sighs> okay. Babe, can you please take out the trash? Oh, sorry, babe. I have a terrible headache. <laughs> hey, babe, the tire has a nail in it. Can you fix it, please? <laughs> Big Mo's in the house. If she doesn't uphold her end of the bargain, then you don't uphold yours. Oh my God, this is so cringe. Gotcha. <laughs> Literally, I used... Okay, so oh she... Oh my God, this is so cringe. Well, what's cringe about it? What's cringe about it? I said, if you don't uphold, if she doesn't uphold her end of the bargain, then don't uphold yours. But what if it was the other way around? What if a woman did a skit like this? What if a man decided, you know what? I've got a headache. I'm not taking out the trash. I'm not fixing the tire. And then the woman says, I'm closing my legs. Since you had a headache when, when the tire needed to be changed, I have a headache now for sex. You want to know something? Women would be like, right on. Right on. You can't go to the bar by yourself. I can't, girl. No, and no. if she withholds sex, he withholds it's masculine a, it's duties. It's a good thing that he didn't make the flight. What's that? <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't make the flight. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna and then here's it. the last clip. This bitch. Maybe it's a good thing. See, you see how she's trying to be clever and funny, already trying to disqualify me? Carfacito, bendito! Oop. 
wait a minute. I'm sorry. Cafecito Benditos. Welcome to Chat Privileges at Cafecito Bandito to welcome him to Chat Privileges. I know it is a him because it is Cafecito Bandito, not Cafecita Bandita. See, I know a little bit of Spanish. At Cafecito Bandito to welcome him to the TSR family as is customary of every first member. We do a chat wide age and location check. You never know who could be, uh, you never know you could be watching this uh, with somebody in your own city, somebody in your own neighborhood, maybe even somebody in your on your own block. Uh, this is how, pardon me, this is how communities of like-minded men are made. And uh, so, yeah, uh, uh, name and look, I mean, not name, not name, age and location in the chat. Uh, and if you find someone you might have some, some something in common with in terms of your location, you guys can connect from there. Let's continue. Um, of uh, Donovan Devon. Go ahead. I'm going to the bathroom. All right. <laughs> this is great. I told you I don't commit to women who take their phones into the bathroom. I just forgot this one time, okay? Oh, my. Okay. So, are we good then? Hyundai yeah. Sonata versus you Toyota K This is so petty. Call it what you want, but this is how I move, and you've known this from the start. Ladies, don't pretend you've never texted an ex in the bathroom. Or swipe for sausage on Tinder while in the shower. That's or God knows what else you don't want your man to find out about. So do you agree or disagree with the reason my girlfriend kicked herself out of my place? Let me know in the comments. She kicked herself. Okay. okay. She kicked herself out. So oh, okay. Donovan's going to join us in one second. So just to be clear, and you guys can have this conversation with him. We'll, ha we'll have him uh, in a second. Oh, I'm uh, she can't go to the bar by herself. Uh, if she withholds sex, he withholds doing manly duties. And she's not allowed to use her phone in the bathroom. Uh, well, she made that decision, and then she broke up with herself, basically. So, again, oh, I, I unfortunately, he wasn't able to connect his flight. He wasn't able to be here. But I believe we have Donovan, uh, who's been watching the show the whole time. Uh, and let's have this conversation with Donovan. Uh, Donovan Sharp, are you there? Duties, and she... Use her phone in the back. Okay. You have something playing oh, well, in the background. You have that playing in the you background. Have something playing in the background. Donovan, can you hear me? We can't hear you. Audio? Hear you. Yep. All you. right. We good? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All can right. you hear me? Yes. So you saw the intro. Uh, unfortunately, you missed the flight. Uh, I get it. There was connection issue. This is funny. So Natalia is laughing. This is interesting. So to her credit, Natalia didn't jump in on, she didn't jump in with all the rest of them. And the reason, well, I don't know why she did or didn't, uh, but she's laughing right now. <laughs> she's laughing because she knows these bitches are triggered and she knows that I don't like, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not the one to be trifled with. That's why she's like, oh my God, it's about to go down. Uzi. We were just to be clear. He was texting me all day, hey, delay, 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 but he's here. Um, but I didn't want this opportunity to be missed. Uh, I'm sure you saw a good portion of the show. Um, what's your oh, yeah. take on what the ladies are saying so far? Yeah, a, a typical response. Um, and to me, this is neither good nor bad. Um, this the dating the way dating is it's it's an indictment on men and women um we are every bit as responsible uh for the demise of dating and the nuclear family as women are now this would not have happened without feminism but women couldn't even do feminism without men and so women who call themselves feminists need to thank men that the feminist movement was indeed successful because without men you wouldn't have feminism but yeah this is just the way things are man um i try to tell you know, I try to tell my guys what to look for, uh, because like the uh, like the hot, boring girl uh, who is the model, the high school dropout, what she said is true. A girl could have, you know, 50 bodies and you would never know. Well, she's absolutely right. But this is why I teach my guys pay attention what to look for, what to ask for. You don't and never ask her, how many guys have you slept with? Because she's going to tell you two when the number's probably closer to 222. 
Don't ask a girl what her body count is, guys. She's never going to tell you the truth. And to that point, it matters, but she's never going to tell you the truth. So instead of asking her what her body count is, do the, do the non-lazy thing and observe. When you have conversations with her, pay attention. There's so many men who sleepwalk through their relationships that when they get blindsided by their soon-to-be ex-girlfriend or ex-wife's infidelity, the question they always ask, how could I miss it? Well, you missed it because you weren't paying attention. That's just really all there is to it. What do you mean by paying attention? Paying attention to what? Uh, paying attention to the things that she says. So, for example, if she liked talk about her ex-boyfriend, she's probably not over her ex-boyfriend. If she's ever lived alone, um, if a girl has ever lived alone, she is far more likely to have a higher body count because there aren't people around to indirectly shame her. See, when a girl has roommates or she lives with her flesh, she can still get it in with a bunch of guys, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult because she doesn't want to have to do the walk of shame in front of her roommates or family, uncles, whatever the case may be. Um, ask her uh, uh, when she talks about her relationship. Say, well, how have you gone without being in a relationship? Whatever the number she gives, we know that most women sleep around indiscriminately. So if she tells you one year, two years, you can bet your ass that she was not in some convent waiting for Jesus Christ himself to show her Mr. Right. No, she was up under every time. Uh, Roderick Thomas says, Sir Donovan, have you noticed that the women are quiet, no interruptions? Uh, I have now. I have now, but this clearly, this clearly does not, it doesn't stay this way. And you can already, I've, I always forget this bitch's name. I need to, you can already hear Claudette laughing in the background. And this again, this again, now, now keep in mind, here's what this woman knows about me. Number one, I'm black. Number two, I don't sound like the typical hood nigga. And number three, my fiance is a white girl. So already, she already, she, so she, all, the bitch already hates me. I'm Dick, Harry, and Jamal, just like every other girl. This doesn't make her a bad person. This doesn't make women bad. Doesn't make them evil. Doesn't make them terrible. But this is how they are. And I teach my guys to deal with women the way they are, rather than the way, rather than the way we think they should be, or the or the way we think they. How can I put this? Instead of wishful thinking, I just keep it all the way real. I'm not going to tell you the way it. I'm not going to tell you how it is. I'm, I'm going to tell you how it is. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to leave out any specific details. I guess to sugarcoat anything. Got if it. That makes sense. Ladies. You've seen some clips of Donovan. I can assure you, Donovan, you correct me if I'm wrong. He's not doing it for clicks and views. That is his relationship. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. He sets standards and boundaries. Yeah. Um, Roadblock85 says, Donovan's speaking facts. So they... So they have to be emotional. Yeah, yeah. At this point, the reason why they're, the reason why they're quiet is because they're trying to process this. Because my guess is that other than, other than Natalia... Other than Natalia, none of these women have ever heard this before. At least not that I, well, I guess the, 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 the whale in the, 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 the whale in the black, right? But I haven't, I hadn't hurled any insults. Now I did call, I did call the, the, uh, the model, I did call her hot and boring. Um, and that was kind of a shot at, that was kind of a shot at her. But I think, I think it went over their heads because I don't think they understood that. So to this point. I haven't said anything. Uh, I haven't said anything disrespectful. I haven't raised my voice. I haven't done any of that stuff. They are going to get triggered by simply what I said. Uh, with his girlfriend, soon to be wife, um, you've heard what he had to say about relationships. What questions do you have, Claudia? And you look like you have something that you would like to. Of course, she ask. does. I don't. I think I just wasted three minutes of my time watching something that was an important one. See, there she goes. I just spent three minutes of my time watching something that was not important strictly an emotional response so already the backhanded the backhanded passive aggressive insult i just wasted three minutes of my time i don't have anything to say about it and she proceeds to say something about it mm -hmm. two that's if that's their i think that's just their prerogative yeah right I think, I, I think and the only reason why she knows what the word prerogative means is because of bobby brown like most black women keep it real even when he when you asked him the question he was oh, oh my god oh my god did i just hear did i just hear her did i just hear her mispronounce the word ask did i just did i just oh you guys see my Starting to come through a little bit. Did you guys just see her mispronounce this? Oh, I got to get a screen grab of that. 
That'll be good for the Clips channel. Let's rewind that just a little bit. I could do. Yeah. Right. I think, I, I think yeah. even when he, when you asked him the question, he. Mm -mm -mm. When you asked him the question, yes, sir. Cloak the hood red in me, which means what? Angry me. Look, bitch, money doesn't make you smart. Money doesn't make you smart, baby. We all know I'm in the same age range as she is. We only know the, we, the only reason why we know what the word prerogative means is because of Bobby motherfucking Brown. And she's going to sit here and act like it's some, no, bitch, no. Fuck out of here. He was, I was just typical. First of all, mm -hmm. like that, that's like undermining women. As a how is that undermining women by telling the truth about how a disproportionate number of them operate? The body of people. Yeah. How does that undermine? How does that undermine women? I said that's the typical response, and all of you said basically the same thing. You guys proved my point. Okay. Uh oh. For which part? Yeah, that's a checkmate. Here we go. All right. Oh, Wait a minute. Did she say for which part? See, here she goes. Was this the? Okay. For which part? Yeah, that's a. Check there it is. See that? The girl in the black said for which part. So she's already, she's already in her battle stance. She is already in her battle stance. For you know, which part? That question was designed to derail the conversation. But I had already checkmated them. See, they let too much time go by. They look, they let too much time go by. I called them. I was like, "What the hell does any of what you have to say have to do with what I'm talking about?" Watch. Yeah. How does that undermine? How does that undermine women? I said that's the typical response, and all of you said basically the same thing. You guys proved my point. Okay. For which part? Yeah, that's a checkmate. Here we go. All right. Oh, here we go. No, this is one me. thing that I really like. The lawyer. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. This is what I really like about the lawyer lady and the lady sitting next to your right with accent. She's got the. I don't want to be disrespectful, but she has nice sized bosom. She's got the tattoo. And when we have to, we have to, we have to argue in good faith. We have to have conversations in good faith. Anytime you're talking to someone or debating a topic, and they they never want to lock you down on one thing. You say, well, what are relationships like? Define. So the 19 year old model is not paying attention because she can't comprehend what's going on right now. She just can't comprehend it. She can't, she doesn't understand what's happening. I wouldn't expect that from a high school dropout who's been pretty her whole life. Who's already, who's already, uh, who's already, uh, you know, doing shoots for Nike. Oh, we've got a couple of new members. Maddie P, welcome to chat privileges. At Matty P to welcome him to the TSR family. Uh, Matty P, if you would, put your agent location in the chat. Tony Esquire with the $5 super chat says, In the fourth quarter, only three men can deliver primetime entertainment. Air Jordan, Tom Brady, and Donovan Sharp. Yes, sir. I do those wind sprints. I do those wind sprints. Then I shoot the three. That way, at the end of the game, I'm shooting through fatigue. What? Y'all know about that, do y'all? relationships well relationships have trust okay we'll define trust which what we have to understand is that no not everything is black and white but not everything is gray area either there are certain absolute that are in place it's essential to life so if we're going to have intelligent conversations like this let's stop asking questions after questions we know what a relationship is we know what trust is. we know what an attractive person is when when yeah. we see them let's just let's talk in generalities because we know the world is not optimal at theirs okay so the two voices that I've heard in minor agreement, right, were the boring 19-year-old and Natalia. Believe it or not, to this point, haven't been disrespectful, haven't been loud. I took a dig. I took kind of a dig at the, uh, at the model girl. But she's hot, and, you know, she's a model. So who cares? Okay, I had a question if I can ask. Um... Uh, yes. Yeah. So why would you kick your person out if they're going to the bathroom and they take their phone with them? Uh, I'm not kicking out my girlfriend. Uh, she kicked herself out. She kicked herself out by going to the bathroom. Well, I just want to say this. I have two minutes. small children and I find, and this is not a well, joke. This is a, oh, no, no, well, you hold on. Me, no, 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 you hold on. No, baby, no, 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 you hold on. We're just going to keep going back and forth. See again, when I, when, oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. So no, 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 no,
And let me tell you, I one of the most really quietest spaces for me is in the bathroom, literally, and I'm going to say this, on the toilet. And I do have my phone with me because it's a, a, a space of quiet. Mm -hmm. And I have a living nanny. I have a good support team. But something about that bathroom and that quiet yep. space, mm -hmm. to me, for me, that works for me. So just because it doesn't work for him doesn't yeah. mean it should apply to all. Oh, sweetheart, but I didn't say that to work for me. Right? She says, see, see again, this is this is this is more projection. She is assuming that because I require she assumes that because if Devin uses her phone in the bathroom, our relationship is over, that the same applies to me. She thinks I'm applying the same standard to myself. That's really what's happening she thinks i'm applying the exact same standard to myself that's why she says if it were it works for him doesn't mean it works for everybody no this is these are my standards and you notice how they're all just quiet right now matter of fact it wasn't natalia it was uh uh it was the baby daddy girl the uh the truck stop the truck stop nina the pineapple the truck stop nina the pineapple and somebody said somebody in the chat Wow, I didn't know Big Mo was 20. I didn't know he was 33. Mo, I thought you were in your 20s, fam. Damn, I did not know. Well, good for Big Mo. Black don't crack. Real shit. Real shit. Philip Smith with the $20 Super Chat says her, her, her hairline is running away from her face. Yeah, so is mine, so I can't really talk. <laughs> Appreciate the Super Chat, man. You're just projecting your insecurities onto the person that you're with. Who's because probably also because, insecure. Because just because you feel like that's something that you would do doesn't mean that that's something Pack that you're... Do you see? Do you see? Just because you feel like something that, that that's what you would do doesn't mean... I don't... Dude, and even if I swipe, even if I swiped for tacos on Tinder, guess what? That's my business. Suitcase and put it at the door. Yeah, like, because, I mean... It's just I will pack your suitcase and put it at the door and you will you will be kicked the fuck out. You can use all that at the bitch you can have that attitude and bob that head all you want to. You ain't getting back in here. To I, me, can it, I, can, I'm can changing I, can I the locks I don't care. I, I, your place. I, I totally understand. Donovan, would you like to respond? Yeah, I don't know what your two kids has to do uh, with my boundary standards and, and expectations. I'm very happy. Now, what you've accomplished, and I'm not being facetious here, because mm -hmm. I want people to really understand. Now, see, at this point, I knew she was confrontational. So I said, okay, let me throw her a little bit of a bone and give her kudos for having overcome a very bad decision early in life. And you guys can see here, I was being very genuine. I wasn't trying to be, I wasn't trying to, I, you guys could clearly see. I wasn't trying to give any sort of roundabout backhanded compliments. No, I just, I said, okay, you know what? They're a little confrontational. Let me try to... Let me try to rein this in so we can get this conversation back on track. Just how, and I'm not being facetious, you are an exceptional individual. You had a kid at 14. When I was 14, honestly, man, I probably didn't even know what the hell sex was at 14, at 14 years old. You had a kid at 14, and you still managed to get married. I don't know how many other kids you have. You've got a beautiful family and all this other kind of stuff. But, sweetheart, you are the outlier. Your situation is not the norm. Number one. Number two, I don't care about your two kids. Your two kids have nothing to do with my boundary standards and expectations. Now, let me address the other girl, and then I guess we'll go back to whoever wants to ask me a question. You asked me why did I kick her out. I didn't kick her out. She kicked herself out. Because at the beginning of the relationship, I told her, I do not commit to women who go to bars or clubs. You know what she asked me? So I can't go to the bars or clubs? No, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so what happens with us? Well, if you engage in one of these activities that I don't commit to, then you are, in essence, forfeiting the relationship. You don't need my permission to go to the bar or the club. You're a grown-ass woman. I'm not your father. I'm not trying to tell you what you can or can't do. I also don't commit to women who are on social media. Are you telling me that I have to turn off my social media? That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that you can either have social media or you can be in a, or you can be in a relationship with me, but you're not going to do both. She agreed to it, and in seven and a half years, she hasn't violated anything that I'm aware of, and so that's where the rule comes in. That would be different if in the middle of the relationship, I all of a sudden just reversed skate, yeah. right? You know what? There it is. There she is again. There's truck stop Nina the pineapple agreeing again. That's true. I don't want you talking and I don't want you using your bathroom in the phone anymore. Well, if I didn't make that clear before I committed to her, that's my fault. And at that point, I'm the one with the problem. But guess what? I was the one that established these boundary standards and expectations from the start. And I let her know, look, you can do whatever you want. Just understand that actions have consequences. Whether they are good or bad is completely up to you. So 
guy, that's a mic drop moment. That's a mic drop moment, Joel. I answered, I answered the question, I answered the question completely and totally, and she didn't, and she still wants me to justify my actions to her. To understand that actions have consequences, whether they are good or bad, is completely up to you. So, so here's my question. If he, whether yes. you think his boundaries and uh, boundaries, standards and expectations are- Big Mo with the $5 super chat. Wow. Big Mo says the idea of a man knowing his own value by having standards and boundaries is offensive to women because he takes her only power away. Holy moly. Yo, like Mo. Mo's out here dropping bars, bruh. God damn. I guess being the sound engineer for Fresh and Fit kind of kind of rubs off in a little bit, right? This is great. John with the $20 super chat. <laughs> this is Donovan, you're effing hilarious. The truck stop needed the pineapple. Actually, I can't take credit for that. Uh, that was another <laughs> John. We also have uh, we also have uh, cute little pet names for girls who look like Cardi B, but not. We call them Cardi C, Cardi Z. Um, you know, Walmart, Ariana Grande, things of that nature. Appreciate that though, John. Or ridiculous or not, if he sets them up front. Hey, listen, I don't commit to women that go to bars and clubs. Here's my phone bathroom rule. Hey. These are, this is what I stand for. Isn't it incumbent on the woman to say, uh, yeah, that's absurd. I'm not in on this. There you go. Or, hey, yes. yeah. yeah, okay, I love you enough to play ball. Yeah. Because there's a famous exactly saying in the, in the red pill community. To Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that again, guys? Truck stop needed the pineapple said, yeah, tell me what you want up front. It's the younger women who are agreeing with me. It's the older, bitter, sullen women who have been passed around or had kids at 14 or are black women who disagree. A man says to a woman, if you submit, I'll commit. So clearly she has submitted yeah. her will or whatever you want to call her body, her volition to him. So you might find what he's saying extreme, but ultimately isn't on the woman that made that decision to say, you know what? If he told me up front, all right, cool, let's roll. What yeah. are your thoughts now? Yeah, I think that it is up to a woman to accept, you know, what a man's willing to give or will or not give in the beginning of the relationship. But to me, my question would be, why does somebody feel that, you know, I can't go into the bathroom with my phone, you know, if it's like five minutes? Mm -hmm. I don't. Imagine, well, I that's, that's his standard, so we can't. So, so wait that's a minute. That's a very good. That's but a very why? good point. Donovan, Donovan, well, let, let, okay, sweetheart, you cut me off twice. Let, D my let me make one comment and then Donovan go. Go ahead, Claudia. I'll give it to him. Oh, I thought she asked me a question. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I did ask you. I said, go why? ahead, you take it. Do you hear the black woman? Go ahead, you take it. That right there, that's another jab. Go ahead, you got it. That's her. You're, you're, you, the only reason you're talking is because I gave you permission to talk. This is something black, black women do all the time. And you notice Claudette's, uh, Claudette's uh, body posture is not as relaxed as it was before. No way. Not relaxed at all. Not relaxed at all. What was the question? Go ahead. The question was, why does, um, why are you not okay with a woman going to the bathroom and taking her phone with her, you know, going out and like going to the bars with her friends? Like, why is it such a her kicking her out situation? He didn't kick her okay, out. Okay, number one. Herself. Well, she kicked herself out. I repeat, thank through. you. <laughs> she, she kicked herself out. Right. That's, that's the first thing. <laughs> number two. I want you guys to listen to what I say very carefully here. This is the only answer you give to any woman who says, why do you require X, Y, and Z? Listen. I don't owe you an explanation and I don't owe the world an explanation. I have my standards, boundaries, and expectations for my reasons. I don't have to explain it to you or anybody. I didn't even explain it to Devin. I said, these are my boundaries, standards, and expectations. If you don't wanna follow them, no problem. We'll keep it casual. We are having a great time. She decided, you know what? Maybe I do want to hitch this, hitch my wagon to this guy with potential, and it worked out great for the both of us. Now, nothing is, nothing is, uh, nothing is guaranteed. We're supposed to get married, quote unquote, on October 12th. That doesn't mean that we can't break up between now and again. Like just because I told her I claim her as my wife does not, that does not in, ensure my commitment for till death do us part. Oh no, this is a very different kind of marriage. By the same token, 
I got to uphold my end of the bargain because if I slip, if I start doing shit that puts our relationship at risk, if I start slipping off, then guess what? She's got every right to upgrade or leave too. Yeah. See that? They don't acknowledge, see, they don't acknowledge the part where Devin could leave. They only want to know why can't I engage in behaviors that are conducive to cheating? And I told them straight up, I don't have to explain that to you. I'm a grown ass man. I don't have to explain my decisions to you. Yeah. So Donovan, here's my question to you. You set your standards. You set your boundaries. You set your expectations. She obviously had yes, sir. free will to say, no. okay, sign me up or no, this is ridiculous Fuck and leave. You. Totally. What were the standards, the boundaries, and expectations that she made for you to say, all right, if I'm going to live with you, here's what I expect from mm -hmm. you. Yep. Mm -hmm. The girls are like, yeah, what you got to say now, Donovan? This is a very, very good question. Very, very good question. You see, when a woman is interested, women are hyper, hyper. This is one thing, one of the many things uh, that women are superior to men at. Women are hyper, hyper perceptive. They are socially superior. They are so tightly socially calibrated that when they actually decide in their hindbrain that they want a man, chances are he's probably already fulfilled all of those expectations already. You see, girls, when they see a guy, okay, he might be sexually attractive, but a girl needs to see that he's got his shit together. Okay, does he smell good? Does he, does he, okay, he's a little taller than me, I like that. Does he have a good job? Does he have on nice shoes? Does he make a good living? Girls and girls don't even have to ask these questions to know these things. And so when a girl asks me to be my, to, to be their boyfriend, I already know that I have fulfilled all of her expectations. Now, what were Devin's expectations? I don't know, but whatever they are, they seem to be working. Mm, it. I mean, guys, holy smokes. I, I say this all the time. You don't realize how good you do in the moment. You really, and dude, I've said this for years. This is something that I have never, this is something that has always been true. I don't know what it is, but something about being in the moment on these podcasts, you never, ever, ever think it's going as well as you think it is. You're only thinking about what is going wrong. What could I have changed? What could I have said? But when you go back and listen to it, you're like, holy fucking shit. I cooked these broads. It's the same as Pearl. Pearl, dude, Pearl called me up the, dude, I think Hafiz was still in the fucking building. She's like, Donovan, I screwed up. And I'm like, oh God, what happened? She's like, well, I just kind of had this debate with Hafiz of the roommates. I said, yeah. She's like, I don't think I did that well. And I said, well, why don't you think so? And she's, well, you know, he crossed me up and this and that. And so I said, well, okay, well, I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, listen, send it to me. I won't send it out. I'll take a look at it. I'll give you an objective opinion, but... And I told her, I said, you have to understand that um, when you're doing these podcasts, you never, ever feel at the time that it's going exactly right. All you can think of is what's going wrong. And so, and so you always think it didn't go quite as well as you thought until you watch it back and you think, oh, okay, I actually did all right. Or it didn't go as badly as I thought it did. Well, guess what? I called Pearl about an hour later and I said, yo, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I said, you did good. You kicked fucking ass. I said, release that video. She said, are you sure? I said, Pearl, watch it again. Another couple hours later, she's like, yeah, I guess I did okay. And then she aired the video and the rest is history. This was the case now because I didn't think that I did as well as I did, but... Looking at it now, there's really nothing they can say about it. I guess that's why they were really pissed. Matty P with the $5 super chat, appreciate that, says, to be honest, you st uh, you started at the end of your clip that she's texting her sneaky link in the bathroom, but that flew over their heads on that info. Yeah, that's exactly right. Good catch. So she didn't set any like verbal standards. Like you said, all right, you know, you're, you're famous for saying what? Fit, feminine, friendly, and faithful. Those are your four Fs that a woman right. must bring into the relationship, right? Correct? One more time. In fit, fit, feminine, feminine friendly, friendly, and faithful, right? Look, look at the look, look, look at the black woman. This is so funny. Look at her. She says, "Wait, what?" It she's already looking for something to disagree with. She's always looking for something to disagree with here, y'all. Just watch. Watch her body language. Watch, a woman right? must bring into the relationship, right? Correct? One more time. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to blow this up. 
Oops. Never mind. Just wa keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on her and watch. In fit, fit, feminine, feminine friendly, friendly, and faithful. Right? Did she have... Yes. Look, look, look. Okay, well, that didn't look that bad. She kind of looked over at the other two girls to see what their reaction is. All right. Okay, I didn't see anything there. A criteria that she expressed to you verbally. Because essentially what you expressed was... Big Mo with the $10 super chat says just for that answer. I apologize, forgive typing all caps, Donovan, but I'm in my home taking notes. Big Mo, you can type as many all caps as you want, brother. You the man. Yeah, she liked you. She appreciated you. There was a vibe, which has been a theme of the show. So you know that. Yeah, she did. Didn't. Yeah, she did disagree with all four Fs. Rules. Were there any verbal cues or expectations that she set to you? No. Um, and the reason for that is because she asked me for the relationship. This is why I always tell, this is why I always, always, always tell my guys. Rocco says Devin is not fit. Go take a look at my YouTube page, fam. You can add her to the spank bank like everybody well, else. Well, fit is relative. The way this works. There it is. She was waiting for it. Well, fit is relative. See, she wanted, she wanted to pick the fight. And I took the bait. I shouldn't have taken the bait here. Is, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't hear you. I she said fit, fit is, is relative. relative. But, but go ahead. The fit, see, there we are. Fit is relative. Let me, let me just, let me, let me, let me address that. The word fit is not relative. Okay. Either you are fit or you are not. Yes, there are a few gray areas in there, but when I was 312 pounds, I was not fit. I was a fat ass. Period. This was long before I ever met my girlfriend slash fiance Devin. But this is what I advise my guys to do all the time: is you never, ever, ever. Ask her to be your girlfriend before she asks you to be her boyfriend. The reason why I tell guys this is that when you do this, when you ask a girl to be your girlfriend first, you are indirectly forfeiting your right to set boundaries, expectations, and standards. Now, the reason why I say don't ask her for the relationship first is because she inevitably is going to ask you for a relationship, right? Well, what if she never asks, Donovan? Then she doesn't like you as much as you thought she did. Now, did you play her? So now you're going to have to wait for somebody else. See, they're always dead silent when I'm talking about the man's responsibility. What happens if the man doesn't uphold his end of the bargain? But when I talk about female accountability, that's when the chirping starts. If a girl does not push to be your significant other within six months, then she's just using you. But here's where here's where the rubber meets the road. When she comes to you and says, "Hey, I want to be your I want to be your girlfriend," that's when you lay out your standards, boundaries, and expectations. The fact that she asked me to be her boyfriend already let me know that I've already checked off all the boxes. Because if I didn't, she wouldn't ask me to be a boyfriend. Now would she? Boom. Yeah. Well, the one thing I'll say, uh, uh, having been in a few Doctor B eighty four says the black woman can't believe you have standards as a black man. Yeah, apparently not. Relationships in my day. Ooh, Big Mo says, if I made excuses like fit as relative, Myron would have fired me on day one. Real shit. You already know. You already know. A woman typically... <laughs> Don't be ashamed, Adam. <laughs> a, a woman will typically not say, hey, I want you to be my boyfriend. Sometimes they will. But sometimes they'll hit you. More, more often than not, they'll say, so where's this going? We've been hooking up for three months, six months. I, I'd like to know what your plans are, where you see this going. So a lot of times they'll initiate the questioning. Now, because they're asking the questions, you can read between the fine lines. It's because they want a relationship. But a lot of times they're, they're asking questions. They're not going to be like, so you're my boyfriend yet? They're not going to really do that. <laughs> no, unless so, they're in third grade. Well, no, yeah. I know. So how do you manage that? Like when they start asking questions, where's this going? Where yeah. do you want from those, yeah. that type of thing? This is going to be my standard answer. I know a lot of you guys have heard this a million times before. Absolutely. But I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to speed this up because it does take a little bit. It does take a little while. Um, but even though it's going to be fast, I have a very strong command of the English language. And even playing it, you know, at one and a half times speed, you guys will still be able to hear it clearly. Here we go. Freaking Lily, what I'm about to tell you guys is it's going to change the lives of a few men. Some men aren't going to be able to do this, but a very finite amount of men will be able to, number one, because of its high failure rate. This way does not, this way fails all the time, and I'll explain why. So, to answer your question, Adam, very quickly, what if she comes at you and says, so, Donovan, what are we? 
right. uh, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Like, what exactly is this going on? So at this point, you have to be, you have to speak directly. Tell her, okay, it sounds like you want to be my girlfriend. And at that point, she'll say either yes or she'll try to put it off. When she indicates to you anything but no, because she's not going to tell you yes or no. And this, again, this is not an indictment on women. Women in situations like this, they have to be passive. We are the pursuers. Women are the choosers. We're the ones that have to. We're the ones that have to move the interaction forward. So you say to her, it sounds like you're trying to be my girlfriend. When you get her to finally own up to it to some degree, tell her you don't want to be in a relationship with me. She's going to say, well, why is that? I like you. Uh, let's just drop it. She'll drop it. A couple weeks later, she's going to ask you again. Hey, look, Donovan, my friends and family are asking who's this, you know, tall, good-looking black dude, you know, who drives this really nice car. Oh, there we go. So, so I'm starting to hear. So now I can hear. I can hear the girls talking. I can hear them talking a little more clearly now. So, yeah, I'm 30 seconds into this little soliloquy, and there are already side conversations going on. And again, I haven't disrespected anybody. Yeah, I, I went back and forth with a few people, but that's what debates are. I haven't disrespected anybody. I haven't called anybody any names other than boring, but then I called her hot. This is awesome, you know, business. Like, who is he? Like, are we boyfriend? I'm telling you right now, Katie, you do not want to be in a relationship with a man like me. She's going to ask you a third time. See this? But this time, she's not going to let it go. She's going to be like, you know what, Donovan, check this out. I look like an idiot on Thanksgiving. I didn't bring you around. If you don't make this official. See? If you don't make this official by the week of Christmas, if I can't. That's not a hot mic, the level up, man. That mic is supposed to be on. And these girls know that the mics are on. That's why they're talking. See, girls do this to undermine a man's authority. They are sitting here talking in their mics. They know Adam can see and hear them. But they're just going to continue on because Adam is not, hey. Ladies, the man is talking. Let's give the man let, let let's let let's give the man the floor. Nope, he didn't do that. I take you to see my family on Christmas, then we are done, right? So at that point, I say, okay, all right. So you really want to know what it's like to be in a relationship with a guy like me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. And she's gonna say what? I'm going to tell her, unlock your phone and hand it to me right now, gentlemen. I'm here to tell you. 212 times out of 100, she's not gonna hand over that phone. And the reason why she's not gonna hand over that phone is not because of her privacy, right? It's not because, listen, girls let girls let everybody know what they're doing all the time. We know where they are, what they're doing, and the ingredients. So miss me with a privacy complaint, right? Women give up the, women give up their autonomy for the almighty grant. So I don't hear the privacy. No, no, no. The reason why she's not hand, uh, handing you that phone is because she's sleeping with other guys. And that's okay. What? It's okay that she's sleeping with other guys because she'll probably sleep with other girls too. At that point, she's gonna drop it. She might, she might try a fourth time. This time she's gonna hand you the phone. Like, okay. Do you hear this? I think we've all tuned you out. Are you serious? But we're not listening. Yeah, like it's okay. retarded. But. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Adam finally drops in and says. Let me finish. See, these girls are like, these girls are, are, these girls are all like, we've all tuned you out. Okay, great. No, 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 no. I'm glad, listen, 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 listen. Here's the thing. They can tune me out all they want to. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to guys. I'm not telling, dude, I'm not, I, like, I don't give a shit about y'all. I'm talking to the guys if they have the, the misfortune of running up on someone like you. Pay attention. I'm, well, I'm gonna, gonna finish. Say what he got here's, say. here's, here's, yeah. here's. Because I really here's, wanna here's, analyze everything that, 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 that he has to say right. so that here's, I can reply well, to it. Hold on, well, listen, you can, you, can an, you can analyze it, and I'm almost done, and then we can no, go yeah, from please, there. But please, when she me. asks you a fourth time, when she asks you a fourth time, thank you, I, I appreciate your permission. So when she asks you a fourth time, she's gonna be ready for you. She's gonna hand you her phone. Guys, don't look at her phone. It doesn't matter what's on her phone. All, it's, all it tells her, it sets the tone that, hey, guess what? If you were going to be in a relationship with a guy like me, then guess what? You, you, we're going to have to be transparent, which begins and ends with the phone, and you didn't have to say anything. So when she says, okay, can, you be your, can I be your girlfriend now? Tell her, that's a start. A start for what? What does it take to be your girlfriend? Look, I'm not going to tell you what it takes, but I tell you what I don't commit to. I don't commit to women who go to bars or clubs. I don't commit to women who travel alone. I don't commit to women who travel for work. And I don't commit to women on social media. And at that point, she has a decision to make. She can either continue on with a casual relationship with me, or she can be in a relationship with me. But she's not going to do both, because those are things that I don't tolerate. And that, my friends, is how you set boundaries with women. Okay, so let me mm -mm, mm -mm, yeah. uh, Cigarman85 with the $5 Super Chat says, No cap, Donovan looks like he is in... Like he's in a movie on that big screen, Zor uh, Zordon and the 304 Ranger. Yeah, right? Let me say one thing, and then we'll, we'll, we'll let you ladies... Listen, uh... Let's do it. All he's basically saying is these are my boundaries and these expectations. Full disclosure, I th this to me, that's Donovan's thing. That's not my thing. Like we just saw come out, uh, Jonah Hill set boundaries with his girlfriend. Did you see that story? Yes. Okay, he basically no, Jonah he Hill the to actor. Set boundaries with his girlfriend. Okay, Jonah yeah, Hill he the fucked actor. Up. Yeah. Jonah messed up. And there was a little bit of a delay, and that's why I think we kept cutting across each other. Where he messed up is he didn't set boundaries in the beginning. That's why he looks stupid now. Correct. Correct. So whatever the boundaries are. So, like, for instance, I, I don't have, like, if my girl needs wants to take her phone to the bathroom, like, yeah, I, I, I'm totally okay with a girl traveling for work. Like, no problem. Where I might say is, 
yeah, I don't really want you to go out to the club, get drunk with your girls. I've, I've done, I've done that before. And, I've, and it's actually ended up in disaster in many <clears throat> times. That's not a hard line in the sand. I'm not saying you can't go here. But what I'm saying is every man sure. has their boundaries and has their expectations. As long as you say it up front, the woman has the choice to say cool or not cool. It also sounds like, Donovan, you know, like a lot of women play hard to get, at, le at least at first. Ultimately, what I think you're doing, it sounds like, is once you got it, you're playing hard to get for a relationship. 100%. Like, that's the whole, like, you don't want to do it like this. Mm -hmm. You don't want this in your life. And she's basically saying, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What Adam is talking about is, yeah, there is a little bit of psychological warfare in there. Women do the same things, guys. Women know how to mentally fuck with us. But only when a man knows how to do the same thing to a woman, only that's when it becomes a problem. So what Adam just talked about is, yes, telling women that you don't want to be in a relationship with a guy like me absolute, absolutely makes them want to do what? Be in a relationship with a guy like you. It makes them absolutely want to do this. Real talk. It's, 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 the, it's the taking it away to make her want it more. The other reason why I tell girls this is because being in a relationship with me and only sleeping with me are two very, very different activities. And if that is in fact the case, then she's almost- King Life says push and pull. That's exactly right. Pursuing you at that point. And then you're like, all right, well, you've asked me three times, like you've said, so if you want this dude, yeah. here's my line in the yeah. sand. And everyone has their own line in the sand. Like you guys have boundaries that you do not want a man to cross. Just like we have boundaries that a man have to cross. Ultimately, what I'm saying is this. You may think Donovan's boundaries are extreme. I actually think they're a little extreme, but that works for him. Those yeah. are his there boundaries. You go. And if his girl co-signs for them, then it's all good. I just want to clarify. Sure. Oh, I can here we go. what his boundaries are. Yeah. If his girl, his wife, whoever wants to do what they want to do together, that, and that's one yeah. of the first things I said, that's his yep. prerogative. Yeah, okay. literally. I'm not sure like why I care what, no. I just feel like this, portion is a waste i, I would I never want to listen it. here's what you know, i'll say and i'll let him respond bothered, here's what i'll say, to say about it. because donovan is actually a very do you see <clears throat> this again this is the second time this is the second time she is tr she she is already being disrespectful already being disrespectful she said it well that was just three minutes of waste of my time now she's gonna now she just wants to try to say well we, i don't even know why this this segment is useless but she can't say why she can't say why it's literally all emotion she can tell me what but she can't tell me why <clears throat> a public figure in the relationship space and a lot of men listen That's... to him so you may have a son that is listening to him. You may have a son of a friend that is listening to him. So it's uh, not about you. That, Adam. No what, reasonable I, person. I literally know that does no not, one that listens to him. <laughs> somebody's lacking self confidence somewhere. Here we go. Ad hominems. Here we come. And, 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 and I see birds of flip like him. flock together. That's why they have to people like to him. him. People like I know him high value woman is going to ask you four times to be with you. No high value woman is going to say, hey, like, I want to be with you. Nah, I don't know if you're ready for that. Hey, I want to be with you. See, now she's trying to call Devin low value. That's what she's trying to do. She's trying to insult my girl. And you can already see the black woman is, she's already checked out. The high value woman knows where she puts her. No such thing as I value knows, woman, sweetie. Okay, great. They they know where they put their intention. They know where they put their their. I mean, we we move with purpose. So why am I going to ask you four times? Hey, take I want to be with you. Hey, what? Take it's not going to work that way. We're going to grab our stuff and we're going to take it to somewhere else um, where it could be valued. Unlike you know, having to ask you four times. It's I have not no happening. Idea. I get it. I have no idea what you just said, but that's okay. These are my boundaries and these are my expectations. So wait I a minute, he doesn't want to listen to I'll her, but we're so now. Wait a minute, he doesn't want to listen to her. What are you talking about? I let her speak and then I responded. DJ Beefit says, "I notice Adam slightly stutters before he caps." Having to listen to him. Here we go. You're Bye. You're teaching Bye, Donovan. Go on. Go on. Go on. Bye. So hold on. No, no, no I'm, I'm. Watch Adam here very, very closely. This is where he loses his frame. 
We've no, got five I'm, more oh, minutes. Oh, you wish I would leave, don't you? I'm not going nowhere, sweetie. No, oh, don't he's here. Wait, let's, let's have a little respect, guys. Wait a minute. Yes, First of all, I'm not sweetie. Let's do it. I want to talk here for a second, guys. I'm not sweetie. My name's... Look at this. He's Adam just raised his voice and she still talked through Claudia it. Claudia and Hibbert Smith. Let's we'll go one by one. Okay, sweetie. Linda. <laughs> Linda. Dude, I don't even have time for this. Like I don't I don't, I don't know who he is. Or, I've never heard anybody. You know. I don't Do know anybody that listens. Do you have any questions? Have any no, questions I don't. For him? I, he's irrelevant. I don't know. Okay. Nope, she's like triggered because she spent she's triggered because somebody spent fifteen hundred dollars on a date on her and she's not with him right now. Um, oh person. I've actually There it is. Now she's all the way triggered. Now she is all the way triggered. We had that's men spend even more than that's that, but you're broke yourself. That's why Here you we have go. to do this. Okay, so now this is the time. This is the time now where she essentially sticks her ear, sticks her uh, her 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 fingers in her ears and goes ah, la 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 la. Just watch. You're broke. So, anyways, I don't I don't want to acknowledge him. Honestly, he's such okay. a okay, peasant. So add, such a peasant. I can't. Okay, hold on. I can't real even. quick, let me let me let me let me. You're a peasant. You don't need to talk right now. Adam's talking. Like, he said that. I can't. Like, I, can't. Listen, I, I can't. I respect with a peasant. all our guests. I okay, respect Adam, Donovan. I yeah, go, go ahead, Donovan. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Um, having a guy spend fifteen hundred dollars on a date on you and be I've had even more. Dates. There it is. You see that? Immediately, two seconds in, she cuts across me. Adam doesn't check her. He doesn't check her. Like guys way more money. On you. Baby, baby, that's not a flex, sweetie. You're not in a relationship. Because you're broke. You got all these dudes spending because that's not a flex because I'm broke. Got it. Because you're broke. You. Because Look at Adam. Look at Adam. You're broke. Because you're broke. Okay. Why, 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 because why, you're why, broke. Why, why, would you tell them? Because would, you're would broke. You, Linda, would you, because you're broke. Please? Just so we're clear, and he's a peasant. I don't want to talk to a peasant. I don't want to talk broke? to a peasant. I think he's because she know, she no regular broke. man that has a lot of money is going to care about fifteen hundred dollars. She's rich. She uh, understands. Jesus. See, this is why we know this money. This is why we know this chick knows nothing about money. This is why we know she knows nothing about money. Because he's worried about fifteen hundred dollars. You're goddamn right. I'm worried about fifteen hundred dollars, chick. Fifteen hundred dollars is a lot of goddamn money. You kidding me? Fifteen hundred dollars is a shit ton of fucking money, even for a man with my financial status and means. See, women who say you're broke because you can't spend because because fifteen hundred dollars is something to you, that is a woman who does not respect money. And if she doesn't respect money, she takes it for granted. And if she takes it for granted, she doesn't know what it takes to make it. She throws out she throws out all these arbitrary numbers. Well, I'm a boss bitch and I make five million a month and ten million a year. She has no idea what it takes to make money. Just because you're around people with money does not mean you know money. Stop it. Uh Mike Hawk with the Oh, I'm sorry. Member for 30 months says the ladies on the panel are making the mis are making the fatal mistake of thinking the show is about the ladies on the panel. Well, Mike, it's not their mistake because the reason why they think the show is about the ladies on the panel is because Adam has repeatedly reinforced that. It's about the ladies. It's about the ladies. It's about the ladies. So when you introduce a man, they think I'm there to entertain them. Nope, I'm there to speak to the guys. Roadblock85 with the $10 super chat says she's missing the point. A woman who th uh, a woman who thinks of herself as high value wouldn't do that. No, but a woman does will. A woman who does will become high value after she attaches herself to a high value man. abso freaking lootly Man, that might be the comment of the day. Cigarman85 with the $5 super chat says he spent $1,500 because it takes that much to feed a whale for a day. Oh my god. Oh, he actually super chatted it twice. So I'm gonna give him a Don DeMarco for that. <laughs> she can walk into any store right now and spend fifteen hundred dollars the same way she can buy fifteen hundred dollars worth of groceries. He can't do that because he doesn't have that money. Do so I don't I don't I can't acknowledge him. I don't know him. I don't know who this person so is. You're calling, you know, I don't know so who I don't even know anybody who listens to this man. Okay. I, I have no idea who he is. I'm sorry, I just don't and it's world, sad it's sad, it's sad because I he's, just don't. he's teaching it's this to men. He's teaching he's teaching this to men. He's teaching Yeah, but you have to understand I said I wasn't married, like I just But you have to understand too, broke people. No. Hurt people. Hurt <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. See, there she goes. Broke people hurt people. That makes absolutely zero sense. She's just talking at this point. Literally just talking.
talking doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Broke people hurt people. You see, she was reaching for that hurt people hurt people uh, 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 analogy cliche, which is actually true. Hurt people absolute, absolutely do hurt people. But that ain't got nothing to do with broke people, sweet cheeks. Nope. She just wanted to come in with another with another uh, 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 melodic sounding, uh, you know, grammatically, you know, sensible. If it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. If it rhymes or makes grammatical sense with the sounds and, and, and all of that, now, now that's when women pay attention. But she fucked up. Broke people uh, uh, hurt people. Here we go. This is all of these women are talking. So insecure. Where's the trust? <laughs> That's why you have to raise your own children. My son would I, never listen I to somebody like. What the fuck does this have to do with you? That's why you have to raise your own children. What does your son have to do with this conversation, ho? That. Instead, I would he never listen to Probably. Eric Thomas and people who are right. progressive. Before this gets too carried away, do you have a comment? And then, like, we're going to let Donovan respond. He doesn't do you need have to a comment? Say I mean, I'm go. just. I See, he doesn't need to say anything else. Bitch, you, you don't want me to talk. <laughs> you don't want me to talk because you're the typical bitter ass black woman. And you want to know something? It actually does look like she's wearing a wig now. It actually does look like she's wearing a wig now. I actually might be able to see it. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, man. Hold the fucking phone now. Hold the fucking phone now. I might have... Did I just graduate? Did I, did I just graduate from weave school? Hold up now. Hold up. I might have... I might have had... I might have passed my first... Uh, I might have my weave degree here. Just give, just, 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 just give me a second. Just give me a second here. See, this is what I see. Let's bring this all the way over. So... And y'all can correct me if I'm wrong here. But uh, doesn't, doesn't that area by the upper ear look a little suspect? And also, look how long and flowing it is all the way down to her shoulders. Yeah, the bitch is wearing a hair hat. And looks mad about it as well as it were. And yeah, she does look like Squidward. Holy moly. Ay, 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 ay. Big Mo with the $5 super chat says a woman can have an objectively lower sexual market value than you. And in her eyes, she will still view you as the lower sexual market value than her. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Gracious. Jesus Christ. Dude, Big Mo, man. He might have to start his own podcast. Dio, member for six months. Says, if you were there, Don, they wouldn't be acting uh, OD. Yeah, probably, probably not. Probably not. Uh, King Life with the $5 super chat. Says, whale and Latina plus 14-year-old baby mama don't realize Adam's not asking for business advice. Clearly, they're not seen as real experts. Of course. Of course. I feel like when it comes to standards, it has nothing to do with merch. your personal preference. Yes, I did just say merch. <laughs> I actually said merch. Watch. When it comes to standards, it has nothing to do with merch. your personal preference. Wait a minute. Hold up. This person has his. Did I say that out of turn? Yo, your, baby. your background, He's like, but what? what? He's He's so this is so important. Let me tell you, so this insecure. is very important. So insecure. Where's the trust? <laughs> That's why you have to raise your own children. My son would I, never listen I to somebody like that. Me. Instead, I would he never listen to Eric me. Thomas. And people who are right. progressive. Before this gets too carried away. I said I do have a small dick. Do you have a comment? And then like, we're going to let Donovan respond. He doesn't do you do have a comment? I mean, I'm oh. just... I... He doesn't need... Oh, yeah. She's like, he doesn't need to say anything else. This bitch actually... Th see, this is the problem with black women. They expect people to just show up to panels and just sit and, and not say nothing. And then y'all just talk shit. Nah, bitch. No. No, 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 no. No. That's not how it works uh, here in these parts. I know in the black community where you at, that's the way it works. Not the way it works here. No, sir. Comment, and then like, we're going to let Donovan respond. He doesn't do you do have a comment? I mean, I'm call. just, I feel like Merch. when it comes to standards, it has nothing to do with Merch. your personal preference. <laughs> this person has his standards. I have my standards. You have your standards for you. Okay. You have standards for your kids, what you want your kids to do. But it's not a personal preference. He feels comfortable with what he feels comfortable with. We feel comfortable with a whole different ball game. 
but it's not a, it's not meant to get into a heated argument and like call each other names and shit. You know, like we're just having a conversation. Okay. We're on a podcast. Like, there's no peasant or broke or this or that because I could be broke yesterday and rich tomorrow. Well, those tomorrow. are ad hominems. Sorry. Okay. No, you're right. Thank those you are for that. Donovan, go ahead. The floor is yours. How? You said the next person was going to speak and then... Oh, they, what, what do you mean? Well, I was finished. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Whoever, yeah, whoever's, think, whoever's next, that, that's fine. I think fine. if he has his standards, then he has his standards, right. and that should be respected. If you find someone, which he has, who respects his standards, and that's that. That's that. Everyone has their, like there you said, go. Everyone has their own expectations, their own standards. And we just have to go by that. I think everyone should be respected and like respectful. Of that. So he set his boundaries. If his woman said I'm in, then yeah, you're cool then, with yeah, that. That's okay, him. cool. I don't, I don't agree with his expectations and everything, but I don't yeah. have to. You don't have yeah. to agree. Exactly. I don't, I don't have I'm to not respect. the one who's with yeah. him. Yeah. I think that's the point, is that you don't have to agree. We're yeah, commenting on. I agree with it. Like yeah. he okay. has his, he really wants this, this, X, Y, Z. what we all agree. But he's rude. See, that's all That's all the black woman is fixated on. But he rude. He's rude. And? People, he's just yeah. rude on purpose. That's yeah. what it is. We he's a agree. rude fucking we all, person. We all agree with his expectations. No one's saying that's wrong. <laughs> no one's saying it's wrong. Are you fucking kidding me? Now you're going to try to walk back everything because you've had time and, that it, and now that it... See, now... See, here's the thing. What these two girls just said on the couch makes all the sense in the world. They're like, yo, look. The guy has his standards. He found someone who, is, who respects his standards. It is what it is. Now, they're coming back around. Well, no, he's just rude as hell. That's really, it's not what he said. It's how he said it. We're not saying that there's anything wrong with it, yet you guys just sat there not 30 seconds ago calling me insecure and you're projecting. Come on, man. Get, get out of here with that. But, you know, I, I think that um, having to kind of express that, yeah, I mean, like, even with anything in life, whatever you believe in, I can respect it. May I agree with it? So I agree with you saying, may I agree with it? No, but I, no one here is not respecting his beliefs. We just think we have our own opinions on it. All good. Hey, you're, just me, you're just calling valid. me broke and a misogynist, right? I'm sorry? No. Yeah, here we go. Literally not um, a single me, person called no, him a misogynist, okay. Um, but okay. Okay, fine. Let me, let me address this here quickly. Yeah, no Donovan, the, the, the floor is yours. Final word. 30 seconds. Okay, fine. Okay, you called me a misogynist. Great, awesome. Did this bitch just say 30 seconds? Like, or... What in the hell was that? Oh, Devin just checked into... Oh, Devin just checked into the tanning booth. Yes! Yes, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, it's something else Devin does when she's out. Is she checks into where she is. She lets me know. It says right here... It says, uh, Cindy just checked in at the tanning booth. Um, now, as far as like the different preferences for different people, this is this is this is something I like to talk about a lot, especially when women and I for, I keep forgetting your name, the one sitting next to the attorney, the the shorter one, the darker skinned one with the um, uh, with the tattoo. Do you see? That's rude, bitch. There are six of you there. I don't know your fucking names. See, she's just looking. She was looking for anything she could think of to just interrupt and talk about the fact that I'm rude. I'm rude for not remembering all of your names. Contest, are you just telling me? I, I, yeah. I just, yeah. She has a name, you've been listening to the whole time, you should've she wrote, wrote it down. That she, I should've wrote it down? Girl, it, come Lita on. Hantis. I'm sorry, uh, Lita Hantis? Lita. Well, you're now getting, okay, Leah Hantis, so now you're getting triggered on me describing someone. Got it. Anyway, what Leah Hantis was saying, so is that, that is that a lot of people like to say well different people have different preferences and that's correct but the preferences that like we're talking seven. about do you hear this bitch level preference. did you hear what this woman just said do you hear what this woman just said preferences and that's correct but the preferences that like we're seven. talking about are i hope he oh, i hope he ends up like kevin samuels i hope he ends up like kevin samuels this is the kind of guys this is who modern women are guys this is misandry. Watch. Different people have different preferences, and that's correct. But the preferences that like we're... This is funny. She she was going to say it to herself, but then she wanted to make sure she said it into the mic. Oh, people like to say, well, different people have different preferences, and that's correct. People, but the preferences that like we're Kevin talking Samuels. about are surface-level preferences. So, so, for example, guys some guys like blondes, some guys like brunettes, some guys like... Okay. Latinas, some guys like black women, some guys don't date white girls. This Adam just said to them, hey... 
We're about to wrap it up, and the black woman is still looking at him like, what are you talking about? What we're talking about are surface level preferences. So for, so for example, guys, some guys I'm like blondes, some guys like brunettes, some guys like Three. Latinas, some guys like black women, some guys Three. don't date white. Uh, yeah, the girl who said I hope he ends up like Kevin Samuels is uh, the girl in the black. The black whale who thinks that she's a conservative. Girls. On the other side of the coin, some women like tall guys, some women like guys have red heads, some women like hairy guys, some women like guys that are nice and smooth. Those are the surface level, uh, those are the surface level preferences that, that makes us sexually attractive to one person. But what makes a person an attractive prospect goes below the skin. That's their confidence, their swagger, what they do for a living. And of course, you, you learn about these things by asking and observing these conversations. So while our surface level preferences are all different, by and large, we all pretty much want the same thing out of a partner. No, we don't always, we don't all have the exact same, you know, 100,000 list data points, but most men want a woman who's fit, feminine, friendly, and faithful. And most women just want a guy who's going to be nice to them, take good care of them, be her protector, her lover, and her bodyguard. That's really all there is to it. All the hair color and the height and all that, that might vary from person to person, but we all generally want the same things when it comes to relationships. Donovan, last question for you. Uh, tell us about the CME. Sure. What's the schedule? What's going on? What should people expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the Conference of Masculine Excellence uh, goes down <laughs> on October. And look, see, and now they're laughing. See, this is where, this is where Adam dropped the ball. This is where Adam drops the ball. You can't tolerate this. The, um, the Conference of Masculine Excellence uh, goes down <laughs> on October unbelievable she just sat there so not only did this woman say into the mic i hope he ends up like kevin samuel she literally wished death on me now another woman i don't know who it was because i don't see her i said the conference of masculine excellence she says uh -huh. she sits there and laughs at it now you don't have to respect the cme right because the cme certainly does not respect you but at that point adam needs to stop the show and be like hey guys you might not disagree you might not agree with what he says or does but let's show them some respect. Nope. 13th through 15th, right there uh, in Miami, uh, we are actually uh, having our wedding. Devin and I are going to get married in Miami on October the 12th. Um, Adam, I don't know if I, I know you're speaking at the CME. I don't know if I- She keeps making comments. She just keeps making comments. And this is the, uh, this is the, this is the black whale. She just, she just keeps talking while I'm talking. She won't, and that's the thing. She doesn't have any, she doesn't really have any talking points. All she, she'll talk while I'm talking, but then when it's, when it comes time to address me directly, you're a peasant, you're a peasant, you're broke, you're broke. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. You're nobody. All right. Asked you to be at the wedding. If you would like to come, that'd be great. Uh, but uh, yeah, Conference of Masculine Excellence, October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast you're last going? time. It was a blast the year before. <laughs> very much looking, very much looking. Wait a minute. Come, that'd be great. Uh, but uh, yeah, Conference of Masculine Excellence, October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast You're last going? time. It was a blast the year before. <clears throat> I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that before. I did not catch that. Wow. Hang on, I need to just make sure.
I don't want to talk out of turn here, guys. Just give me give me just a second here. I don't want to talk out of turn because I want to make sure I want to make sure I have my facts straight and I want to make sure. We got a problem. Just give me a second, guys. I need to check one more thing here. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> so I'm gonna rewind this a little bit so that you guys can hear what I heard. You to be at the wedding. If you would like to come, that'd be great uh but uh yeah conference of masculine excellence october 13th through 15th uh it was a blast You're last going? time it was a blast the year before <laughs> right. so she said you're going and adam's response is i just got invited I want to just one more time. October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast you're last going? time. It was a blast the year before. <laughs> Very much look. The black woman asked him, you're going. And Adam said, I just got invited. Well, whoever asked him, whoever asked him that, whether it was Nat or the black woman, yeah, Neil Ray asks the right question. Why laugh? Why laugh? No, he did not recently find out. He was not just invited. Thursday, May 25th. Fuck it, let's do it.
Oh, come in. Let me see. This will give me a temporary better mood. Oh, that's right. I told you to do the teacup. Perfect. Oh, that is absolutely. Wow. Very good. Yes. I'm in. I'm, that, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. Ass is looking good. Very nice. All right. I'll pick out your outfit here shortly. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Ray says, damn, that's messed up. He was already invited before, and he knows. There you go, guys. There you go. So this was when I had my, you know. So I asked him, I said, hey, man, would you and PBD like to be presenters at the CME in October? He said, send me the details. I said, I'll be in October the 13th through the 15th. He then agreed. He then agreed to be a part of the CME because I announced it. Five weeks ago. I announced it five weeks ago. He confirmed. He's like, yep, definitely going to be there. And then we hear this. If you would like to come, that'd be great. Uh, but uh, yeah, Conference of Masculine Excellence, October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast You're last going? time. It was a blast the year it's before. <laughs> very much looking, very much looking forward to. Uh... Now, wait a minute. Hold on. No. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me cool my jets. Okay. So, okay. No, I think, I think we're good guys. I think we're good because listen, uh, but, uh, yeah, conference of masculine excellence, October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast You're last going? time. It was a blast the year before. No, I got to rewind it further. In person, but we all generally want the same things. I mean, um, Adam, I don't know if I, I know you're speaking at the CME. I don't know if I asked you to be at the wedding. If you would like to come, that'd be great. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Conference of Masculine Excellence, October 13th through 15th. Uh, it was a blast you're last going? time. It was a blast the year before. <laughs> Very much okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. Natalia said, you're going. <sighs> so Natalia said, you're going. Adam said, I just got invited. He's referring, he's referring to the wedding. I think he is referring to the wedding. But Natalia didn't specify. She didn't specify, hey, you're going to... I mean, you know, she tried to, I guess, you're going. And then he says, I just got invited. And then she laughs. I think it might have been... I think it might have been the wedding. I think it might have been the wedding, but the thing is, man, I wish I could see what they look like. I wish I could see their, 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 their body language and their, their, their facial, their faces. So I could maybe read, maybe read the, uh, uh, read their body language. But she says, you're going, he said, I just got invited. I don't know if he halfway meant that to mean I just got invited to the wedding. Because here's the thing. Natalia was not specific on what she asked him. She said, you're going? Because I did say, hey, Adam, I know, I don't, I know you're speaking at the CME, but you're not, you know, I'm, you know, we're getting married. If you want to come, you can come. Da -da 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 -da. Right? Natalia says, you're going? And Adam says, I just got invited. So I don't know. I don't know if, see, here, here's what went through my head. Here's what went through my head is Natalia asked him, you're going. And I wish I could see there. I wish I could see her face and I wish I could see his face. Right. But she says, you're going as if, wait a minute, you're going. You didn't tell me. But then he just said, I just got invited. I just got invited. That's what he said. But I'm 
I'll have a conversation with Adam about this, but what this looks like, what this looks like on the outside, that doesn't mean that this isn't true. Uh, Jordan Royal with the $2 super chat says, definitely Nat's voice. Uh, yeah, Jordan uh, Royal, congratulations. Uh, you are TSR Tower's newest uh, newest moderator. You've been here for years. I appreciate your support over the years. What it appeared, it appeared that Natalia asked him, you're not going to that thing, are you? And Adam kind of playfully says, well, oh, just, just kind of got invited. And then Natalia laughs. Natalia laughs. Let's just say, for example, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If it was really about the wedding, then why would Natalia laugh? Right? Yeah, I... I <sighs> Give me a second, because now I got to do... I got to do some research because I, you know, I don't want to, it really, really did sound like, it really sounded like Natalia, it really did sound like Natalia was asking him, wait, you're going? And Adam's like, I just got invited. And, and, and the weird thing is, is, yeah, I, inv I invited him, but why would she ask him, you're going? And the fact that she laughed after he said, I just got invited. I don't know, man. I've just been, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of getting burned, man. I really am. I can't imagine that I did not invite him to the wedding. Just bear with me here, guys, because I really need to. Okay. Yeah, I just... I'll have, a, I'll have a conversation with him about it, but at, at best, at best, she was asking him about the wedding, and he did say, I just got invited, right? You don't, I mean, you know, you can get invited to the CME, but that's, you know... I think that's what she's, I think that's what she's, I think that's what she's talking about. All right, that's what, see, here's the thing. I know that that, I would assume that that's what he's talking about, but I don't know if Natalia was asking him, you're going, as in you're going to the wedding and the CME, or you're going to the wedding. Right? Like I saw, like, and then the way she laughs. I really, really wish I could have seen the look on his... I really wish I could see... All right, well, let's finish this out here. Very much looking, very much looking forward to uh, to everyone coming out. And, oh, and oh, by, and oh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm working on a couple... I'm working on a couple of new guests, so be sure to uh, be sure to keep up with that sign for the newsletter, MasculineExcellence.com. All right, well, make sure we have the website below, Joey, in the, uh, in the description. Sion Healy says, I think Nat is talking about the CME and Adam is talking about the wedding. I don't... I really, 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 really wish. I really wish I could see their body language and their facial and their facial cues. Because that would, that would tell the tale. That would tell the tale. 
Because here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she tried to indirectly shame Adam, like, you're going, right? Like, you knew about this, blah, 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 blah. And then Adam said, well, I just got invited, as in, as if to say, well, look, I wasn't aware of any of this until just now. All right, well. Big Mo says, I was thinking the wedding. I, I, I am too. I am too. Because I did say, hey, I know you're speaking at the CME, but if you want to come to the wedding, I would love, you know, I'd love for you to be there. Right? I'd love for you to be there for the wedding, blah, 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 blah. And there is a little bit of a, there is a little bit of a delay. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to, you know, hey, look, Adam's a good friend. I'm going to give him the benefit. I'm going to give him to the benefit. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But I think what's clear is that Natalia apparently didn't know that he was going to either the wedding and or the CME. That's why she asked him. Right? That's why she asked him. But see, this is see, I'm going to have to talk to Sosnick about this uh, person to person. This is the type of shit that makes people think that he's banging Natalia. Why would Natalia know about what your outside projects are other than what you tell her? Right? That's number one. Number two, why would she, why would she be questioning him? Are you going? And again, I wish I could see. Maybe it was just out of curiosity. Oh, you're going? And then he said, I just got invited. Oh, man. I made a mistake on Facebook the other day, guys. And uh, I can readily, and I'll, I'll bring this back around because this, this has exactly, this has everything to do with what I'm talking about. So uh, I posted a, I posted a picture of Devin or of me somewhere. And some dude, some dude said only the fat and ugly ones. And I just tore into him. What I didn't realize is that he was talking about the commenter before who said a bunch of stuff and he let me have it he's like i wasn't talking about you i was trying to defend you blah 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 blah. fuck you i apologize like, hey look dude my bad my bad man my fault i'm a shoot first ask questions later kind of guy because of the scars i have from doing what i do that's on me that's on me i took accountability for that i was wrong i admitted it and we've moved on and so I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not about to jump to conclusions with something like this and end a, you know, end a, uh, you know, end a friendship over a misunderstanding. But a reason, but again, you guys have to understand, you guys have to understand that, yeah, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But at this point, he had allowed these women to disrespect me vehemently the entire time. And we know how Natalia feels about me, Right. She knows that her and MLD, she knows that MLD and I are very good friends and she knows that I'll defend MLD to the death. And so her asking him, I wish to God we could see, I wish I could get that footage of her. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, but the point is, the point is, is I thought that he was trying to disclaim himself. Like, here's what it was, guys. It sounded like Natalia asked him, wait, you're going to that? And Sosnick is like, I just just got invited. Not my fault. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to see here. That's what it appeared. But, hey, look, man. Hey. All right. No problem. I didn't. I don't. I wasn't there, so I don't know. But I really, 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 really wish I could, could have seen that conversation. Let's end this. Hopefully in the Joey chat down there, if you're, if you're interested in the CME... Uh, Hopefully, who gets that wrong? Well, make sure we have the website below, Joey, in the uh, in the description, Hopefully in the Joey chat down there. Wrong. If you see, there you go. The black woman says, "says Hopefully, Joey gets that wrong." Unbelievable! Like this woman continues to take shots at me. Hopefully, Joey gets that wrong. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! If you're interested in the CME, uh, check that out, the Conference for Masculine Excellence.
Yeah, one, 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 one last comment. One last comment here. Sure. Um, I and by this time, I had completely... See, I, I'd been hearing all this in the background. And at this time, I, was, I had completely lost it. And it's so funny. Everybody, there were so many people in the comments that said Donovan lost frame. I didn't lose frame at all. I stayed calm, I stayed cool, and I stayed collective, as col calm, cool, collective as I could have been. I didn't go off, I didn't yell. They they poked at me, I poked back at them. But it was three of them and only one of me. And I was being constantly talked over, you're going to that, just got invited, and now she's like, hopefully Joey gets that wrong. So I'd add it. I'm, I'm bad with things, the but the black lady who hates me because of the way I talk, what did I, what did I ever do to you, girl? Yes, what I'm black, but this is black girl has a name. Listen, you can have all the standards you want. I'm okay with that. I think that you're no, condescending. No, I, no, no, I really... No, 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 listen, 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 Look, see, I'm genuinely trying to tell her that I don't know her name. I'm genuinely trying to tell her I don't know her name. I could have said that differently. I will admit that. I'm being real. I, no, 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 I'm being real. I have tuned I, listen, you out. I'm being real. I only... Literally. I don't know. Honestly, okay, typical. Again, we should just typical, stop this part of the show because now I'm wasting my time. Honestly, honestly, See, now at this point, I was like, fuck it, I'm going in. Yeah, absolutely. Because typically, you're the typical black woman who sees a black man no. who speaks like this and you automatically just follow her. That's why I date black girls. You know, if this was 10 years ago, I would say your mama and, and, and check out. But I'm not going to do that because I'm, <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little bit more graceful. I've gotten out of those days and I'm going to just go on and carry on with my life. She said 10 years ago. I would have said your mama. You know what came immediately to my mind at that point? I should have said 10 years ago, I'd have called you a fat single mom. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to get drawn black in. Black. I didn't want to get drawn back in. But congratulations to you and your yeah. wife. Congratulations to your project here in Miami. Hopefully it's not well attended. See, hopefully it's not well attended. Like, I have one woman wishing death on me. And I got another woman wishing that my that my conference is not well attended. What are we doing? But congratulations. Where is it? It doesn't matter. Oh, she says, where is it? Oh, I'm going to tell you where it is. Oh, I'm going to tell you exactly where it is, baby girl. I'm going to tell you exactly where it is. Oh, yes. I would, Dude, I would love for her ass to show up. I would love for her ass to show up. I would have to, dude, I would have, I would have security escort her ass out. You kidding me? She's like, where is it? Like, look, look, where is it? Like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna bring it down, <laughs> bitch. You ain't got that kind of money or clout. Fuck out of here. All right, ladies, let's be nice. Ruin it. See, see, he's like, listen, ladies, don't be nice. Okay, all right. He's like, listen now, ladies, let's be nice. Where the fuck were you 15 minutes ago, Adam? You know what I'm saying? And this, these are conversations I gotta have with him. These are conversations I gotta have with him. Friends don't treat each other like this, man. They don't. They don't fucking treat each other like this. They don't allow women to berate them, man. Dude, I check my dude. I check my own fucking woman when she gets out of pocket, and says some shit that she's not supposed to say on or offline, to people we do and don't know. But now you got these fucking three stuck-up bitches sitting here just talking straight shit about me, calling me all kinds of names. Hopefully he goes down with Kevin Samuels. You got Natalia wondering why she wasn't kept in the loop. And all these names, and so finally, finally, someone inadvertently threatens to come and ruin my event, and now he's going to say, okay, let's be nice, ladies. And then for Natalia to ask him, you're going, I just got invited. Well, maybe you just got invited, Adam, but you've been aware of the wedding. Yeah, this is... Uh, Omega Kong with the $5 super chat. Come on. There we go. Says, no, Adam, show, Adam shows he's a snake and a beta. Listen to your intuition. Intuition is never wrong. Coming off, no see me, no wedding.
Age of Machines $5 says you are watching the source of SYSBM and Passport Pros in real time. Yep. Dude, like you are Bye. really so like you're really bad. Us God, be damn. nice. I'm, you I'm oh, you've not money. checked him once. I'm confused. <laughs> What's going on? I said that I didn't agree with his standards, but that's you are mad. Maybe you are so now this now Adam is defending now Adam is defending himself against her for signing off on things I said. No, 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 no. Wait, I, 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 I said I disagreed with him, and that's his thing. Mad. It's like, Adam, this has made my night. This woman is so pissed off at me, and she won't even admit it. Unbelievable. I am I'm pissed not at mad. you because you're rule and condescending. And it's your are. time, but now I'm oh, wasting my care. time, and I hey, can't you know what? I'll tell you what. Why don't, why, don't, why, don't, why, don't, why don't you come to the CME? This was a total setup right here. How about that? that oh, and see, this is funny. This is funny. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I said, why don't you come to the CME? I knew she wasn't going to say anything. I knew she wasn't going to say anything because I knew that Adam was going to come in and say, oh, does that mean she can come to the CME? And watch what happened. I don't open an invitation. Yes, I'll right. let her know. All right, Donovan, thank you for being no, here. No, I don't want her. No, no, I don't. Dude, I don't want her. I don't want her bitch ass at the CME. She can go fuck herself. Yeah. Oh, no, that's disrespectful. Oh, all right. now we oh, oh, no, that's disrespectful. Oh, right. You're broke. You're a peasant. I hope you die. I hope your I hope your event isn't is, is isn't well funded. Where is your event? But now I'm disrespectful. Oh, no. oh, oh okay. now it's a problem. No. See? Can well, we listen. cut off the walrus I'll already, please? See, here we go. <laughs> All right, Donovan, thank you for Bye. zooming in. And, uh... Oh wow, so that was the end. Well, goddamn, I didn't know it was like that. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, that was, that was, that was a lot worse than I thought, y'all. That was a lot worse than I thought. I didn't realize, I didn't realize the level of just, <laughs> and for Adam, you know what? I'll put it to you like this, man. I'll put it to you like this, dude. I'll put it to you like this. Would Myron have allowed these women to talk to me like this? Fuck no. Fuck no. He'd have kicked, dude, he'd have kicked their asses out at the first sign of disrespect. Would MLD have allowed these women to talk to me like that? Pfft, hell no. He'd have kicked their asses out to the curve. Probably, dude, MLD's probably got a, sh a quicker trigger than Myron. I want to get, I really do want to give him the benefit of the doubt, man. But I've seen, King Life says there's people that want me to travel with them, but I don't trust them to have the best of intentions. The level up man says Adam is a friend when it comes to finances, but not when it not around but not when around women. Dre Raven says, if Sosnick wants us to believe that he's not shagging Natalia, then he needs to make sure she doesn't act like she's leading him by the dick. Edward Cross, $5, says, that abrupt end was fitting for that dumpster fire. 
I like that you dropped bombs on them and blew up the spot. <laughs> Fuck the Johns. <laughs> okay, that'll, that'll work. Weaponry Fitness. $20 super chat. Oh, God. It says, men will betray you for women. Be aware of men and women when it comes to red pill. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to... We're definitely going to have a... We are definitely going to have a conversation. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm tired of getting burned, man. I really am, dude. I've been, dude, I've been burned. Dude, I've been burned by so many, by so many people, man. It's been ridiculous. Just about everyone that I put complete, complete trust in. Complete trust in. Ah, oh, there she is. There she is. The, uh, the fat hog is in the building. Mostly peaceful Latina says here for your, okay, trailer park and heartbreak. Thanks for the free money. Sweetheart, you're a fat hoe. <laughs> That's what you are. You're a fat hoe with no clout. Okay, you got a couple of pictures with Donald Trump. You can't get him on the phone. Come on, man. You can't get him on the phone. You ain't got clout like that, boo. You're old and washed up. You're not conservative. You're a, you're, you're, you're a conservative groupie. And the reason I know you're groupie is because of the way you acted. I talked about leading from the front as a man, and you kept telling me, uh, you're broke, you're blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine, I'm broke. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And by the way, you guys are never gonna, you guys are never gonna crack. You guys are gonna never, what are they gonna... You guys, dude, that channel will never crack. That channel's never cracking 20K. That channel's never tracking 20, 20K. That's funny that she's watching, though. It's funny that she's watching. But, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired of, I'm tired. I'm just tired of getting burned by people, man. I guess I'm, I'm tired of getting burned by dudes, man. Everyone that I have ever, every man, not every man, men that I put my trust in have betrayed me in the worst ways. Steve the Dean Williams made up these grandiose, fantastic lies about me. Right? Grandiose. Anthony Johnson took those lies and added more of his lies. I trusted Anthony Johnson as well. I trusted O'Shea. Same thing. I trusted Kevin Samuels. Love him like a brother, but that man betrayed me. He did. He did. You guys all, look, you guys can go back and watch the video. I was stuck right in the middle of that beef between Myron and Kevin. And in the end, god damn. Uh, there we go. It's almost like I had a mosquito bite. But in the end, it took, it took Kevin's, really, Kevin's death for me to clearly see what was going on. Kevin was using me as a pawn against Myron to separate myself from Myron so that he could own the 10 o'clock hour. That's what he did. That's what he did. That was a, that was a sobering reality. And to that point, Kevin didn't really give me any reason to think that I couldn't trust him. So, I don't know. We'll have to... I'm going to have a conversation with Adam because that's that that's what men do. But for him to for him to for him to sit by idly why while one two three women he barely even knows just, you know, decide to rip into me and all this other kind of stuff. That's not that's not what friends do. It's not. Uh AG, welcome to chat privileges. <laughs> At AG to welcome him to the TSR family. Appreciate that. Uh, Jordan Royal says, when are you getting back to Fresh and Fit, by the way? Jesus freaking Christ. Dude, I'm going to try to get out there next week. Um, I got invited to an event in Vegas as well, so I'm going to go out there as well. Oh, God. You guys are killing me, man. 
Neil Ray with the $50 super chat. I greatly, greatly appreciate that, man. Oh, God. Says he is a snake and Natalia is bringing him down and owns his balls. He let all that disrespect happen from the women. He is horrible, bro. I've been through bad friends. Had to distance myself from people. I feel sorry for you, man. I've been burned over and over, too. Man. Yeah, T Law says he should have he should have stepped up when he said she wished death on you. Yeah, peaceful Latinas, you're wishing death. You're gonna wish death on me. You're gonna wish death on me. I hope he ends up like Kevin Samuels. What are we? What are you like? What are you doing? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna wish death on someone you disagree with, guys. This, guys, this is why this is why men are moving overseas. This is why men are getting their passports, man. Fuck. King Life $5 says, Donovan, out of all the people that you helped get up there, even the haters know that you pushed three of the highest channels known on YouTube to new heights. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, I put Kevin on. I put Myron on. And I put Pearl on. And listen. Anybody who disagrees with that, just go look through my channel. Go look through and go go way back in the day. Go way, way, way back in the day. I'm not just sitting here just talking shit. Nah, man. Nah, fam. You know what? I know a lot of you are probably watching for the first time. Let's take a let, let's take a small trip down memory lane. This won't take long. This won't take long at all. But for peaceful Latinas or the, the fat walrus who likes to Photoshop every picture even though she always wears black because she has gained weight. Let's search across. Let, let, let's go. Let, let's search. Uh, let's search Kevin Samuels. And by the way, Kevin was on my channel a total of 47, count him, 47 times. Okay, let's filter these out by date. Oops, where did it go? Where did it go? Hang on. There it is. Very, very good. Oops. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot to put in Samuels. Oops, my bad. Kevin Samuels. Just for, just for, see, because I, like, look, man, like, a, a, a lot of you OGs, you guys know. You guys know who've watched me for years. You guys watched. You guys watched. You guys watched Kevin Samuels rise through the ranks on my channel. There it is. So here's the first one. This is going to be a bit cathartic for your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the show today, he has been he is an expert in men's fashion, and I feel very fortunate to have him on the show today. He has been featured in publications such as 405 Magazine, Splurge Magazine, OKC, and the Oklahoma Gazette. He has been on the television show, Living Oklahoma, and he's one of the most sought-after men's fashion consultants in the country. I'd like to introduce Kevin Samuels to TSR Live. And, Kevin, thanks for coming on today, man. It's a real pleasure. Thanks thanks much for having me, man. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Hey, guys. What's going on? Good stuff. Now, if you guys have... So this was May 18th of 2018. That was his very first appearance on my channel. Nobody knew who this dude was. Nobody. Nobody knew who he was, fam. They did not know. They did not know. And oh, by the way, look, just in case you guys, just in case you guys are wondering, hold on, let's go to, let's go back here. Let's go to, let, 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 let's go to the manage videos section. So that was, that, that, that was with Kevin. Let's go to Myron. I had Myron on my show 32 times. 32 times. 
So, you know what? Actually, actually, you want to know what? I'm not going to tell the story. I'm going to let him tell the story. This is actually very, very cool. I'm going to let Myron tell it. So I know some guys are probably wondering, Donovan, or actually not Donovan, Myron, how did you meet Donovan Sharp? How did you make this happen? Because a lot of people have asked, like, hey, man, how did you guys become friends and everything like that? Because obviously we do our show Weights yeah. and Dates on uh, Sundays now. Sundays yeah, right before Sundays the 7th. Yes. Sundays at 6th right before the 7th. And uh, so it started, man, I actually got a consultation with Donovan, and we are talking about... Yes, Myron got a consultation with me. This was way back in 19, guys. This is like four years ago. You know, shooting stuff about fitness, yep. game, everything like that. I was like, hey, man, you're a pretty knowledgeable guy. Uh, would you like to come on the show? And I was like, dude, it'd be an honor. And he had me on, and we talked about fitness. We did a show. And then we started doing it pretty much like weekly, bi-weekly, where we would do like uh, fitness shows. And then I'll never forget, Donovan was like, hey, man, you need to make a YouTube channel. You, yeah. need, you need to do this. Uh, you can definitely make a pretty good. Uh, I told. I will never forget this conversation I had with him. I was like, dude, look, look. You, I, dude, and I told you guys, I told you guys. I said there is someone, and I did this on Sharp Sharp. I said there is someone I'm going to hitch my wagon to. Because he is the next superstar, and his name is Myron Gaines. Uh, living for yourself, doing this stuff, and I was like, in my head, I was like, man. I don't know if I want to leave this school teacher job. <laughs> and, and do this. Teacher, listen, you're a school teacher and then you moonlight as a florist, right? Exactly. You don't, want to, you don't want to tell them that. And, then, and at this point, both Myron and I uh, had a lot more hair on our heads. Chippendales on Sundays. There you go. There you go. But uh, right after the seven. But uh, I was like, man, do I, you know, and and I took it seriously, man. And, we, you know, fast forward about a year later. Yeah, yeah. And now I got Donovan Sharp in the studio here in Miami, Florida. Uh, at the Panorama Tower, not, not the TSR Towers, but the Panorama Tower. So, yeah. man, it's it's uh, it's an honor, and I just want to say on air, thank you, Donovan, because yeah. you're a big inspiration for why we have the studio right now, why we've went so hard with the quality. Um, and yeah, man, thank you so much. Yeah, listen, um, you know the interesting thing is, is before before we had our consultation, I remember you used to call into my show a lot. Yeah, like, and I remember, and I used to see that, I used to see your area code every time. And I think the third or fourth time he called me, I said, okay, this guy is in the field. This guy knows more than a lot of my other callers. That was sort of, that to me was the genesis of, you know, maybe putting a bug in your ear in terms of, you know, starting a show, maybe doing a, you know, maybe doing a podcast and then going to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And so I said to myself, okay, and you're the most knowledgeable guy in terms of fitness and nutrition I've ever talked to. Thank you, man. I've had other fitness and nutrition guys on my show. I've had Drew Bay, I've had a, a couple of other guys. But nobody explain. Like you seem to be the most confident. Number one, number two, what you say makes the most sense. And then you came with the graphics and and uh, you know and all and of the facts. Points. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then you understand. You understand women. You understand how women work. And I was like, this guy really, this guy could really start doing things. And so I remember when I started doing shows with you, I said, okay, this dude really, really knows what he's talking about as far as you know, being fresh and fitness, if I can do a little show plug there. <laughs> and then I remember, um, I remember uh, I was actually talking to my Patreon audience. I did a, uh, I did a Patreon only oh, this is it. Uh, broadcast pr uh, probably for about a month and a half. And uh, towards the end, I said, guys, I'm going to align myself with someone. And this guy is an, a young and up and coming guy. And a lot of my patrons are like, are you going to align with this guy, this guy, that guy? I said, nope, this is, this is going to be Myron Gaines because this is the dude. This is the next dude. Like when I'm dead and buried, or if for whatever reason, you know, YouTube, you know, deletes my channel right before I get a hundred, get to hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> He's right there guys, by yeah, the way, almost yeah. at a hundred thousand. No, I, I think I'm 900 and I'm 901 subscribers away from a hundred thousand. I never thought this day would come, but um, yeah, I figured with- if, My if bad King I'm, Life, that was an know, accident. If, if, if I'm gone or they find some way to erase me off the internet, uh, you're the closest there is to, I guess, um, uh, another me. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. And, and guys, then, you know, it's funny behind the scenes, like you guys are so similar. And just, that just goes to show the power of networking. Myron came in, yes. added value to Donovan's show. Yes, so all right. Donovan said, Donovan said, you know what? This guy has potential. Let me look into him. And then from there, it blew into this. It's very true, very man. Powerful. It's very true. And, we were, but yeah, and then me and Fresh met through Solo TV. Yep. So oh, if, I, wow. didn't, if yeah. I didn't do the seven with you, yeah. I would have never met Solo TV. I would have never met Fresh. And then we wouldn't even have had this. So guys, this is, I mean, not to plug our Instagram course, which Donovan's <laughs> affiliate code is below. Yeah. But like I always say it, me and Don, me and, uh, me and Donovan met and then solo TV. And then through Instagram, I actually had a phone call with fresh for an hour. And he's like, you're RP aware. I'm RP. Okay. What's up guys. It's your man. Oh, wait a minute. This is the other one. 
Hang on. So that was so that was me and Myron's uh, origin story. And again, and again, a lot of people can say, well, I put this person on and I put that person on and that's that's all well and good. And I don't you know, and you know, look, man. Um, yeah, I, I feel very I feel very proud of the fact that I was, you know, at least instrumental in some way in helping three of the biggest YouTube channels in history. Here's a third one. Okay. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the very first edition of Pick Me with Pearl. Um, my co-host today is, of course, uh, the uh, the arbiter of the Just Pearly Things channel. That, of course, is Pearl Davis. Pearl, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, of course. Now, a lot of my a lot of my audience is familiar with you um, because of the fact that you and I have done a couple of live streams together. Mm -hmm. But you've you've been on Fresh and Fit before, and I think you've called to the Kevin Samuel show a couple of times. Am I wrong? So there you go. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. And you know, look, I, I, yeah, is that a bit of a flex? Yeah, probably, probably. Um, but, you know, listen, man, I'm pushed down in the algorithm right now, uh, big time. Um, likely because my likely because my content probably hasn't been up to, uh, up to snuff. Um, I probably need to uh, freshen a few things up. A lot of people like to blame certain things on why their channel isn't doing well. Look, man, I'll I'll take full responsibility. Like I've been sick a lot. I've traveled a lot. You know, I haven't been as consistent as I was. And, you know, I slipped down the algorithm. It happens. It happens. So there you go, guys. There you go. Um, little old little old Donovan Sharp uh, was instrumental uh, in starting three of the biggest and most influential channels uh, in YouTube history. Okay, let's uh, round third and head for home here. Uh, Tony Esquire with the $5 super chat. Uh, good to see you in here as well. Says perhaps Sauce isn't a confrontational guy and was playing the calm moderator. His co-host, however, she appeared to hating on you. Yeah, Natalia um, is she? She's not a fan of your boy. She's not a fan of your boy. But you're you're right, Tony. Um, Adam is clearly not confrontational. But it's not confrontational. He's not confrontational. But by the same token, at some point, you have to be. You have to be like, hey, ladies, like, hey, man, like. Come on now. Like, I know he has strong opinions and blah, 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 blah. But you guys are, you guys are taking it way too far. No, he just let him run. He just let him run rough shot all over me, man. Uh, Roderick Thomas with the $10 super chat says, no matter what you say, sir Donovan, whether I agree or disagree with you, I would not disrespect you because from day one, you speak the truth and facts. And that is an honor that is lacking today. Respect. Yeah, man. Yeah. You're right about that, man. Yeah, that was my old spot. Uh, Monty uh, Hendo with the $2 Super Jet says, It wasn't Natalia who asked if he was going. It was the black girl. That's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was, but I don't know. DJ Berserk, member for 10 months, says, My Mount Rushmore consists of you, CGA, and Fresh and Fit. Appreciate that very, very much. The Roadblock 85 with the $10 Super Jet says, These disrespectful hoes. Triggered a sharp stream family reunion. Men make good times out of bad times. F out of here. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly right, man. <laughs> That's exactly right. So, you know, um, yeah, uh, you know, Nate Dog says, yeah, uh, says, yeah, Donovan's got receipts, man. So flex all you want, big guy. You know, hey, hey, you know, I've, I've been known to dabble in a little, in a little something, something, a little something, something. Yeah, it did sound like Natalia, but it was not, that exchange wasn't a good look, but. It is what it is. Um, so um, yeah, I'll be doing a uh, I'll be doing a breakdown of the peaceful Latinas uh, chick because she apparently has rabbit ears. Um, I didn't even expect her to be in the chat. She clearly is, uh, and she's a woman. Women always read the comments, all right? And I saw her all in the comments. Every people were cooking her, and she was in there going back and forth with people. So I'm like, okay, I I think I can trigger this hell. I think I can trigger this hell. So um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That is going to do it for this, the 997th edition of TSR Live. My thanks to my members, my super chatters, and my supporters. Take care, guys.
<laughs> we'll see you next time. I ain't been alive, but baby girl bad. She got that melanin skin. She got that melanin skin. She got that melanin skin. I ain't been alive, but baby girl fine. She got some melanin in her. Yeah, she got that melanin in her. She got that melanin yeah. skin. For all the ladies with melanin, that's comfortable in the element. Natural baby, that's evident. All the shade they throw your way is irrelevant. That shade you rock and be like medicine. Always on point, I respect your regimen. But you was spread the win, so you don't really gotta try. Other bitches start jacking, wonder why. Cause they wanna be like you. They be buying booty that you grew natural. But they be trying to tan so they look like you. Trying to keep a man so they cook like you. <laughs> Light skinned, dark skinned, it don't even matter.